We are live at Coletco for Saturday night's live Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, be sure to let us know by saying hi or hello. Welcome, everybody. We are here, and we are ready to sell you some records. When you're on, be sure to go ahead and hit the like button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that for sure. Absolutely. Go ahead and hit that like button. We need everybody on and watching. I see the comments filling up. Somebody commented Trickster 40 minutes ago. It's already on the feed. Trickster. <laughs> Patience is a virtue with that one because that's going to be wild. But let's go ahead and get this link shared. Let's go over here to the group and get this shared in a few places. I'm going to comment live now right here. And we have a live now. And let's go over here and let's go ahead and share it on this post. Live now. All right. And did I share anything else? Whoops. Let me click here. Let's see. There's the poster post. There's that post. All right. Now I just need to go share. I didn't actually share the feed in the group. Let me go do that. Hit share group. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's hit copy link. And let's see here. Let's go collect code. And all right. Let's comment here. This is live Saturday night. Live for Saturday night. Live for Saturday night. Live for Saturday night. And okay, we're good there. Actually, no. Let me comment here. Delete that one. All right, I'm getting everything shared and live for Saturday night. All right, and one more. Let's do this one. Let's do live for Saturday night. All right. Now, we're also streaming this on YouTube. So whenever you're on and watching, be sure to make sure you have liked the Facebook and YouTube video. Please do that right away. Make sure you've liked the Facebook and YouTube video. Uh, hit the like button on uh, YouTube. Make sure you've subscribed. Done all that fantastic, great stuff for us. Um, and then on Facebook, the same thing. And if you don't mind sharing on Facebook, that'd be great. Doing, doing the like is very generous. But if you can go ahead and share, that would be absolutely fantastic if you could do that for us. So um, let's go ahead and open this up. And what am I doing here? I need to go to Instagram and share the link. Uh, I also share it to our story, and um, that's what I'm going to do right now, story, and let me find that picture for tonight, incredible stuff to auction, and let's click uh, link, and this is live now, and all right. And we have chat. And we're opening up the chat right now. Alrighty. So, welcome. Welcome. So, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Let's get everybody on and watching Saturday night. It's going to be a wild and crazy sale for sure. For sure. It's going to be one of those nights, just like the Eagle song. One of those crazy, crazy, whatever they say in the rest of that. Whoever that is, Glenn Fry or whichever one that is. One of these nights. All right, there's those. Suddenly I have ended up with several copies of that. I've got to mark those. And all righty. So let's go ahead and get rolling here and see what's going on. 
me mount my camera in all the proper locations and we're going to be doing auctions and buy it nows and why does this look like it's off give me one second i think that looks pretty good you can see the auction block i like that hope i have crates up here and then the posters are in the back dang it all right i'll have to tell paul to do that what is this bin here this is what is this I think that was some stuff I went back through last night. All right, I'm gonna put a couple of these over here and combine some stuff. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is an on-sale crate of vintage pre-owned. We're not even gonna warm up with new vinyl. We're gonna start with vintage pre-owned to get the show on the road in a hurry. So let me go do that. Let me grab this and uh, yeah, let's take care of business, TCB. Looks like I've got one, two, three. Okay, I've suddenly got plenty, plenty to sell. We also have on sale new vinyl, but I'm gonna wait till everybody's on and everybody's got everything shared. And um, so, uh, let's see here. Yeah, let me set this one off. There's some great LPs in there. Actually, I need that over here for whenever I do that. And let's go ahead and put this over here. All right, so there's our first empty crate. Let me scoot this over here. Right now I haven't looked at one comment yet. So if you're here for comments and questioning, I will try my best to answer them, especially if you're looking for something or want to know when something's going up, but just bear with me as we have a lot of ground and we've posted in the last 48 hours, hundreds, if not thousands of records. Now people can actually see, and we are getting flooded with requests. When is this going to be sold? Is this being sold tonight? Chad, can you sell this tonight? Will this be sold tonight? And as usual, I'll try my best to get everything accordingly and put up for sale. So but there's our first two auctions. I'll put those right there. Make sure I hadn't missed anything. But if you do have anything, go ahead and let me know because I'm going to see. I don't see anything in here, and I'm just going to get down to the bottom. All right, so I'm going to start showing records. If you have any questions, I'll try my best. But there's going to be a lot of claims tonight. And we're going to be trying to be moving pretty fast so we can sell some vinyl. First record. This is going to be $9.99. No, this is going to be $14.99 discount LPs. So everything in here is $14.99. $14.99 for everything in here. And then this sticky note up is going to be $19.99. So we're going to start off with some discount vintage. I'm going to show a few LPs and I'll get our first auctions introduced. We have Nancy Sinatra in London. Like I said, everything in here is $14.99. Original company inner sleeve and the original tricolor steamboat label. That is $14.99, Nancy Sinatra. The History of the Left Bank, that is a Rhino compilation. Yes, that does have Walk Away Renee on it. It's a 1985 U.S. comp, VG Plus condition, $14.99. First record sold to Larry Smith, Nancy Sinatra, $14.99. The Roots of Rock and Roll, that's a 2LP compilation, $14.99. The Roots of Rock and Roll, no condition notes, EX plus near mint minus, that's $14.99. And Let's Limbo some more. An original Chubby Checker in shrink wrap steel with the hop sticker on that Parkway label, that is $14.99 for Chubby Checker. And Preflight by The Birds, that's now $12 off, $14.99 for Preflight by the birds. All right, our first auction is a 1976 Los Angeles pressing. That's an OG, a 1976 Los Angeles pressing of Stretching Out by Bootsy's Rubber Band. This is now up for auction. It's a $15 start. Clean vinyl for a Bootsy's Rubber Band album. The cover does have some staining. It does have some staining and damage, but that's now up for bid for a $15 start. And we have a sealed Johnny Winter third degree. This is sealed and it's never been open. It's an original sealed album. It's a 1986 U.S. pressing, sealed from Alligator Records. It's called Third Degree, Johnny Winter. That's sealed, also a $15 star. So we sold Larry Smith, Nancy Sinatra. Larry Smith was also first to Chubby Checker. That sold to Larry Smith, and Scott Smith first to LB, and LB was the left bank, Walk Away Renee. So we still got the birds, and we still got the roots of rock and roll. Everything in here is $14.99. That is the discounted price. We have Stevie Wonder, Hotter Than July. This is a discount flip bin. Everything is $14.99. Very clean, original under sleeve, gatefold, $14.99 on that. 
And Frank and Moon Zappa, Valley Girl. Frank Zappa is $14.99. $14.99. This is Frank Zappa, Valley Girl. $14.99 for Frank Zappa. And John Lennon Collection. John Lennon is a 15-track compilation. It's on Quiex Vinyl. Gold stamp promo, but it does have this corner damage up here. Original under sleeve, $14.99. Original under sleeve. No condition notes on the vinyl, though. John Lennon is $14.99. That's Quiex Vinyl. John Lennon's 15 greatest hits solo career. Matt Peavy on Zappa. Tim Tolbert on John Lennon. Those are sold and sold. And up that under auctions. We're looking for a $15 start on Bootsy's Rubber Band. It's an original 1976 pressing, and we have one bid on the sealed Johnny Winter for $15. Johnny Winter's at $15. That's where we're at. Going twice, going three times on both of those. Angel, white hot, $5 off now. Angel has the original under sleeve. No condition notes on Casablanca. Angel is $14.99 for that. And we have I Cantina, enough said. $10 off on I Cantina, United Artists label, gatefold, $14.99. New bid on Johnny Winter for $18. And Star Wars and Other Galactic Funk by Miko. Miko, that's Star Wars and Other Galactic Funk, $14.99. If you're just hopping on, we are... Uh, doing our first bin, new vintage arrivals, or we'll do vintage discount bins, we'll call it. Uh, Paul's in the back. He's marking new vintage stuff. So Paul's got his new vintage stuff in the back. We're going to be going through a lot of bins very, very quickly. We have a $40, $50 album back here for a $15 start that does not have a bid yet. Just FYI, we're looking for a $15 bid, $15 start, Bootsy's Rubber Band, an original 76 Los Angeles Press, no bid, final call. $15 start. Then Johnny Winter is sealed. It's an original 1986 pressing. We had a bid for $15, then $16, then $18. And then Robert Tomic on SW. That's for Stevie Wonder. That's so to Robert Tomic. Johnny Winter got a new bid for $20. Bootsy got a bid for $16. And then Johnny Winter has a bid for $22. And now $19. And now Bootsy has a bid for $20. Now, uh, Robert, was SW for Star Wars or Stevie Wonder? He said that was for Star Wars and other galactic funk. Okay, Stevie Wonder still available. Zappa, ship arriving too, wait, too late to save a drowning witch, $14.99. Make sure you've hit the like button. That's the first thing I do in the first hour. Make sure you hit the like button. This is Neil Young, American Stars and Bars. This has the original uh, company inner sleeve with it, or actually the original inner sleeve. Reprise Records, $14.99. For Neil Young, American Stars and Bars. Clean copy of that. And we had, if I can grab a hold of it, the Standales. Try it. The most talked about record of the year. This is an original tower pressing. Super clean vinyl in stereo, $14.99. Hallbrook on Zappa. That's sold to Hallbrook CM. Zappa is sold. And we have Blues Magoos, Gulf Coast Bound, an original 1970 pressing. Clean. Major mark. Now, some of these I have in here are extremely marked down. Susie Bree Love on the Standales. Let's update our two auctions. Bootsy is now at $25 with Daniel Boozeiden. Daniel has that for $25. The cover does have some damage, a little bit of staining and wear, but the vinyl is EX, EX+. Plus. And then Johnny Winter is sealed. Sealed Johnny Winter. James Vasquez has it for $22. Everybody else is out. Sealed Johnny Winter. Next is Groovin' the Young Rascals. No condition notes on this either. Extremely nice clean vinyl on the original label. $14.99 on that. Scott Smith gets Blues Magoos. That's so to Scott Smith. The Birds, Dr. Birds and Mr. Hyde. A 69 OG Pittman pressing on the original label. No condition notes on that. Little, little ding there on the cover. The Birds is nice though. $14.99. Zebra, VG condition on Zebra. Also an original under sleeve. Zebra's in VG condition. $14.99. And Paul Simon, still crazy after all these years. Promo. White label promo, no condition notes, it is near mint minus, has the original inner sleeve, has the promo strip on the front. Paul Simon is now pretty much the equivalent of half off at $14.99. Paul Simon. Mike uh, Brangle first on Zebra, Donald Kennedy on Paul Simon. And if you're watching for the first time, welcome everybody. We have some incredible auctions. We may start getting some of those rolling a little bit closer to 8 o'clock, maybe 7.45, some of those really incredible group of 16. But over here behind me, I have lots of surprises, like, uh, let me read off some of them, Tigers of Pantane, Michael Shanker Group, UFO, ACDC, Scorpions, Warrants, Kingdom Come, King Cobra, Kill, White Snake, Cinderella, Stripers, Dio's, Black Sabbath. That's some stuff I'm going to try to slip in. Believe it or not, that's filler for tonight. Did you, did you hear some of those titles? That's filler based on some of the other stuff we have to auction tonight. Incredible. KC and the Sunshine Band. This is $14.99. And I also have three 
full bins of on-sale new vinyl. It's that time of the year. I have on-sale new vinyl. It's that time of the year. It's that time of the quarter. <laughs> we do it about three or four. About every quarter, I clear out new vinyl from the previous quarter. So I've got three, no, two full crates, and then I have some miscellaneous higher price stuff. So that's where we're at. Now, we have the Birds, Younger Than Yesterday. This is now $14.99, another really nice Birds album. There's like three Birds albums in here that no one's claimed. You're really missing out with the Birds. And the Culture Club album is now $10 off. Color by Numbers, Karma Chameleon, beautiful, $14.99. All right, so we definitely need to update these auctions. Daniel Buzide has had the high bid on that for quite some time. This is a $25 start or excuse me, a $25 bid. We started at $15. It's at $25. Final call. Daniel Buzide, $25 on that. 1976 OG pressing. And then this is a sealed, original, Johnny Winter, third degree. Sealed, Johnny Winter, third degree. Johnny Winter has got a high bid of 36 Excuse me. Johnny Winter has a high bid of $22 with James Vasquez. It's a final call. It is a sealed copy. All right, now back up at the top, we have Hallbrook Sim, once younger than yesterday, by the birds. All right, Pete Maselli, we've already sold uh, Nevermind Stars and Bars. That's sold to Pete Maselli, Neil Young, American Stars and Bars. Johnny Winter has a new bid for $25. All right, so this is a discount bin. Everything's $14.99. I will do those right now. Now, if you've seen a video or a post, I just posted a gallery of 80 pictures. There's probably 200 records of incredible stuff from the Kansas City. If you haven't actually seen me post a hot picture, like those 16 records, then there's a good chance it's not gonna be auctioned tonight. If you saw the grid of 16 pictures I posted that I said will be auctioned tonight, then they're gonna be auctioned tonight. All those other pictures I posted, I said those will be coming in the next couple weeks. That's like 2,000 records. That's enough for three or four weeks of auctions every night. So basically, if you've seen a record in one of these posts that I'll be making from yesterday, today, the next couple of days, it could be sold anytime between now, tonight, or next month. That's how much stuff we have to auction. That's enough stuff to auction for the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're actually paying attention to will be sold tonight. Sometimes I'm just posting like, here's some records we just bought. There's thousands. There's no telling when we'll actually get to them. But sometimes we make a post and we'll see, we'll say these will be sold tonight, Saturday, April, whatever, tonight. So that, that's when they're actually going to be sold. If I just post a big video, there's no telling. I wish I could exactly tell you, but sometimes we narrow it down and say these will be sold tonight. Especially if it's something like Trickster or Alice in Chains or Metallica OGs, some of that crazy, crazy stuff, that will be at definitely a date set on that stuff. Otherwise, you just need to tune in because you're going to miss out on some great stuff. Johnny Winter 25, Johnny Winter 30. Deborah Devaney on Culture Club. Let's sell that to Deborah Devaney, $14.99. And let's go ahead and recap the $14.99 records one more time. These are all $14.99. The Roots of Rock and Roll, 2LP compilation. The Roots of Rock and Roll, $14.99. The Birds, pre-flight. $14.99, The Birds Pre-Flight, $14.99. Chad, I bought that from you last week. I was answering someone's question. Okay, that was Neil Young. Somebody asked what album this was, evidently. This is Neil Young, American Stars and Bars, so it's still available. It's back in the bin, $14.99. The Birds, Neil Young, The Roots of Rock and Roll, Angel White Hot, $14.99. I Cantina, Nuff Said, $14.99. Stevie Wonder, Hotter Than July is $14.99. The Young Rascals, Grooving. Still surprised no one's picked that up. The Birds, that is an original. Columbia 2i, $14.99. And Casey and the Sunshine Band. Edwin Riviera wants Angel. That is sold to Edwin Riviera. Denise Kennedy on SW for Stevie Wonder. And I need to update these auctions. We're still on our first two. Actually, you know what? Nobody else bid on uh, this, did they? This is sold to Daniel Buzidin for $25. That's been up for 20 minutes. It's time to sell it. That's sold to Daniel Buzidin for $20. That's more than half off what we originally had that stickered. Daniel, that was a great deal. I think that's more like a $40 or $50 album. And we have Johnny Winter is now sold to James Vasquez for $30. 
James Vasquez gets Johnny Winter for $30. That's also been up for 20 minutes. So that was our first two auctions. Those took a while. Hopefully the other ones don't take that long. If so, then those 16 records will take three and a half hours to auction. We have N-R-I-L-F-O-G. 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 I'm not for sure what that means. So these are $19.99. These next couple records are $19.99. This is a discount bin. For example, this is originally $34.99. It's a gold stamp promo. That's some of the discounts we have in here. Original under sleeve, $19.99. That's wham, fantastic. Gold stamp promo, $19.99. Santana Abraxas. Santana Abraxas, $19.99. Santana Abraxas. Sandy wants Neil if it's an OG. You're in luck. It's an OG. Sell that to Sandy Mile. Sell that to Sandy Mile. And we have the Free Will and Bob Dylan. This is also $19.99. The Free Will and Bob Dylan. Beautiful copy. That's a 70s press. $19.99 for the Free Will and Bob Dylan. Like I said, let me remind you of some of the auctions we have tonight. Poison, Pantera, Ozzy, 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 Cinderella, Alice in Chains, Badlands, Pantera, Van Halen, Trickster, Skid Row, Metallica, Metallica, Cypress Hill, Dio, and yes, those are all OG pressings. You heard me correctly. Yes, that is correct. No joking. That's some of the stuff that's on deck for tonight. Absolutely. You heard me correctly. Yes, that is right. No joking. Those will be auctioned tonight. I'm not kidding, okay? I'm not kidding. Those are going to be auctioned tonight. No joke. Originals. Sold tonight. Yes, they're going to be sold tonight. Those I just read off. Hope you're ready. Back up at the top. Richard Johnston gets to Santana. David Howard gets Wham. Then we have Paul Oakley on Bob Dylan. And then we have a German pressing of Jethro Tull's debut album. This is now 1999. Early label. Gatefold. 1999. So we're in a band of discount stuff for $19.99. The back part was $14. Now these are $19. Pharrell Sanders, Love Will Find a Way. This is Pharrell Sanders, $19.99. And Jimi Hendrix, Get That Feeling, VG Condition, now $19.99. Jimi Hendrix, Get That Feeling, VG Condition, $19.99. Jeff Malwitz on Jethro Tull. That's so to Jeff Malwitz. That's $19.99. We have Kingdom Come as our next auction. Kingdom Come is in shrink wrap. I literally found a crate of records behind the counter. Some of those I read off earlier. This is some actually I found behind the counter. I didn't even know I had. Kingdom Come. This was not advertised for tonight. Hope everybody's paying attention. The vinyl is exceptionally nice. EX Plus to Near Mint Minus. There is the original LP. It's in shrink wrap with hop sticker with the original Tower Records price tag. Kingdom Come is a $35 start. That's now up for bid. That's Kingdom Come. Good luck bidding. Also, we have UFO Lights Out. This is also an exceptional copy. Both of these albums right here are up for auction. You bid on them in the back. If you want to bid on Kingdom Come, you do what Calvin Ward just did and put KC $35. This is UFO Lights Out. Also exceptionally nice. EX Plus to Near Mint Minus. It is a beautiful copy. OG UFO Lights Out in shrink wrap. $15 start on that. $15 start. Now... We had Michael Word on Jimi Hendrix. I'm going through a bin of $19.99 discount. So earlier, this what started the $19.99 stuff. All these, just for whoever's watching the video, from this point on, these were $19.99 from this uh, rest of the bin here. We also have the Beat Merchants. This is a British, a British Beat Groups record compilation. $19.99 for the Beat Merchants. British Beat Groups, that's a 2LP, $19.99 for Beat Merchants. We also have Miles Davis, You're Under Arrest, a gold stamp promo, obviously a uh, 70s press. It came out in 19, what year did this? 1985, excuse me, 1985, that is $19.99. And Heart is the picture disc, Heart Magazine, numbered on the back, an original picture disc, that is Heart. $19.99. Boy, we have some incredible auctions tonight. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. There's, we're, it's incredible. Make sure you've liked the post on Facebook and YouTube so we can get everybody on and watching. Kingdom Come has bids for $35, $35.40. David Tate wants KC and the Sunshine Band. That was in the previous bin. This is sold to David Tate for $14.99. Make sure that gets tagged to David Tate for $14.99.
uh, Kingdom Come has a bid for 50, and then I introduced UFO, which has bids for 16, 25, 20, 25. Kingdom Come got another bid for 50. Display It wants the Beat Merchants compilation. That's so to display it for 1999. We also have Bob Dylan, a 1970 Pittman Press, 1999 for Bob Dylan, self portrait. That is 1999. That's a 70, 1970 original Pittman Press. There is a name written on the cover, but the vinyl's nice. Also, we have Stranger Things. Four, score from the original series, season four, volume two, red vinyl, sealed, 1999. Larry Smith wants the heart picture disc, 1999. Kingdom Comes at 55. Kingdom Comes at 60. Paul Ogley gets Bob Dylan for 1999. UFO has a high bid for 20. I think we was already at 28. We are. Holbrook CM is at $28. David Hoy wants PS. That was for Pharaoh Sanders for 1999. We're in a bin of discounted vintage stuff. Everything is $19.99 right here, including a sealed David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars. Paul just delivered a brand new crate of stuff, and I found a whole crate of metal behind the uh, counter, Paul, I didn't even know we had. It's like full of scorpions and Aussies, and, and I think it's from... I think it's, uh, I can't remember, we've bought all these collections, but I think it's some stuff I was pulling out of a tub, and then that was what was left, and I put it in a crate. Houston, I think. And I've, Houston, Houston collection, and I have forgot all about it. I'm like, wow, <laughs> we got plenty of stuff to auction. <laughs> that's incredible. I just found all that stuff. That's, that's what's in here right now. Yeah, original warrants, it's crazy. Yeah, we're going to be putting some of that stuff up tonight. I told everybody it's going to be a crazy Saturday night. I've been making like nine posts trying to make sure everybody's watching. UFOs at $30. Derek Zarzaro gets the Bowie. And we have a second claim for Bowie, third for Bowie, fourth for Bowie, fifth for Bowie. Kingdom comes at 65 We have Rolling Stones, VG Plus, 1999 for Tattoo U. The cover is torn right here on the back. It does have a tear right there. VG Plus Vinyl, 1999 on Rolling Stones. And Wham, Make It Big, 1999. Wham, Make It Big is 1999. 1999. Derek Zarzaro gets the stones. Kingdom comes at 70. We have Jason Third, Michael Bohan, and Neil Young. Neil Young has long been claimed. And we have uh, Derek Zarzaro on Wham. So um, there was, yes, posters. I found uh, Steve McQueen movie posters. I found Paul Newman movie posters. We'll be doing those later tonight. That's going to be later tonight, but we'll get to it. All right. Both auctions just got new bids. We're going to put up some of the crazy stuff in about 15 minutes, probably after these auctions. Maybe one more set, and then that first group of 16, we'll start working those in. It's going to be some wild stuff. I'm going to go through these one more time. This first batch here is $14.99. These right here are $14.99. We've almost sold all the $19.99 stuff. Derek Zarzaro just got Stranger Things for $19.99. That leaves one Miles Davis record. You're under arrest. For $19.99. Here's what was left in the $14.99 uh, batch. The Roots of Rock and Roll. That's a compilation from that New Orleans collection. Ravens, Robins, uh, Big Maybell, Nappy Brown, Johnny Otis. And then the Birds Pre-Flight. Unipack Sleeve. $14.99 for the Birds. I can Tina Turner. Enough said. The Rascals. The Young Rascals. Grooving. Beautiful vinyl on the original label, that's $14.99. And then the Birds, also an original on the original label, $14.99. And then Miles Davis was $19.99. Richard Morgan wants Birds. I'm assuming that was for pre-flight. Sell that to Richard Morgan for $14.99. Kingdom Comes at 80 and UFOs at 32. That's the high bid on our auctions right now. By the way, Kingdom Come, this is a top copy. You'll never have to upgrade unless you want a sealed one as a collectible. The vinyl is near mint minus. It's in shrink wrap, nothing wrong with the cover, hop sticker, and original Tower Records price tag, $80 with Calvin Ward, final call. Sam Squatch is at 32 on UFO, same thing, beautiful, in shrink wrap, nice, clean, top, copy, 32 with Sam Squatch. I'm going to set these off to the side. If anybody changes their mind and is like, you know what, Chad, I will take that Miles Davis for $19.99, then just let me know. If things couldn't get any crazier... I have a bin of on-sale discounted new vinyl. I've went through and purged stuff from the first couple months of the year that has not sold. So this is stuff that was stickered for probably the first couple months. I've gotten tired of calling their names off. We'll go back through some of these bins, and guess what? They're still in there, so it's time to mark them down. 
I rarely mark down new vinyl. We did some buy it now best offer last night on new vinyl. These are all $24.99. Everything in here is $24.99. Some in here were originally $40. Some were originally $35. Some were originally $30. Either way, they're all $24.99. $24.99. Is there a second Birds? Yeah, there was another Birds too. That was Dr. Birds and Mr. Hyde, if you want that one as well. And the Miles Davis is sold, it looks like. So Richard Morgan, this Birds is available as well. It's also on the original label. That was $14.99. Super clean copy. I mean, we originally had it marked $34.99 back last June. So this is sold to Derek Zarzaro, the Miles Davis for $19.99. It looks like uh, looks like Kingdom Come is now on a final call. No one else's bid. It's a final call to Calvin Ward for $80 and UFO still getting bids. All right, so everything in here is $24.99. $24.99. Hope everybody's ready. The first thing is the fray, how to save a life. Originally $33.99. This is $24.99, the fray. Before this came back into print a couple months ago, it's about a $100 record. The fray is $24.99, $14.99. Also, Ryan Bingham Live, recorded in Texas. Ryan Bingham is $24.99. $24.99 on Ryan Bingham, and I have one copy of Wasp Dominator, $24.99. Everything in here is on sale, discounted, new vinyl. Richard Morgan says pass on second birds, but Colin says he'll take it. Colin gets the birds for $14.99. That's sold to Colin. Tony Freeman wants the fray, how to save a life. Make sure that goes in for $24.99. Sean Holford gets Wasp. Ron Vaughn gets Frey. Richard Morgan, you were next on Wasp. And we have Collective Soul. I don't think I've ever discounted one of these. Hence, allegations and things left unsaid from Kraft, $24.99. And I don't think I've ever discounted these. Jane's Addictions, nothing shocking. There's your nightly nudity. Jane's Addictions, $24.99. Derek Zarzaro gets a Collective Soul. And I don't think I've maybe but once discounted this album. This is a crime discounting this. Electric Ladyland, $24.99. $24.99 on Electric Ladyland. All right, before we get too deep, let's go ahead and sell the Kingdom Come to Calvin Ward for $80. Calvin, I'm going to go ahead and tag that for you. While all these Jane's Addictions, Jimi Hendrix, Frey, and what was the other one? Collective Soul comments roll in. By the way, let's go ahead and update UFO. The high bid, we had 34, 33, 34, 35, 36. I've still got Forrest Appleton at $36. I've still got Forrest Appleton at $36 on that. All right, let's go ahead and put up the first auction from that grid of 16. You're going to be hearing me say grid of 16. Now, this is from a customer, a former customer. Maybe he'll... Keep buying from us. Who knows? I've had some people sell their collections and literally restart, but uh, he may be watching. Either way, I won't say his name. If he is, thank you for considering us to sell your collection. He has an amazing collection. We actually just bought it yesterday. Paul said, let's go ahead and pick those out. Let's put out some great stuff for tonight. I said, I'm in. Let's do it. Let's sell some incredible stuff tonight from his collection. This is Poison's Greatest Hits, green and yellow vinyl. It was pretty much like a one-time deal, uh, and then they haven't made it since then. 2020, green and yellow, only time on vinyl, and they've never redid it. I don't know why. They could put this back into print and sell thousands of units. Don't ask me why it's out of print, but it's very desirable. Poison's Greatest Hits, $75 start. $75 start on Poison's Greatest Hits. That is a 2020 only time on vinyl. Now, back up at the top, the last thing we did was Derek Zazaro and Collective So, Seth Wiebe was second, Denise Kennedy third, John Stevens first on a Jane's Addiction, Richard Johnson next on a Collective So, Derek Zarzaro on a Jane's Addiction. Keep in mind, these are all $24.99. Then Jane's with Mitch T, then Jane's with Josh, and then Kevin. Rob was next on Collective Soul, then Colin Butler, and then Richard Morgan on Jimmy. Jimi Hendrix is sold to Richard Morgan for $24.99. Then Matt Lawson, then 42 Foxes on Jane Addiction, then 42 Foxes on Jimi Hendrix. Poison's up for bed, and we have a final call before the comments get buried. Final call on UFO, Forrest Appleton for $36. We're about to sell it. I got some surprise auctions like UFO, other Aussie, Scorpions, and other items like that. Misfits, $24.99. These are new, sealed, on sale for $24.99. Coulter Wall, Little Songs, Blue Vinyl, last copy, $24.99 on Coulter Wall. The Strokes, $15 off. These were like allocated when they first came out. My last copy, it is on red vinyl. Is this it? 
The Strokes, $24.99, $15 off on that. And Morgan Wallen, if I know me, Morgan is $14.99, excuse me, $24.99. Everything in here is $24.99. Morgan Wallen, if I know me. I've got several of those, and I'll do one more Pearl Jam 10. I, I don't know why I'm discounting this. I'm just going to order more, but uh, it's been stickered in here for a couple months, or actually three months. So, uh, like I said, I'm pulling dates. I pull dates. February, uh, January, maybe early March, some of those were discounted. If they've been in here for a couple months, we go ahead and sell them. All right. So Poison was at 110. Derek Zarzaro, Derek Zarzaro on MF, that's Misfits. Sean Holford first on Strokes, then Kevin Jordan, then Mitch, then Colin. Greg Peck next on Misfits, then Display It. There's going to be a lot of comments. I won't be able to read through all these. Jason on Misfits, then uh, Jason again, Jason Franz, Jason Anderson. Derek Zarzaro on Pearl Jam, that's sold to Derek Zarzaro, uh, Richard Johnston next, then Creasy Weeby. And then Matt Lawson on uh, Ryan Bingham. That's so to Matt Lawson. All right, so we got Morgan Wallen, If I Know Me, and Cake, Fashion Nugget. Cake is $24.99. Fashion Nugget, that is $24.99. Wow, I don't think I've ever discounted that before. And Tedeschi Trucks Band signs. I think what some of these are were some of those putbacks, and they kind of got mixed in with our new arrivals because I'm like, man, I remember at one time having a waiting list for this, but what's happened is it was a non-payment, so it's got an old sticker, and now it's eligible for discount. $24.99 on that. John Stevens wants a cake. Jason Anderson was next on Morgan Wallen. I have more of these if anybody else wants one. $24.99. Derek Zarzaro first on cake. Robert Tomic first on Tedeschi Trucks Band. All right, we got to go ahead and sell UFO to Forrest Appleton. That's sold to Forrest for $36.00. And we have poison. I think it's time to move that to a final call. I hadn't seen anything in a while. It's the green and yellow vinyl, the Walmart exclusive, only time on vinyl. I think literally it was limited to Walmart, which is incredible for something like this. Uh, and the high bid and the last thing I had was David Tate at 110. If anybody wants in, you've got to go through David Tate. He has it for 110. If you haven't already, please make sure you have liked our post on Facebook and YouTube. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm gonna pull out something from this metal bin that I literally just discovered. I kind of forgot we had some of these from that Houston collection. And this is Cinderella, Long Cold Winter. Let's take a look at it. Cinderella, what do we have here? A foreign pressing? This is Cinderella. This is a Japanese pressing? Figure out what we have here. Um, I'm looking at it for the first time. No, it's a Korean. It's a South Korean pressing. South Korean pressing of Cinderella, Long Cold Winter. Interesting label there. Beautiful looking vinyl though, not a mark on it. It's EX Plus for sure. Has the original uh, Phillips kind of South Korean inner sleeve there with it. And it has an insert. And it has an insert. And so this is, yeah, there's the insert. Wow, pretty interesting. Cinderella, let's put that up for a $30 start. That is uh, Cinderella, Long Cold Winter, $30 start on that. $30 start on that. Poison is got a new bid for $115, $120, $125, now $130. Back to the on-sale $24.99 bin. We have Thelonious Monks plays Duke Ellington, $24.99. Also, Cradle of Filth, Live at Dynamo, Open Air, 1997. Cradle of Filth, $24.99. Zach Bryan, Deanne. I actually showed this last night. Zach Bryan, Deanne. I have several. Zach Bryan, Deanne, $24.99 for Zach Bryan, Deanne. Also, we sold one Morgan Wallen earlier. I had three others. I'm going to put him in the bin just in case anybody else decides they wanted one and maybe thought they sold out. There's the others, uh, Morgan Wallen. I had three of those left. Okay, so last thing I said was Poison 125, Poison 130, Cinderella 30, Cinderella 31, Cinderella 35, Cinderella Kathy Webb, Poison 135, Kevin Jordan on the Cradle of Filth, that's for $24.99, Josh Phillips on Monk, $24.99, Cinderella 40, Robert Tomic on Zach Bryan, that's so to Robert Tomic, Cinderella 40, Jason Anderson, Zach Bryan, so to Jason Anderson, Cinderella 35, Cinderella 45, Cinderella 42, Cinderella 50, so Poison's now at 135, now 140. Ray Wiley Hubbard co-starring, $24.99 for Ray Wiley Hubbard co-starring. I actually have two of those. Ray Wiley is $24.99 and Eno Morricone, Themes Passion. So Eno Morricone, famous film score composer. This is a collection of some of his movies. 
They're numbered. They're on colored vinyl. $24.99. Eno Morricone Passion. And my last four copies of Blaze Foley. We started with 30 of these a few months ago. I'm down to my last four. Blaze Foley, The Dog Years, $24.99. $24.99. So, I said Cinderella 50 and Poison 140. Then Cinderella 52. Then Cinderella 60. And then Cinderella 55, Poison 160. Michael Swanger wants a Ray Wiley Hubbard. Sell that to Michael Swanger. There's one left if anybody else wants it. I have another. What do I have here? This is Ryan Bingham. This is Watch Out for the Wolf. That's the indie exclusive on Orange Vinyl. That one is $24.99. Ryan Bingham, Watch Out for the Wolf, $24.99. And the Beatles Revolver. I can't believe I'm discounting this, but it's been here almost a year. I'm putting off discounting. I was like, Every time I run across it, I was like, ah, I can't discount this. This is literally top five favorite album of all time for me. It's like discounting a Led Zeppelin. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm doing something very, very bad. Poison's at 170. Cinderella's at 65. Derek Zarzaro wants a Blaze Foley. We have Cinderella 66, Cinderella out. Michael Swanger on Ryan Bingham. And then we have Paul Ogley. I'm assuming B was for Beatles. So that sold to Paul Ogley, then Mitch T was second, Deidre Schultz on Ryan Bingham, then Jerry Stone, then Denise, then Bob, then Trey, and then Richard Johnson. Everything in here is on sale for $24.99, including Bang Tango. We sold two last night in a buy it now best offer. This is the last copy, Bang Tango, $24.99, and Hootie and the Blowfish, Clear vinyl, $24.99. Zach, excuse me, Ryan Bingham, gold, $15 off, $24.99. And Primus Rhinoplasty is $24.99. Wow, big discounts. Poison, update. Greg Peck, $170. David Tate says he's out. I think it was down to those two. Uh, yeah, Greg Peck said $170. Final call. Cinderella. The high bid I have is Aaron Civic at $66. Aaron Civic at $66. Donald Kennedy on BT, Bang Tango for $24.99. Chrissy Weeby on HB for Hootie and Blowfish. So to Chrissy Weeby, Derek was second. Mitch T says he all needs to put back Revolver. Wait a second. I need to put back Revolver. I'll have that already. Mitch... You were second on the Beatles. Uh, you didn't get the Beatles. Sean was next on Bang Tango, then Richard Morgan, then David Tate on Hootie. Seth Weeby first on Promise, then Derek Zazaro, then John Grace, then Rob Scheffler, then Jerry Stone, then Tony Swanson. Poison's at 172. We have Promise, Promise, and I was out on Cinderella, not Poison. Oh, my bad. David was out on Cinderella, not Poison, yes. So Cinderella's still getting bids. And this is gold by Ryan Adams, not Ryan Bingham. Yes, thank you. I, we, there's a lot of Ryans in here. Okay, both auctions are still getting bids. These are everything in here is $24.99. It's a on sale discount new vinyl bin. Everything is $24.99. Everything. It's all new and sealed. Let's go through this one more time. So, as soon as one of these sells, we'll put up something else. Incredible stuff tonight. While there may be some fresh people hopping on, let me read you some of those titles again. These are all originals. Pantera, Ozzy, 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 Cinderella, Alice in Chains, Badlands, Pantera, Van Halen, Trickster, Skid Row, Metallica, Metallica, Cypress Hill, and Dio. You heard me right. That's that grid of 16. This is number one of 16 from that test post. From that hot post. Cinderella's at $70 with Mike Torres. Poison's at $175. Next is Morgan Wallen. Three copies left. If I know me, $24.99 for Morgan Wallen. The Fray, last copy. How to Save a Life, $24.99. Coulter Wall, last copy. Blue Vinyl, indie exclusive, Little Songs, $24.99. Zach Bryan, Deanne, $24.99. I've got several. I actually have a whole bin of them in the back. Zach Bryan, $24.99. Ray Wiley Hubbard, last copy, co-starring, $24.99. Eno Morricone, Themes Passion, $24.99. Blaze Foley, three copies left, The Dog Years. Blaze Foley, $24.99. Ryan Adams, Gold, 2LP, New and Sealed, $24.99. Hallbrook CM wants the Ryan Adams. Gary Samuels gets the fray. Those are all sold. And I'm going to go over here and start a new bin. 
unless anybody else wants anything in there. They're all $24.99. I'm going to set these right there. That crate filled up very quickly. Got plenty of auctions to run for tonight. That will keep us very busy. And while I have everybody on, that's the only promise I have, Jerry. While I have everybody on, I have an LP that was a huge seller. I don't think I've ever officially put one on sale. I'm going to do it $10 off. $10 off. They're on blue vinyl. I can't get blue vinyl anymore to my knowledge. I'm also going to go ahead and set this crate of new um, of discount stuff. We have a new bin from Paul, like new stuff, and then I have a $9.99 crate. I'm going to go ahead and do the $9.99 crate while I'm at it. Then we'll do Paul's new arrivals, and then I'll probably do another bin. I've got another bin of $24.99 new vinyl. But this is on sale for $29.99. It's Stone Temple Pilots' greatest hits. $29.99. 2LP, gay fold. First time ever on vinyl. $29.99. Interstate Love Song, Plush, Creep, Vaseline, Wicked Garden, Big Empty, Lady Picture Show's a good one, Sex Type Thing, Plush, Acoustic. That is Stone Temple Pilots. It's called Thank You. It's essentially their greatest hits. Blue vinyl. I've had them since October. $29.99. $29.99. All right, back up at the top. All right, so I left off. The last thing I said was Cinderella. Mike Torrey's had that for $70. Poison was at $175. We have a request for Badlands, a request for No More Tears. Poison got a new bid for $180. Then we pulled the Ryan Adams, and then we pulled the Frey. Then Poison got a new bid for $185. Leslie Wickline wants Coulter Wall from that last bin. Coulter Wall is sold for $24.99. That's from that previous bin on sale. Leslie Wickline. Kenny Cates Jr. wants ZB, and Creasy Weeby wants CS. And that was, I'm not for sure, what was CS? But Zach Bryan. Creasy, what was CS? I got Kenny Case Jr. with a Zach Bryan for $24.99, and now the Stone Temple Pilots. And I've got a bunch of them. I've got a bunch of them. Let me go ahead and grab a handful. These are $29.99. Stone Temple Pilots, thank you. What incredible music. One of the big four of the grunge era. We have John Stevens on STP, Creasy Weeby on STP, Derek Zarzaro on STP, Sandy Mile on STP, Richard Johnston on STP, Kevin Jordan on STP, Jen Cast on STP. I've got more. Hopefully I have enough for everybody. I have a feeling we were going to sell out. We probably will. We'll find out. Jen Cast was the last person I called off. These are $29.99, Jen Cast, and then we had Jeffrey Boyson on STP, Sherry Darnell on STP, Kathy Webb on STP, Shakedown on STP, Rebecca Barber on STP. We have another request for Badlands. Poison's at $200. We have Richard Morgan on STP, Donald Kennedy on STP, and we have Kevin Jordan wants STP. After Kevin, I've got three left, and I just saw two more comments pop up. Three left, and I just saw two more comments pop up. That's Jamie Wills Erickson on STP, $29.99. Aaron Civic, $29.99. And one copy, John Franz. They're all gone. Unless there's another one in the bins, but I flipped through them. I flipped through them all, and they were, I kind of got them all together. That was it. That was the original shipment of 100 or 250 from last October. That was all of them. They're all gone. So, John Franz. Brian and Jeff was the next. Poison has a bid for $201, but I'll tell you what didn't get another bid. Cinderella. It's gone. Cinderella is sold to Mike Torrey's for $70. That's sold to Mike Torrey's for $70. All right. Now, let's go ahead and do something pretty wicked. Let's go ahead and do something pretty incredible. I was going to do this right at 8 o'clock. It's 7.50. If I put up another auction, it might take another 20 minutes, so let's go ahead and do it right now. I don't think I've ever had... Uh, an original of this, uh, maybe once, uh, maybe from that Birmingham collection or something, but uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, So, um, or I've never had this before. I don't, it, it doesn't come through very often, I can promise you that. Maybe once a year in a collection. The odds of somebody buying this originally at a store is very, very slim, finding somebody who originally bought this at a store 
and has it in their collection. If somebody's bought it, they've probably bought it recently off the web. This is incredible. This is an original Allison Chains. The name of the album is Allison Chains, so self-titled, also known as Tripod, also known as Three-Legged Dog. This is incredible. I'm telling you, this Kansas City collection is remarkable. This is an original, 1995 U.S. pressing. Paul says this is not a drill. It has both original on her sleeves. Overall, it's an EX, EX Plus. It's a $395 start. $395 start. It's nice. It's very clean. The jacket is fantastic on it. $395 start. This is Allison Chains, also known as Self Titled, also known as Three Legged Dog, also known as Tripod. It's now up for bid. We have an opening bid of $400. We have an opening bid of 400. That's now a forbid. Allison Chains. All right. So, this is not a drill. Include the post-it. I'll leave that post-it note with it. This is not a drill. <laughs> In the hand of Paul. That's up for bid. All right. Now, uh, since we're getting into some pricier stuff, there's a couple things new buyers need to know because we're going to be selling some auctions tonight for well over $500. If you're a new buyer and you start buying some very pricey stuff, I may go ahead and send you a bill for it tonight. So be prepared. If you're a new buyer or maybe you're fairly new and you have all of a sudden bought two or $3,000 worth of stuff tonight, I'm probably going to stop you before then, but be prepared to pay for these immediately. I may text Tanner and say, let's send an invoice, okay? So be prepared because we, we may have to test you on some of these, all right? We can't let anybody run up a bill and uh, not be able to pay for these because there's going to be some people get very excited over some of these titles. Make sure you can pay for them. Make sure you have funds in hand. Uh, poison. When I stepped away, Brooks had bid 201, then David Tate, then Brooks Vauder, and then 206 with David. And then we have, yeah. So, Brooks, you're back out. Allison Chains is at $425. Everything in this bin is $9.99. Everything in this bin is $9.99. 10 cc bloody tourist. If I don't say anything about condition, then it's EX plus to near mint minus. 10 cc bloody tourist. That's 9.99. And John Anderson Oasis of Sun Willow. That's 9.99. And Mike's Murder. That's original motion picture soundtrack to Mike's Murder. 9.99. And Adventures in Utopia with Todd Runger. 9.99. Me and Paul both kind of set an auction estimate on this. What I think Allison Chains would bring. I also had an idea what I thought Poison would bring. We're getting close. We're getting close, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what's up with my air conditioning here. I think I didn't turn it off. I, I think I accidentally put it on heat. So I was cold, and now I'm really hot because we've got it set on 70-70, and I think it's blowing warm air. So that's uh, Utopia, 999. Let's go back up to the top. And we had Poison at 207, Allison Chains for 450, 475. That is not Country John Anderson. No, I usually say that. That is, uh, yes, John Anderson, prog rock, not country. Allison Chains 500, Poison 210, Allison Chains 505. Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Rick Wakeman is in EX condition, $9.99 for Rick Wakeman. Also, JT, James Taylor, Gold Stamp Promo, $9.99. Everything in here is on sale. It's been discounted. Some things were originally $20. Some things were originally $15. They're all $9.99. Tony Freeman wants the John Anderson record. I don't think uh, Jason Anderson wanted it. So let's give that to Tony Freeman. So Tony Freeman got it. Jason's passing. Todd Rundgren Runt. Todd Rundgren is $9.99. Todd Rundgren Runt is $9.99. Allison Chains is at $6.25. And Poison's at $212. Harper's Bazaar, Feeling Groovy, $9.99. Original gold label, $9.99. And Todd Rundgren, again, a wizard, a true star, $9.99. Todd Rundgren, a wizard, a true star. Josh Raglan on this Todd Rundgren. That's so to Josh Raglan. Christopher, your second. There's another Todd Rundgren. Allison Chains is at 630, 755. The Monkey's Headquarters, $9.99. The Monkey's Headquarters, $9.99. Also, Pat Benatar, and this is a Spanish pressing. It's pressed in Spain. Pat Benatar, Precious Time, $9.99. 
All right, so let's go back up the top. So we got David Tate and Brooks battling over the poison. Brooks said 212. David said 213. Allison Chains was at 630, then 755. Jim Hickson wants Wizard, a true star. That's Todd Rundgren. Poison 215. Allison Chains, that's a lesser bid. Christopher Brush, a second on Todd Rundgren. We have Josh Ragland, third. Hallbrook was fourth. Michael Thomas wants the Monkees. Allison Chains is at 760 with Derek Zarzaro and Charlie Daniels, VG Condition, Million Mile Reflections, $9.99. Allison Chains is at 760. Poison is at 215 with Brooks Vauder, now 217 with David Tate. Soundtrack to Burt Reynolds' Sharky's Machine, $9.99. Soundtrack to Sharky's Machine, $9.99. Richard Johnston, you were fifth on the Todd Rundgren Wizard True Star. John Lennon, live. Toronto, Live Piece Toronto, $9.99 on that, an original Apple pressing. Billy Butler on Sharky's Machine, that's so to Billy Butler. Brooks is at $225 on Poison. The high bid on Allison Chains is $760 with Derek Zarzaro. Shakedown first on JL for John Lennon. Everything in here is $9.99. Kelly Bagwell gets Charlie Daniels. We have George Harrison, Extra Texture, $9.99. Scott Jeffcoat was second. And John Lennon, Double Fantasy, also no condition notes. Original on her sleeve, $9.99. So if I don't say anything about condition, if I don't say anything about condition, then it's EX plus to near mint minus. If you hear me grade it, EX, VG, VG plus, then that's the grade. Scott Jeffcoat, nope. Jamie Wills Erickson first on George Harrison. If you're new... If you see something in the bin you want, like John Lennon, you comment JL. That buys it. If you want to bid on something back here, if you want to bid on something back here, then you put in the comments what your bid is, and we will sell it to you as long as you win it. There's no time limits on auction. It's all first come, first serve in the bin. The auctions is whenever I call it sold to you. So if I say sold, then uh, it's yours. Hold on one second. Give me one second. All right. So we have, uh, last thing I left off was Jamie Wills Erickson on George Harrison, Scott Jeffcoat on George Harrison, Jackson Blaylock, George Harrison, Daniel Hayes on John Lennon, and then we have John Franz on Pat Benatar, and then we have Allison Chains at $900, and we have the Kinks' greatest celluloid heroes, the Kinks' greatest Tan RCA label, $9.99. So David Tate says he's out on poison. Well, David Tate said he's out, and then Brooks said he's out. So who has it? David Tate had it for $2.26, and then he said out. Brooks had it for $2.25. So what's going on there? And then Mitchell M. wants kinks. Mitchell, I'm pretty sure you're a first-time buyer. The kinks are sold to you for $9.99. Let me go ahead and share the link for anybody watching on first uh, YouTube for the first time. This is shopcollectco.com backslash contact. That's Mitch T. Okay, so he's a regular buyer. That's uh, Mitch T. All right, so shop collectco, and that is so to Mitch T. Mitch T gets the kinks. That's so to Mitch T. If you are a first time buyer on YouTube, there's the link. If you want to go ahead and fill it out, go ahead and do that now so when you come back, you don't miss anything. So if you want to go ahead and fill it out now, but we really don't need you to unless you make a purchase for the first time. If Brooks don't, I will take it if Brooks don't. Okay, so you bid 226 and then said, never mind, I'm out, and then Brooks said out. So that means Brooks, if you're retracting your $226 bid, that means Brooks is going to get it for 225 and I'm going to make it a final call. And then Allison Chains is at 900 with Derek Zarzaro. We have Rod Stewart Smiler, $9.99 for Rod Stewart Smiler, $9.99. Rod Stewart Smiler, no condition notes on that. Also, the Fabulous Thunderbirds, hot number. Gold Stamp Promo, $9.99 for the Fabulous Thunderbirds, hot number. Gold Stamp Promo, $9.99. And yes, going for the one. 
yes, going for the one is $9.99. No condition notes on yes. Tony Joe White, black and white, that's in VG Plus condition, $9.99. Polk Salad Annie, VG Plus, $9.99 on that. And we have Rico Kasich, this side of paradise, $9.99. All right, Allison Chains is moving to a final call. We have a bid for $900 with Derek Zarzaro. I had a feeling we'd get pretty close to that number. Actually, I thought he would might hit four digits. We're at 900 Final call. Scott Jeffcoat on FT. FT was for Fabulous Thunderbirds. That's $9.99. Michael Word was first on Tony. Tony Joe White. Scott Ham wants Rico Kasich. And we have Kelly Bagwell next on Tony Joe White. All right, so the way I understand, Brooks Valder has the high bid on Poison for $225, and that's a final call. Brooks has it for $225, final call. When I sell that, I think I'm also going to go ahead and sell Allison Chains. Pat Travers, Crash and Burn, $9.99 for Pat Travers. Nielsen, Son of Schmilson, that's $9.99 for Harry Nielsen. And Redbone, Potlatch, Redbone is $9.99. So is Ian Hunter Live. Welcome to the club. Two LPs, that's $9.99. And Charlie Daniels Band, Full Moon, VG Condition, $9.99. All right, let's go ahead. I'm reaching for it. This is officially sold to Derek Zazaro, a grail, Allison Chains. Who knows the next time I'll get one of these. Hopefully next week, but I doubt it. Derek, this is yours. There was a couple other people. They never did say out. It's yours for 900 I was actually messaging Tanner and said we had two new buyers bidding. Be prepared to invoice them for Allison Chains if you can tune in. So Tanner was on standby to bill. Tanner's on standby if we have any first-time buyers that buys an expensive record, just FYI, so we can go ahead and send out invoices. If we sell a record for more than $500, we have a tradition unlike any other here at Coletco. That's a master's reference since it's master's week. $500 or more, we blow the air horn. Allison Chains is sold for $900. Right into the camera. Hide your pets and plug your ears. Paul's in the back, and he probably just went, what in the world just happened? Allison Chains is sold. I was actually going to start that auction, like, right now. But it's already two minutes past eight, and it's done. But guess what? We still got Trickster. We still got Ozzy. No more tears. Oh, boy. Hope everybody has their credit cards paid off. This is going to be a big night. Allison Chains is sold. Derek Zarzaro. That is sold to Derek for 900 all right incredible absolutely incredible Derek I might have to give that a spin tonight I can't remember the last time I played an OG of this guess what this album's never been reissued guess what this has never been reissued before never been reissued before on this absolutely incredible that's Alice in Chains that is sold for $900 I'm gonna leave that sticky note on the back this is not a drill. Now, I never did. I'm, I was hoping David Tate was going to clarify, and I'm going to go ahead and sell this to Brooks Valder for $225. So, Brooks, this is sold to you for $225. You get that for $225. Sell that to Brooks Valder, $225. All right, those are gone. Two of the 16 are done, plus all the surprise ones we have. Back up at the top, let me tag these first. We had Richard Johnston on PT. PT was for Pat Travers. That's so to Richard Johnston. Christopher Brush on RB for Redbone. And then Jeff Mawitz on IH for Ian Hunter. And then Hendry is second. Then Pete Maselli third. Richard Morgan first on Charlie Daniels. Then Kelly Bagwell. And then we have uh, Mitch T on Harry Nielsen. That's so to Mitch T. He says not claiming. Okay. So that's not a claim, and we want to go ahead and get down to the bottom. All right, so we're in a bin of $9.99 vintage stuff, which is a discount bin. We have some people patiently waiting for this record. Never can get enough of them. We definitely see this one probably. I can't believe it, but we do see this one more than we do others in this bin, which it used to be like, I can't believe it's here. But uh, this may be the most common of the auctions we have tonight, actually. There it is. It's an original 1989 U.S. retail copy. 
It's never been opened. It's sealed. Just waiting for somebody to open and give it its very first spin. It does have a saw mark on the jacket. It's an original 89 U.S. pressing sealed of Badlands, self-titled, never been reissued, most likely never will be reissued. That is an $85 start for Badlands. $85 start. Now, Trickster has not been auctioned. Sandy Ma, R-S-O-G. I'm not for sure what that means. And then we have a new auction as well, which was not advertised. This is Wow, Wendy O. Williams, an original. An original Wow by Wendy O. Williams. The vinyl is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Wendy O. Williams, Wow. Wow. It's Wow. Now going up for bid. $25 start. Wendy O. Williams. Produced by Gene Simmons. Guest star. Guest appearance. Ace Freely. $25 start on that. $25 start on Wendy O. Williams. Okay, now we have Blood, Sweat, and Tears, $9.99. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, $9.99. Sandy Mile on Rod Stu. Okay, Rod Stewart, RS. Okay, Rod Stewart. That's sold to Sandy Mile for $9.99. Neil Young Trans, $9.99. Neil Young Trans, $9.99. Jethro Tull, Minstrel in the Gallery, $9.99. Jack Bruce, Jack Bruce from Cream. Songs for a Taylor, yellow Atco label, and original CTH pressing, $9.99, and Jackson Brown for Everyman. Jackson Brown, that has the original version of Take It Easy, his original version of These Days, VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Everything in here is $9.99. All right, so when I left off, we just ended two auctions. If you're new, welcome. If you're here every night, or if you're new, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the Facebook post. Please do that for us. Just a simple like. Same thing for YouTube. We do this seven days a week. Definitely we do it six days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes we do it on Sundays as well. $7 in limited shipping. If you're new, you have just found the best buying experience for records in the universe. Badlands is at 100 Badlands is at 100 Badlands 100, 100, 125, 130, Wow 27, Wow 25, Badlands 150, Badlands 110, Wow 33, Wow 25, Wow 30, Wow 35, Christopher Brusha on JT, Jethro Tull, so did Christopher Brusha, $9.99, Hallbrook was second, Jamie Wills Erickson first on Neil Young, Jackson Blaylock first on Jack Bruce, Jason Franz first on Jackson Brown, Paul Ogley second. Badlands 125, Jackson next on Jack Bruce, and Shakedown was next on Neil Young. Here's what's left in this $9.99 discount bin. 10cc Bloody Tourist, these are all $9.99. Mike's Murder Soundtrack, music by Joe Jackson. Adventures in Utopia with Todd Rundgren, $9.99. Hallbrook CM, Once You Make Me So Very Happy, and Spinning Wheel. That's Blood, Sweat, and Tears' self-titled debut album. Actually, not their debut, their second album. Rick Wakeman from Yes, Journey to the Center of the Earth. James Taylor, JT. Harper's Bazaar, Feeling Groovy. A Yes album, Going for the One. That has wondrous stories on it. And Nielsen, Son of Schmilson. So let's update Badlands. The last bid was Robert Phillippe. Or actually, the highest bid is with Robert Phillippe for $150. $150 with Robert Phillippe. That's the high bid. It's not the most recent, but it's the highest one. And then the last bid, or I should say the high bid on WOW, I've got Mitch T at $35. Mitch T at $35 on that. Bill Stewart wants the Harry Nilsson. Ron Barr wants Yes. That's Bart. K-O-W-I-A-K, -K, Ron B as I call him. If anybody else wants anything in there, just let me know. Let's go through this crate of new, new stuff that Paul brought up here. And then we've got a whole nother full bin of on-sale new vinyl, and you don't want to go anywhere for that. But let's bring over this new bid of new bin of stuff that Paul has brought up. I don't see another bid on Badlands. We're moving it to a final call. Badlands is at $150, a sealed copy of... Robert Phillippe, an original, a U.S. pressing. It's sealed. New bid from Display It for $155. Display It also has the high bid now on Wendy O. Williams for $36. These are priced as marked. They're new arrivals from various collections. They may have come from New Orleans. They might have come from Houston. 
They might have come from Pennsylvania. They might have come from right down the road. I don't know. We're about to find out. I have not looked through any of these. These are all surprises. Doug Karn, Infant Eyes. That's a 1997 U.S. pressing, sealed, $34.99. Now, this New Orleans collection has a lot of incredible reissues, a lot of rare, rare albums that are reissues from like the 90s. Otherwise, the OG would be thousands of dollars. Doug Karn is $34.99. That is sealed. Doug Karn. Upper Crust, the decline and the fall of the Upper Crust. That is a sealed 1997 hardcore album, $49.99 for Upper Crust, The Rise, The Decline, and Fall. This is Bugs Henderson, the Bugs Henderson Group, a 1981 U.S. pressing. That's Blues Rock, Still Flying, Bugs Henderson, $24.99. Badlands is at $160. Nobody else has bid on Wendy O'Williams. Final call now to display it. Disc play it, $36. Badlands is tied. Marianne has it for $160. Disc play it is out. Robert Phillippe's out. Oregon Mountains, Woody Simmons, a, 1990, a 1977 U.S. pressing. That's a folk album. Woody Simmons, 1999. Also introducing the Cripple Creek Band. Cripple Creek Band, a country rock, southern rock. That's country rock, southern rock. It's signed, $24.99. Cripple Creek Band, $24.99. And we have the Cisco, the Cisco Kid, the Cisco Kid, Reuben Wilson. That is sealed, $24.99. It's either a 1973 or 1974 pressing. Nobody else bid on Wendy O. Williams. Rodney Brown just bid $37. We'll give that a few more moments. I'm going to go ahead and introduce a new auction. This is Dale Jones, Positive Vibes, sealed, $79.99. Dale Jones, Positive Vibes. Let's bring over Cypress Hill. We still got Skid Row. Pantera, No More Tears, No Rest for the Wicked, Randy Rhodes Tribute, Cinderella Still Climbing, Pantera, I Am the Night, Van Halen, F-U-C-K Album, Trickster, Metallica, Black Album, OG, Metallica, Ride the Lightning, OG, Cypress Hill, and Dio, Walk Up, Lock Up the Wolves, plus some other stuff that I mentioned earlier. You've got to stay tuned in or you're going to miss something. This is Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. Wow. An original. Never had this before. First time offering at Coletco. This is an original. 1993 U.S. pressing with both original winter sleeves. Both discs are nice. EX, EX Plus. $85 start. We're talking original. The OG. This is it. Not the new reissue we keep in stock. The original. This is a... Cypress Hill Black Sunday OG 1993 gatefold jacket $85 start. We have an opening bid of $100. It has both original under sleeves. We now have three auctions going. I figured we'd be bidding on some of these for a while, so we might have to keep three going. It's going to be a lot of stuff to keep track of. Cypress Hill's now up for bid. That's going to have a lot of activity. So will Badlands. We're not done yet. I haven't seen any of the three people say out yet. And we still got Wendy Williams, which also just got a new bid of $40. Rodney Brown, let me know if you want back in. Rodney Brown, let me know if you want back in. We have, in the beginning, the British North American Act, an unofficial reissue of Rare Psych. Rare Psych, I like the sound of that. $29.99. Who done it? Who drained the pool? Van Peterson, a 1996, a 1966, a 1966 private press Texas blues rock album. $54.99, $54.99, and Jimmy Spacek and The Fever. Easy come, easy go. This is $24.99, a 1987 Texas blues album, $24.99. Also, Dust Bowl, Clementine. Dust Bowl is a 1972 white label promo, $14.99. All right, let's update Badlands. The last thing I said was Marianne had it for $160. Robert Phillippe bid $165. Display it bid $170. Display it bid $170. Display it still has it for $170. Marianne and Robert Phillippe, you're out. An original U.S. pressing of Badlands, sealed. Does have a saw mark over the B. It's a very nice sealed copy. Badlands. High bid, $170.00 with disc play it 170 Robert Phillippe's at 175 Marianne also bid 175 Marianne you're out disc play it you're out Cypress Hill is now or excuse me wow Rodney Brown Rodney Brown said out 
High bid, display it, $40, final call. Cypress Hill is an original U.S. pressing. Yes, it's an original U.S. pressing. Back to the bin. Ray Neal's Shotgun, Tennessee's Rockin'. This is a 1981 UK import rockabilly album, $21.99. Cypress Hill does not have a saw mark. It is an original U.S. pressing. This was sold in stores in the United States. This was sitting on a shelf at one point, probably for about, what, $17, $15 in a store, a Sam Goody, and somebody walked in and bought it. The one, this is who? Siren, S-Y-R-E-N, a 1984 Canadian reggae vocal album, $29.99. Ryan Vaughn says he'll take the rockabilly. That's so to Ryan Vaughn. This is some very, very obscure stuff in here. Very obscure stuff from this New Orleans collection. Segrini, Segrini is a 1978 Canadian import on purple vinyl. It is signed on the front. Segrini, 1999. And we have Ben Dover and the Tennessee Tucker. That's Carpetbaggers. That's 1977. That's a country rock album. The cover does have some damage. $14.99. Cypress Hill, the high bid is Michael Word. Charlie Leeds, $160. I think we got three people at $160. We need somebody to go ahead and just bid $200. Charlie Leeds is at $160. Uh, Wendy O. Williams is sold to display it for $40. I'll go ahead and get that off the table. That's sold to display it for $40. That's done. Wendy O. Williams is gone. Allison Chain sold moments ago for $900. It's gone. Allison Chains is gone. We have an incredible batch of 16 amazing records. Fantastic stuff. Cypress Hills now at 200. And Badlands. Marianne, are you done bidding? Display it, are you done bidding? Badlands is creeping. Robert Phillippe has it for 175. Robert Phillippe has it for 175. Display it wants bend over. Chrissy Weeby, you were second. Cypress Hill, 200. We're caught up. We have Keeley Patterson, Maiden Voyage, sealed, a 1998 U.S. pressing, $24.99. Badlands, 80. Badlands, 83. Marianne, you're outbid. Robert Phillippe, you're outbid. Sunday Funnies, $14.99 for Sunday Funnies. Paul Ogley wants In the Beginning. I missed that. That's sold to Paul Ogley, In the Beginning. Mill City Blues, Papa John Colstad and Soupy Milton. That's a 1971 U.S. Private Press Blues album, 1999. Paul has priced some really cool stuff from the New Orleans collection. These are new vintage arrivals we're going through right now. Badlands at 190. Display at your outbid. Robert Phillippe, your outbid. If Squared, a 1970 U.S. pressing, 1999. Cypress Hill is an original 1993 U.S. pressing. It has both original inner sleeves. Both of the LPs are EX, EX Plus. Both of the LPs are EX, EX Plus. This is their big album, Black Sunday, but have both original inner sleeves. No condition notes on the vinyl. The cover is VG Plus. Extremely nice copy. The high bid on Cypress Hill is 200 with Shane Devers. Going once, going twice. Aaron Civic wants blues. Mill City Blues sold to Aaron Civic. And Jetstream says, Chad, I claim the Jimmy Texas Blues LP. Jimmy Texas Blues LP. That was this right here. Sorry. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of questions and claims and bids. If you don't see me pull something, make sure you let me know. Cypress Hills at 205. There's been two claims I've missed. Badlands is at 190 with Marianne. Robert Phillippe, you're out. Display it. Let me know if you want back in. Do we have Stray Moyer? Stray Moyer. This is $39.99, a 1974 UK album, $39.99. Christopher Brusha says, Dust Claim, please. Dust, Dust Bowl. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. Stone Axe is a 2014 US reissue. That's Stoner Rock. Stone Axe, Stoner Rock, $26.99. What do we have here? That's wild looking. $19.99. 1999. That is Stuffy and his Frozen Parachute Band. 1999. So Cypress Hill is now at 210. Marianne, you're out. Shane Devers, you're out. And then uh, Badlands is at 190 with Marianne. 
Final call. Display it. Let me know if you want back in. Marianne has it for $190, and that is a final call. We're waiting for possibly a new bidder or for uh, a new bid from Display It. That's where we're at. In the meantime, I'm going to put up another auction. I'm telling y'all, I've got some surprises over here that was not even advertised. I know the people's on. Let's bring out some great records. Dio, the last in line. This is a club copy, original inner sleeve, fantastic vinyl, no condition notes, $35 start. For some reason, these Dio albums, they're in print. They're just not available right now. I can't order them. I wish I would. I would stock up on it. This is a $35 start. It's a really nice copy and shrink wrap. Dio, the last in line, $35 start. Cypress Hill was at $25, $210, $225, 215 Jackson Blaylock wants stuff. Cypress Hill, 220 Dio has a bid for 36 Out on Badlands. Badlands is sold to Marianne for $190. Badlands is gone. Another copy of Badlands. Going to a new co going to a new home. Uh, now, if, if y'all have seen the pictures I've posted, this Kansas City collection is mind blowing. I posted a gallery of 80 pictures. I'm gonna do probably 80 more tonight or in the morning, and then a couple more on Sunday. And the, and he he had like 500 photographs he sent us. So really really cool. You're gonna be able to see like detailed photographs and pressing details of all these records that's gonna be for sale in the next couple weeks. Cypress Hill still getting bids. So is Dio. Let's keep going through this bin. We have, this is $14.99. This is a sock album on red vinyl. It's called Duncan. $14.99 on Duncan, red vinyl. Uh, Estes. Estes is $39.99, a 1973 U.S. Mark Bell, a.k.a. Marky Ramon on drums. Marky Ramon on drums, $39.99. We got two people at 40 on Dio, David Tate and Howie Hisner. Cypress Hills at 230. Jackson Blaylock says he'll take Duncan. Marianne, you're second. Dio's at 45. Marianne, you're out on Cypress Hill. Robert Phillippe, never mind. Robert Phillippe, you're out. Marianne has it for 230. Robert Phillippe, you're back out. Christopher Brusha, you were first on Marky here on the Estes album. I have filled up another bin, so let me set this off to the side and grab a new one here. We're going to have a lot of stuff to ship next week. All right, Cypress Hills at 250 Sonny Boy Williamson, Bummer Road, an original 1969 pressing in shrink wrap. Beautiful, $59.99. Sonny Boy Williamson, Bummer Road in shrink wrap, $59.99. Wildflowers 2, the New York Loft Jazz Sessions, a free jazz album, 1977 U.S., $24.99. Thomas Hujar right off the bat with Sonny Boy Williamson. We have the black and the whites sealed. $24.99, a 2008 U.S. punk album. Cypress Hills at $250. Dio is at $45 with Howie Hisner. We're talking OG Club, a club copy. Howie Hisner, $45. Final call now that David Tate's out. If anybody else wants in on Dio, no condition notes on the vinyl. The covers and shrink wrap. That's where we're at. Cypress Hill, they're still battling over that. Let's go ahead and get a third auction going. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever had this one. Skid Row, Subhuman Race. Now, this is an original 95 euro pressing, but Paul made a point. Somebody commented on this ad tonight, and they was like, is everything U.S. pressings? Yes, except for things that wasn't manufactured in the U.S. Skid Row, this was not made in the U.S. There is no U.S. pressing. So if you want an original, you got to get the Euro or possibly from a different country. But this is the Euro version. No U.S. press from 1995. And I think it's only been reissued in that box set, the Skid Row box set. An original 95 Euro pressing, original on her sleeve, EX Plus, beautiful copy. We're talking EX Plus, no condition notes. Might as well go ahead and say very close to near mint minus. Skid Row is a $175 start. Subhuman race. We do not get this very often. This is scarce. Extremely desirable. Skid Row, 1995. Euro, original on her sleeve. Beautiful jacket. Vinyl's beautiful. It's all beautiful. $175 start on subhuman race. That's now up for bid. Now up for bid.
All righty. We have Bob Burns and the breakups. Bob Burns is sealed. $14.99, a 2007 U.S. Garage punk album on yellow vinyl. Hellbound Glory, Scumbag Country. Hellbound Glory is $139.99, a 2008 U.S. brown vinyl pressing with CD. That's $139.99. It is sealed. It is sealed. Shane Devers, you're out on Cypress Seal. Mary Ann has it for $255. Let me know if you want back in. D.O. is sold to Howie Hisner for $45. D.O. is sold for $45. That's sold to Howie, $45. Nice pickup there. Figured that might bring a little bit more than that in shrink wrap. Nice copy. And Skid Row's going over here. 175 start on Skid Row. 175. We have Ron B. on Stone Axe. Was that in here? It is. Ron B. gets Stone Axe. Paul Ogley gets Bob Burns. That's so to Paul Ogley. We have a new bid on Cypress Hill for $275. Chad Duggan is in on Skid Row for $175. New copies of Subhuman Race a few months ago. I did not. No, Skid Row is only available in that box set. Uh, only available in that box set. Uh, possibly? Well, or does it have, did they reissue it on like colored vinyl, 2LP? They might have done that. They might have done that colored vinyl, 2LP. I, I really don't know. Uh, I don't think they have, though. I know they put out that... Um, I know they did the first couple on colored vinyl reissues. Uh, no, it has a reissue, not in the box set. It has a reissue, not in the box set. Okay, so yeah, it is like a 2LP blue vinyl. I remember that now. Yeah, it's been a long time. I can't get them anymore. They're out of stock, but yes. Uh, Sally Rogers, you're right. We have a 1986 U.S. folk album here. Sally Rogers, 999. I forgot, yeah, they reissued the first one, uh, Slave to the Grind, and that one on a 2LP colored vinyl deal. That is true, yes. It was last year. I remember that now. I can't order them anymore. I wish I had a whole bin full of them. I bet people would want them right now. They didn't get one that first go around. Doug Karn, Adam's Apple. That is sealed. A 1998 U.S. pressing. That was on the Black Jazz label. Sealed $29.99. And we have Sub in concert. Sub is $21.99. A 2004 German reissue. A 70 Psych Prog album. $21.99. Uh, Shane Devers, you're out on Cypress Hill. Mary Ann has it for $280. Going twice, going three times, unless Shane bids. Chad Duggan is the lone bidder on Skid Row, $175. Nobody else. Final call, Mr. Chad. I like that name. That's my name. My name's Chad. Final call. We have the SHIT Dogs, Dog Style, a 1983 U.S. Pressing with insert. That's a punk album. $74.99. Patrick's at $176 on Skid Row. Cypress Hill's at $300. Alan Parker. Alan Parker is a 1971 U.S. hard rock album. $16.99. Cha-Cha. Herman Brood and His Wild Romance. Cha-Cha is a 1978 German import. $14.99. Shane, you've been outbid on Cypress Hill. Mary Ann's at $305. Francisco Zappa. Francisco, Francisco Zappa, $34.99 for Francisco Zappa. That is a 1984 U.S. pressing with the original merchandise insert and the original inner sleeve, $34.99. Chad's back in on Skid Row at $180. Marianne has Cypress Hill for $305. Ten, af ten years after Undead. Wow, a 69 U.K. copy. If no one buys that, I'll keep it. $24.99, a 69 UK copy of 10 years after. Patrick Garrett, you've been outbid on Skid Row. Chad Duggan has it for $180. Hendry Smink wants Cha-Cha by Herman Brood. We have Jackson Blaylock on 10 years after. Cypress Hills at $330. We have P. Paul F Finch, the F word, sealed. That's a Psycho Billy album, a 2006 German import, $49.99. Shane, Marianne has Cypress Hill for $330. Patrick, please let me know if you want back in on that skid row. If not, we'll call it pretty quick to Chad Duggan. Let's go ahead and get a third auction going on over here on the side. This is UFO Fawcett. We opened earlier tonight with another UFO. This is on the original Green Chrysalis label. This is in about VG Plus condition. It's going to need a cleaning. It's in about VG plus condition. It is on the original green chrysalis label. We're going to put it up for a $10 star. VG plus UFO. Force it. Nice jacket. 
One piece of tape right here, nice jacket though, $10 start on that. $10 start. Skid Rose at $199. Cypress Hills at $351. Smashing Pumpkins is sealed. It's a remaster. $29.99. Pisces Iscariot. Dark Globe Life is Research. Dark Globe is a 1990 U.S. fun indie psych album. $14.99. Jamie Wills Erickson on Smashing Pumpkins. I actually got two more of those in stock. If anybody else wants a Smashing Pumpkins, I got two more right here behind this ABBA box set. Dark Globe sold to Christopher Brusha. And we have Nikki Sudden. Nikki Sudden is a 1983 UK power pop punk album. Nikki Sudden, $44.99. $44.99. All right, UFO has a bid for $10. We have Skid Row, a final call now to Patrick Garrett for $199. Patrick Garrett has that for $199. Uh, can I ask one favor? That uh, tub, do um, you know what I'm talking about? It's in, uh, you'll see it. It's the black tub with the yellow lid. It had that Paul Newman posters in it and stuff. I don't have it up here. It's the, it's, one, the one black tub with the yellow lid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Out of the 300 in the back. It's by the, when you're walking into the back, back room. That room? Uh, no, the, like uh, by the air conditioning, that back room. Oh, that one. Yeah, wow. yeah, in the very, very back. Oh, yeah. But there's not much in it. It's about a half of a tub. Okay. It's got FedEx packets. Thank you, Paul. You're a lifesaver. Cypress Hills at 365. UFOs at 12. And we have uh, Chad says he's out on Skid Row. Patrick Garrett, you have that for 199. Final call to Patrick Garrett, 199. Heather Black is a 1970 U.S. Private Press Southern Rock Hard Rock album, 49.99. And John and Ann Ryder is nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. I still believe in tomorrow, John and Ann Ryder, $9.99. All right, we're still battling over Cypress Hill. Three sixty-five dollars with Shane Devers. Mary Ann, this time you're out. Mary Ann, you're out. Shane has it for three six five. dollars Josie Sinkbell has the VG Plus UFO for $14. We're about to sell Skid Row for $1.99 to Patrick Garrett. Anybody else? I'm not going to go back through that bin. If you saw something you want to see again, let me know. If not, I'm going to go ahead and go into our new vinyl that's on sale for $24.99. Mary Ann's back in on Cypress Seal for $3.66. $3.66. I'm reaching for Skid Row. I'm going to go ahead and get some great auctions put back up. Make sure everybody's awake and alive and breathing. Skid Row is... Let me find this. Oh, Paul's just carrying it up. You can drop it right there. I was thinking you might get a card, but Paul, Paul's big and strong. He's like Lou Ferrigno or Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, now thank you, Paul. Paul just saved the night. All right, Paul just saved the night on that. Skid Row is sold to Patrick Garrett for $1.99. Patrick, that's sold to you. Got a Led Zeppelin two up yet. Those are not for tonight. Cypress Hill is at three seventy five dollars with Shane Devers, and the VG Plus UFO Forset is at fourteen dollars with Josie Sinkbell. Mike Morello, your $200 bid on Skid Row has come in late. That has already sold. UFO is sold to Josie Sinkbell, and we have the high bid on that with $14. Display it. Your bid on UFO also came in late. Skid Row and UFO were low, were late bids, late bids on that. All right, and I'm going to put a tag on this. Uh, Tanner, Rebecca, Jake, make sure that gets cleaned. Make sure that gets cleaned. All right, so Cypress Hills at 375. Mary Ann, it's back to you. Shane and Mary Ann are in a steel cage death match over Cypress Hill. My gracious, who's going to be the first to fall through? Who's going to jump off the? Who's going to jump off the? The top. Gracious, what a battle. I love it. I absolutely love these competitive auctions. All right, now, we've had two or three people throw out random bids all night on this. Let's get it started. Oh, my goodness. Y'all will not believe the emails, the comments, the posts, the, the tweets, the FedExes, the UPSs, the holograms, the telegrams, that I mentioned phone calls, uh, Pony Express. It is here in front of us. 
This stirs up more interest than just about anything. It's called Trickster. It is incredible. We always put this in a hot pitcher. If you want to stir up some carrier pigeons, yes, by Al, like on Harry Potter, Hedwig, whichever way people's been trying to get to us to let us know that they want to buy this album, you can right now. It's up for auction. This is an original 1990 U.S. pressing, $125 start. It's called Trickster. Beautiful copy. A stunner. Almost a stone cold. No comic book. No comic book. That's going to get asked multiple times while this thing's up for auction. It's now up for bid. It has the hop sticker. It has a bid for $150. My gracious. Let's see if they show up. We have Marianne at 400 on Cypress Hill. 400 on Cypress Hill. Shane Devers, you've been outbid. So Marianne's at 400 on Cypress Hill. And then I don't think I missed anything else. Trickster's at 150. Everything in this bin is on sale for $24.99. Everything in this bin is on sale for $24.99. Pay attention. The last bin nearly sold out. There was only three different titles left. And I restocked a couple of them, so really there was only a couple titles left. $24.99. Queen, Jazz, Half Speed Master, New and Sealed, $24.99. Shane Devers is at $4.25 on Cypress Hill. Trickster's at $160 with Jamie Diaz. $160 with Jamie Diaz. Let's put up another auction. I have... Bob Marley burning. Bob Marley burning. Gatefold. $15 start for Bob Marley burning. It's a gatefold. It has the mention on here. Includes the original version of I Shot the Sheriff. Clean vinyl. No condition notes. And about a VG Plus condition on the jacket. This is Bob Marley burning. $15 start. It's on this label. This island label. $15 start on Bob Marley. All right. There we go. Now, we have Cypress Hill, 425, Trickster, 180, Bob Marley, 15, 20, 25, 25, 25. Marianne's out on Cypress Hill. Shane has it for 425. No one has claimed Queen. Sealed, 24.99. Talking Heads Naked, Purple Vinyl, Talking Heads. $24.99. Steely Dan, Gaucho, remastered, $24.99. $12 off. James Taylor, Never Die Young, numbered, colored vinyl, $20 off. $20 off, $24.99. Super Tramp, Alive in England, colored vinyl, $24.99. 2 LP Live Super Tramp, Guar, Ragnarok, gray and white marbled vinyl, $10 off, $24.99. U2, how to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb, Red Vinyl, with Book, Limited Edition, $12 off, $24.99. Back up at the top. When I get to the bottom, I'm selling Cypress Hill for $4.25. Trickster had a bid of $180 with Tammy Wynn. Bob Marley got bids up to $25. Aaron Civic was first, and then $28, then $30, then $30. Tommy Flowers first on Steely Dan. Make sure that goes in for $24.99. And then Jeff McIntosh gets one for $24.99. Carrie Adams second. Richard Johnston third. Patty Anderson Williams first to Super Tramp. Stacey Metternich, you were second. Jason Franz first on U2. Mike Cochran next on Super Tramp. Josh Hanner first on Gwar. Jamie Wills Erickson next on U2. Then David Tate. Then Michael Lynn. Terry Watts has Trickster for $190. Cypress Seal is sold. It's gone. Shane Devers. 425 Cypress Hill Black Sunday. Wow. All righty. And folks, next week, tonight was almost like a surprise with all this incredible stuff. Next week, it's going to be happening often in the auction blocks. Desirable titles, metal, it's going to be a common occurrence back here on the auction block. Just FYI. So, Starting next week, you do not want to miss a sale. Paul will not be doing a show tomorrow. That's because I had him price stuff for tonight. I kind of convinced him to price new stuff for tonight, and then he could spend next week here and there 
getting ready for Paul Psychedelic Sunday the following week. This thing is a very thick jacket, by the way. I'm going to put it in this way like that. So that is sold to Shane. 425. That's gone. Trickster is at 190. And Bob Marley, Bob Marley is at 34 with Jamie Wills Erickson. Tammy Wynn is back in on Trickster at 195. 195. No Sock Sunday this week. Jetstream wants KC. I don't think that's anything. How big was the Kansas City? 1,500 albums. Around 1,500 albums. I posted a gallery earlier today. I'll do some more either tonight or in the morning and then another post tomorrow. I know no Sock Sunday. I'm just as disappointed as y'all because Paul did a really good job with that. We're going to make that a staple until we run out of sock. And then when we run out of sock, we'll think of something else. Yes. Tales from Yesterday, a tribute to Yes, $24.99, a tribute to Yes. Mad Season by Matchbox 20, Blue Vinyl, first time ever on vinyl officially. I don't think it was bootlegged either, $24.99. Everything in here is $24.99. Overkill, The Years of Decay, Red Marbled Vinyl, Overkill, $24.99. Creasy Weeby gets Matchbox 20. Trickster's at $200. Final call on Bob Marley. I'm about to sell it to Jamie Wills Erickson for $34. Talking Heads, more songs about buildings and food, $24.99. Calvin Second. Sorry, I just coughed up a lung. <clears throat> Let me go grab my Monster Energy drink, and then I'm going to need a bottle of water. I feel like I'm full of energy, and I've only had half a monster. Imagine when I get done drinking three more of these things. We still got Steve McQueen movie posters to go through. What in the world? I'm going to move my. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. We have. We're going to be on here till at least two. At least till two a.m. By the way. At least till two a.m. Uh, Hendry wants Jazz by Queen. That's sold to Hendry, $24.99. Aaron Civic on Overkill. And Aiden was next. And we have Trickster. Terry Watts is at $200. Let's sell Bob Marley to Jamie and let's put up some something mind-blowing. This is sold to Jamie Wills Erickson for $34 hairs. Thank you, Jamie. That was just a little side auction I found in the bin. That's sold to Jamie. All right, let's go ahead... We got Pantera, Ozzy, Ozzy, Cinderella, Ozzy, Pantera, Van Halen, Metallica, Metallica, Dio. Let's do this Pantera. Boy, the last time I had one of these, gracious, it was war. Pantera. I Am The Night, an original, 1985, U.S. pressing with the original inner sleeve and the merch insert. Wow. $165 start. Vinyl is a solid EX. Solid EX and original. 1985 U.S. pressing. It has the fan club and merchandise insert. Same thing. And it has the original inner sleeve. $165 start. Now, I know for sure this has never been reissued. This has never been reissued. All right, back up to the top. Uh, half off bin at 1.50 a.m. Well, we're basically going through half off stuff right now. This is a discount bin. Everything in here is $24.99. Some things in here is half off. Dead Kennedys, Mutiny on the Bay, live, $24.99, $24.99. Jethro Tull, boy, this sounds amazing. The Stephen Wilson remix, 180 gram, $24.99 on Jethro Tull. Rush. Power Windows, $24.99 on Rush Power Windows. Boy, when this comes on, when the big money kicks in, it's like it blew me away. I say that every time I sell one of those. Avenged Sevenfold, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, Purple Vinyl. Everything in here is on sale for $24.99. That's $12 off. We rarely discount new vinyl, by FYI. Promise the Desaturating Seven. Primus is on Rainbow Splatter Vinyl, $24.99 on Primus. Foo Fighters, but here we are, their newest album on White Vinyl. Foo Fighters is $24.99. And The Steel Woods, On Your Time, The Steel Woods is $24.99. Okay, I don't think I've seen any claims in a while. We put up Pantera, 
But first, Trickster got a new bid for 205, and then 205. Pantera was at 190. Trickster 210. Pantera 200. Trickster 215. John Dorsey first on Pro. That was for Promise, I'm assuming. And then Tony Stevenson, you were second, perhaps. Yep, John Dorsey first on Promise. Pantera's at 201. Rubber Soul. What is it? This is another one. I did Revolver earlier. I was like, man, I feel guilty putting this on sale. $24.99 on Rubber Soul. Green Day Saviors. Half black, half pink vinyl. Their newest album, our last copy. That's now been out for a couple months, almost three months. $24.99. Mike Torrey's first on Rubber Soul. Keep in mind, everything in here is $24.99. We have Cameron Porter second on The Beatles. Mitch T gets Green Day. Seth Weeby, you were second. We have Carrie Adams on RS, and then Jeffrey Sapia on RS. That was for Rubber Soul and Rubber Soul. Judy Collins now playing. That's a Judy Collins greatest hits. And The Descendants, Everything Sucks, that's $24.99. Trickster has a new bid for $220. This is an original 1990 U.S. pressing, an original 1990 U.S. pressing of Trickster. Pantera, an original, is everybody awake? 1985, U.S. pressing. All right, so we got Seth Weeby on The Descendants. That's so to Seth Weeby. The Descendants is so to Seth Weeby. Chrissy Weeby was second. Do you still have Dead Kennedys? I still have the Dead Kennedys. Mutiny on the Bay, it is right there. Mutiny on the Bay, it is right there. And Fritz the Cat soundtrack. Fritz the Cat soundtrack. I sold a ton of these, and then I've got down to two copies, and they've been left behind. $24.99 for Fritz the Cat. $24.99 for Fritz the Cat. I think we just had a drop in connection. I think we're back now. We did have a drop in connection, but we're back. Welcome, everybody. It was a quick, there was a drop there, but I think we're back. I'm going to reset the comment feed over here on the screen. Uh, let me reset it on the screen, but let me do that right quick. All right. Pop up a new one. There we go. All right. Now... Okay, cool. Okay, so the last thing, while well, everybody's getting back on, Seth Weeby got the Descendants for $24.99, and then Ryan Anderson bid $215 on Pantera, and then Christopher Brusher wants Fritz the Cat for $24.99. Pantera got a new bid for $250. Christopher Brusher, you got Fritz the Cat. Okay, so there's two auctions up right now. Since there was a lost connection, let me update these again. Trickster. Trickster got up to 220 with Calvin Ward. If you're not Calvin Ward, then you don't have the bid for $220 on Trickster. And then Marianne just dropped a bomb and came in on Pantera for $250. That is an original 1985 U.S. pressing with the original under sleeve and the merchandise insert. And the merchandise insert. Never been reissued. I know that one for sure. Pantera, $250. Deborah Devaney on the Dead Kennedys. We're right in the middle of an on-sale new vinyl bin. This is all new vinyl on sale. As y'all know, we don't do this too often. Everything in here is $24.99. I'll go back through what doesn't sell in just a second. But first, let's keep going. If you have a question, I will try my best to answer it, especially if it's about an auction. Otherwise, it may get lost and you'll have to send it again. Michael Buble, Christmas album. What better than Christmas in April? Red vinyl, Michael Buble, $24.99. McCoy Tyner, Today and Tomorrow. McCoy Tyner is $12 off, $24.99. Crystal Newman on Michael Buble. Ray Wiley Hubbard, this is the one on green vinyl, co-starring two. That's on green vinyl, co-starring two, $24.99. Raven, $14 off. Stay Hard, Yellow Vinyl, Numbered, $24.99. Scott, Scott Jeffcoat on RW. That was RW. The, what was RW, Scott Jeffcoat? Ray Wiley, that's so to Scott Jeffcoat. And we have Javi Soto on Raven. We do $7 unlimited shipping for the United States. If you're in Alaska and Hawaii, we need to talk. I know that's the United States, but there's surcharges over there. I hadn't, we've got one customer that buys pretty often now in Alaska. I think we're about to send him his first invoice. Second, if you're overseas, if you're in Canada, we do everything by cost. 
So if you want to buy Rush textile discounter, if you want to buy Rush, you're probably familiar with shipping cost. We do it at cost. So if you want to buy Rush, just say Rush sold. You pay for it on Monday when we send invoices. Then we'll send you an invoice for shipping. Once you pay for shipping, we'll mail it to you. Trickster's at $230 with Calvin Ward. $230. Tammy Wynn came back at $225. Calvin's back in at $230. Pantera is a final call. Mary Ann has it for $250. Next, in the $24.99 bin, the best of Warren Zevon, $24.99. The best of Warren Zevon, $24.99. The best of Susie Quattro, legend, 2LP, $12 off. $24.99. We also have The Fray, their self-titled album, $24.99. Fleawood Mac Mirage, remastered, $24.99. Creator, Live Adonimo, $19.98, $24.99. The Doors, Alive She Cried, Green Vinyl, Start Your Ear Off Right, $24.99. Soundgarden, Screaming Life, we're down to two copies, $24.99. Dead Kennedys, Plastic Surgery Disasters, $24.99. Talking Head 77, $24.99. Pantera has a new bid for $275 with Mike Woodard. Mike Woodard, Mary Ann, you're out. Calvin still has Trickster for $230. Final call. Tammy Wynn, you can bid again or let me know if you're done, and then we'll go ahead and sell it. Nick Bargeron gets Susie Quattro. That's so to Nick Bargeron for $24.99. Tony Wade gets Fleetwood Mac Mirage, $24.99. Chrissy Weeby gets SG for Soundgarden, $24.99. Tammy's out on Trickster. That's definitely about to sell. Pantera, we're waiting for Mary Ann. And we have to go through this bin one more time. One more time. Everything in here is new and sealed, $24.99. New and sealed, $24.99. You're going to be hearing me say that a lot. Talking Heads Naked, Purple Vinyl, $24.99. James Taylor, Never Say Die. Di Never Die Young. That's on limited edition numbered colored vinyl, $24.99. Clifford Umstead wants the Purple Vinyl Warren Zevon Greatest Hits. That's sold to Clifford Umstead, Purple Vinyl, $24.99. Mary Ann's out on Pantera. Homeland Conspiracy wants Talking Heads. That's sold to Homeland Conspiracy for $24.99. Brad Faust wants McCoy Tyner. Sell that to Brad Faust for $24.99. And we have Trickster. Trickster is sold to Calvin Ward for $230. Say goodbye. The hype is over until we get another one. Oh, boy. That was asked about by so many. There will still be people because that's in an ad right now. There will still be people wanting to buy this. They'll have to talk to Calvin Ward. It's his. $230. All right, that's so to Calvin. We have an out on Pantera. I'm not going to do another final call. If you were interested, you've had lots of time to bid. It's now sold to Mike Woodard. Mike, have you bought from us before? Mike Woodard, 275 Pantera. If so, welcome back. I don't think I've said your name too many times. This is sold to you for 275 Let's tag it to Mike Woodard. If you are a first-time buyer, this is for Mike or anybody watching. After you make a purchase, Make sure you message our page. We need your email address and your mailing address. $7 in limited shipping. This is the last sale of the week. Steel Woods is sold to John Miller. $14 off for $24.99. The only thing not claimed so far is the James Taylor, which is a heavily discounted music on vinyl title. Let's go ahead and do something crazy again. And then we got to go ahead and bounce. Wow, I have never done anything like this before. Back-to-back -back auctions like these. Wow. The auction block just got extremely, just got extremely hot. This, folks, is an original. Ozzy Osbourne, No More Tears. An original, 1991 U.S. pressing. Eyes and ears open. EX, EX Plus. Paul says there's just a couple superficial marks that do not affect playback. This is a beautiful copy. An original 1991 U.S. pressing. $175 start. Ozzy, no more tears. Glossy cover, very, very nice. An original retail copy. Ozzy, no more tears. 
$175 start. We don't get that too often. We send invoices on Monday through Square. Square Payment Processor is who we use. You can pay with a credit card, a debit card, PayPal, Google Pay, ACH Bank Transfer. You can use just about anything. It's through Square. Aussie's at $250. Wow. Holy moly. Goodness gracious. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's very black. This is not a foreign copy. This is an original. 1991, United States of America. The Stars and Stripes. Metallica Black Album. $295 start. Both discs are nice. EX, EX Plus. EX, EX Plus. $295 start. This is an original. 1991 U.S. pressing of the Black Album by Metallica. The name of the album is actually Metallica. We call it the Black Album. Incredible. An original U.S. retail copy. This was sitting in a store somewhere for sale at one point. That blows my mind. In a rack. Somebody walked by it and decided, I need that. Enter Sandman, sad but true, holier than thou, the unforgiven, wherever I may roam. Don't tread on me, through the never, nothing else matters of wolf and man, the God that failed, my friend of misery, the struggle within. The best-selling album of the last 30 years, the Black Album. We have a high bid already of $500 with Marianne. That's a Black Album, original 91 U.S., and then we introduced Ozzy. Ozzy had bids for 200, 250, 250, 300. Metallica, 375, 300, 325. Ozzy, 325. Metallica, 500. Everything in here is $24.99. We have Yes, Tales from Yesterday, a tribute to Yes, $24.99. Another Talking Heads, more songs about building and food. $24.99 for Talking Heads. Jethro Tull Aqualung, the 2011 Stephen Wilson Stereo Remix, $24.99. Avenged Sevenfold, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, Purple Vinyl, $24.99. Foo Fighters, but here we are, White Vinyl, $24.99. Judy Collins now playing, $24.99. Fritz the Cat, last copy, $24.99. Rush Power Windows, $24.99. The Fray, self-titled, $24.99. Creator, live at Dynamo, open air, $19.98, $24.99. Freddie Villarreal wants AS. AS was for Avenged Sevenfold. That is sold to Freddie Villarreal. Jamie Wills Erickson on FF, Foo Fighters. That's sold to Jamie Wills Erickson, $24.99. The Doors, live, Alive She Cried, Green Vinyl, $24.99. Last copy of Sound, wow, Soundgarden in the discount bin, unclaimed, $24.99. Dead Kennedys is still available, and so is Talking Heads, $77. All right, Freddie Villarreal also wants The Doors. That is sold to Freddie Villarreal. We have Metallica at $550. We have Ozzy at $355. And we have George Buchanan on Soundgarden. Paul Peterson, I just sold it to George Buchanan. He came in a millisecond before you. That's all $24.99. And I'm going to go ahead and condense the other stuff left in the first bin. If anybody wants those, if you missed, missed it earlier, here's what was left in the other bin. Morgan Wallen, If I Know Me for $24.99. Zach Bryan DeYan, Ray Wiley Hubbard, Eno Morricone, and then Blaze Foley. So that's we had two crates of new vinyl on sale for $24.99. That's all that's left right there. I'm probably going to go through those again later tonight. All righty. Now, I have another bin. Uh, Paul brought up a bin of new stuff. I have another discount bin to go through. I think uh, a $9.99 and a $6.99. Let me do the $9.99 stuff first, and then I'll do the $6.99. And keep in mind, we still got some other crazy auctions. We got a Pantera, the Great Southern Trend Kill, OG. Ozzy, No Rest for the Wicked. Randy Rhodes Tribute Album. Cinderella, Still Climbing on Clear Vinyl. 
Van Halen, an original for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, an original Ride the Lightning and Shrink Wrap. We're talking OG Megaforce. We're talking OG Meg. This is incredible. That is going to be like the Black Album. It's going to, it's going to be wild. It's a very, very nice copy. All right, so over here I have a bin of stuff we're going to do for nine ninety nine. Everything in this bin is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents. All righty. So we have Metallica at six hundred, six hundred fifty, seven, seven hundred and fifty. Let's go ahead and put up a striper. Trey Mendenhall is dying to bid on a striper record. Ask and you sometimes receive. I'll go ahead and throw one up. We have a whole bin of other metal stuff over here and metal related records like striper. Let's throw one up because we got two heated auctions for Metallic and Ozzy. We may be here for a while on those. Who knows? But here's our next auction, Striper. This is Striper, the yellow and black attack. Wow. For some reason, Striper's catalog has never been reissued, and it's not in print. The day that comes, we will be posting major pre-orders. Let's put Striper up for a $25 start. That is EX Plus Near Mint Minus. The jacket is beautiful. It has the original gloss on it. No creases, no dings. It has an opening bid of $75. That escalated quickly. Everything in here is $9.99. $9.99. First record is the Kinks, low budget. If you want some pre-owned vintage, this is your bin for pre-owned vintage. Everything in here is going to be $9.99. The Kinks, no condition notes. Nine ninety nine. We have Wayne Berry. Wayne Berry is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Wayne Berry and Ray Stennett, a fire somewhere. Ray Stennett, a fire somewhere. That is sealed. That's a lot in the attic reissue. Just nine ninety nine. It's sealed. Okay, I'm gonna go through all three auctions. Ozzy, let's show this in detail. Let me update wherever where we're at on it. Ozzy has a high bid. Ozzy has a high bid of 355 of Robert Phillippe. I've got Robert Phillippe at 355. It is an original, uh, 1991 US pressing. The jacket, glossy, just some very minor stress creases right there, what I call stress creases. One right there. Uh, no dings, no corner creases, or no corner smashes, or whatever the word I'm looking for, corner dings. It's a nice jacket, it's VG Plus, Plus. And then the vinyl, Paul says it's EX, EX Plus. It's pretty much non-check condition. It has like a couple of superficial marks right there that do not affect playback. So this is pretty much an EX Plus or better record. So this is a really, really nice copy. Ozzy is at $355 with Robert Phillippe. That's an original U.S. copy. It's an original U.S. copy of Ozzy, No More Tears. All right, so now we definitely need to update the Metallica. This is an original U.S. pressing. Big deal for it be a U.S. I don't know how many I've had that are some kind of foreign pressing because a lot of people who want an OG Black Album, like I said, it's, I've hardly ever met anybody who I bought their collection, and they bought one of these at the store in 1991. It's always been where somebody's bought one recently on the Internet in the last five or ten years since the big record revival. And they usually settle for like a South Korean press or some kind of foreign press because they're much cheaper. The U.S. demands the most money. This is an original 1991 U.S. pressing. It has both original inner sleeves, and the vinyl is nice. It has the printed inner sleeves with the lyrics on them. Both discs are EX, EX Plus, super clean copy. I've listened to an original. I've had an original sealed before. We sold an original sealed on here before for, I think, we've had two. We sold one for $1,200, and I've sold one for $1,800. A sealed copy, a sealed U.S. copy. I don't have, I don't think I've had, but maybe a couple open ones. Mary Ann has the high bid at $775. Mary Ann has the high bid of $775. And then Striper's at $90. Okay, 
Then I started going through this discount bin. I think we've already sold several. The first person to bid on the kinks or claim was Jackie Reynolds. That's $9.99. Brian Frenfrock second. Sandy Mile third. George Buchanan fourth. We still got Rain Berry and we still got Ray Stennett. Everyday people, everything in here is $9.99. Everyday people's on the Paramount label. New bid on Metallica for $800. Dollars. Ozzy's now a final call. Robert Phillippe, three fifty-five, and Freddie Villarreal has striper. Jamie Wills Erickson has striper for ninety dollars. Nice copy. Ninety dollars with Jamie Wills Erickson. Everything in here is nine ninety-nine, including this Saragini. Segraini. That's called on the radio. That's a nineteen eighty Canadian press. Half off at nine ninety-nine. Faith, hope, and charity. $9.99. Faith, Hope, and Charity. RCA Victor. Metallica's at $800. Marianne, you have been outbid. Pete Townsend Scoop. 2LP. Pete Townsend. Guitars from the Who. $9.99. W.C. Fields. His original voice tracks. $9.99. W.C. Fields. We have Marianne in on Metallica at $805. Ryan is out. He was at $355 earlier. He's out. Marianne's back in at $805. We have George Buchanan on PT for Pete Townsend. That's so to George Buchanan. Striper. I was going to make sure that Freddie Villarreal was done bidding. And before I sell it, Christopher Brusher gets WC Fields. And Robert Phillippe, you've been outbid on Ozzy. Joseph Felicetti has it for $375. No more tears. Mama, I'm coming home. Ozzy. Metallica is at $815. Steven Steels, Illegal Steels. A white label promo, Stephen Steele's, is $9.99. A white label promo. Boz Skaggs, my time. Boz Skaggs, ghost stamp promo. We don't see that one as often. 1972. I know we have a lot of Boz Skaggs, like dozens of them every night. $9.99 on that. Robert's out on Ozzy, but George Scherer's in at $3.85. New bidder. George Buchanan, that is. Excuse me, George Buchanan. Also, Mary Ann's back in on Metallica at 825. Shakedown's first on SS for Stephen Steele's. Glenn Taylor was second. Holbrook Sim third. Pete Maselli fourth. Tommy Flowers first on Boz. Freddie's out on Striper. Jamie Wills Erickson, this is sold to you for $90. Striper is done. We've sold an entire Striper album over here since I've put up Ozzy and Metallica, but I figured that would happen. we got to give everybody plenty of time to thank. Bid, make sure they're done. But I'll go ahead and start a third one over here to the side. Let me read off some titles that's in this bin. And then we're going to have lots of requests. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll regret this immediately. Lady Killer, Tigers of the Pantang, another one, another one, another one. Tokyo Blade, Michael Shankers, about five of them. Another UFO, ACDC, about seven of them. Scorpions, about six of them. Winger. Cinderella, Warrants, three of them, Scorpions, Zebra, Kicks, Damn Yankees, King Cobra. Uh, I don't know who that is. Tempest Storm, Blood Rock, Mass, Kill, White Snake, about three of them. Four more Stripers, three Dios, five Black Sabbaths, and three Aussies. Whoa. Wow. I didn't realize there was that much great stuff in there. We've already done one Cinderella. Let's put up the other one. Let's put up the other one. So, uh, Metallica's at $8.50. And Cinderella Night Songs. Nice. Nice. Cinderella, $35 start. Let me make sure it's a U.S. or a club. This is an original U.S. retail copy of Cinderella, not, <clears throat> not songs. Has a sticker on the front, VG Plus jacket, uh, approximately $35 start. Trust me, it's only $9.09. Y'all are not going to want to go anywhere for a while. Just buckle up, drink some coffee. Metallica. $875, now nine. Where did we get to on Ozzy? George bid $385. Who was the other bidder? Joseph Felicetti. Joseph, let me know if you want back in. There is a new bid. $385 on Ozzy. 
Okay, now I left off. There was no new claims in here. Okay, let's keep going. Ozzy has a new bid. So does Metallica. Boz Skaggs, down to then left. A white label promo. Clean. Original on her sleeve. Promo. $9.99. Danny Cox. EX condition. Gatefold on ABC Dunhill. Danny Cox. $9.99. Everything in here. Street action. BTO. VG plus condition. Bachman. Turner Overdrive. Actually, it's pronounced Bachman. I will, I will never say that unless I'm telling you how it's actually supposed to be spelled. I'll say Bachman. Christopher Brusher on Boz Skaggs. Scott Second. Hank Crawford. It's a funky thing to do on the Cotillion label. No condition notes. Clean. $9.99. James Taylor. Mud Slide Slim. Green Warner Brothers label. VG Plus Condition. $9.99. John Lennon, Milk and Honey. Gold Stamp Promo, original inner sleeve, hop sticker, does have some damage right there. No condition notes, $9.99. We need an update, a big update, but first let's do some pulls. Bill Hersey on BTO. Bill, you've bought from us before, right? You get BTO. Christopher Brusha on Hank Crawford. Sold to Christopher. Let's update these auctions. Pam Murray first gets John Lennon. Okay, so Ozzy got a new bump with Joseph Felicetti for $3.93. George Buchanan, you're out. Let me know if you want back in. $3.93 to Joseph. Final call. The big one is Metallica. We're closing in on four digits. Jeffrey Dunlap is at $900. An original 1991 U.S. pressing. Mary Ann, it's back to you. And the last bid on Cinderella that came in on Night Songs, Cinderella Night Songs, Nick Bargeron was at $55. Nick Bargeron, $55. I could have swore I saw somebody bid $60 already, though. But we'll say it's at $55 with Nick Bargeron. Mary Ann's back on Metallica at $905. Ozzy got a $7 bump. It's now at $400. Nobody wants JT. Let's keep going. Everything in here is not. I literally grabbed a bin that was over here underneath this table. It had been hidden for a while. I flipped through it and I said, you know what? Everything's $9.99. That's literally what this is. That's why some of these are $30 records. We've already sold a $50 record out of here for $9.99. Everything's $9.99. Some are marked $9.99. Everything's $9.99, though. Stephen Steele's Manassas. Nice. No condition notes. $9.99. Joseph Felicetti. Balls back to you on Ozzy. Cat Stevens with the hop sticker, Oh Very Young, Buddha and the Chocolate Box. See? Promo copy, now just $9.99 for Cat Stevens. Rock and Roll Party, this is an early compilation. 1957, a Regent Records compilation, VG Plus Condition, $20 off, $9.99. Lee Michaels, self-titled, $5 off, $9.99. Victor Bruno, Heavy. Victor is a sealed album from 1971, $9.99. All righty. So I left off by saying Metallica was at 905, Ozzy 400, Cinderella 65, Cinderella 65, Metallica 910, Cinderella 70, Metallica 925, Sandy Mile first on Steven, Steels, Pete Maselli second, Cinderella another $70 bid. Donald Kennedy, second on Stephen Steele's. Christopher Brusha, first on Cat Stevens, the promo copy. So to Christopher Brusha. Christopher Brusha, also first on Rock and Roll Party. So to Christopher Brusha. Bill Durkin, second on Cat Stevens. Robert Tomic, next on Rock and Roll Party. John Gala, next on Buddha. Bob Riger, next on Party. Nick Bargeron, next on Party. Metallica, $950. Susie, next on Rock and Roll Party. Metallica, $955. Cinderella, $75. And Ozzy, we're waiting for Joseph Felicetti. I'm about to sell it, though. I have to. George Buchanan's at $400. Let me make sure I didn't miss Joseph saying out. I'll go through here one more time. $400. Never mind. Joseph just bid $405. Joseph's back in at $405. Let's go back through some more. They're still battling out on Metallica, and now Mary Ann's in on Ozzy. 
999. The Dregs, unsung heroes. The Dregs, nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. The Earl Scruggs Review Anniversary Special, nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Charlie Ainley, Charlie Ainley, a white label promo, nine ninety-nine. Steve Gibb, Let My Song. Steve Gibb, nine ninety-nine. The Stylistics, Rock and Roll Baby, VG Condition, nine ninety-nine. The Lamont Cranston Band, Up From the Alley, VG Condition, nine ninety-nine. Let's update. Let's update. Joseph came in on Ozzy at four hundred five. Eddie McKenna came in on Cinderella at eighty. Another four hundred and five dollar bid on Ozzy. Metallica nine hundred and sixty five. Ozzy four hundred and ten. John Dorsey first on Earl Scruggs. ES is sold to John Dorsey nine ninety nine. Jackson Blaylock first on the Dregs. Cole Price second on Earl Scruggs. Brian Frenfrock third. Christopher Brusha on CA. CA was for uh, what was Charlie Ainley? Christopher Brush on Charlie Ainley. Ozzy's at nine seventy. Uh, Metallica's at nine. She meant Metallica. Metallica's at nine seventy five. Ozzy's at four hundred and fifteen. Ozzy's at four hundred and fifty. Metallica's at nine hundred eighty. Cinderella did not receive a new bid. Cinderella, then, is a final call to Eddie McKenna for $80. The vinyl is beautiful. It is an original retail copy. VG Plus jacket just has the sticker. I've not tried to remove it. It may pop off. I haven't touched it. This is a final call for $80 to Eddie McKenna. If anybody else wants in, you have to get it. We have not sold Ozzy yet. We have not sold Ozzy No Rest for the Wicked. We haven't sold the Tribute album either. Metallica's at 990 Back to the band of 999 records. Let's straighten it out. More, more, more Lattimore. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Walt Campbell crashing on the break wall. Walt Campbell nine ninety-nine. The Reggie Notton Band. The Reggie Notton Band nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Bandana. Bandana is sealed from 1985. Nine ninety-nine. Jerry Blavitt's Memories, live, one more time, VG Plus, $9.99, and Brian Holland Tragedy, a million to one, a 69 Indianapolis Press, $9.99. Ozzy is at $450 of Mary Ann. Joseph Felicetti and George Buchanan, you're out. Mary Ann, you're out on Metallica. Jeffrey Dunlap is at $100. Eddie McKenna, nobody else bed you on Cinderella. This is sold for $80 to Eddie McKenna. Cinderella is gone. Goodbye. I kind of hate to see it go, though. Everybody's always wanting OG Cinderella's. Now, I do have new sealed music on vinyl pressings, if anybody wants one of those. I think I've got one each left of Night Songs and Long Cold Winter. That's sold to Eddie McKenna, though, for $80. All right, back up at the top, Christopher Brusha on RK. That was Reggie Knighton, $9.99. Christopher Brusha on Million. That was Brian Holland. We have an out on Ozzy, an out on Metallica, an out on Ozzy. We've got our high bidders. Let's wrap them up. Mary Ann, $450 on Ozzy. Final call. An original, 1991 U.S. pressing. Did anybody even notice that this was also from 1991? 1991, there was not much vinyl being made. These albums were really marketed for CDs. There was not much vinyl of these being pressed in 1991. Not much vinyl being pressed in general. Both of these albums are original U.S. pressings from 1991. If you were a music consumer, most of y'all were in 1991, you were probably buying CDs back then. Everybody regrets not buying vinyl. It was probably hard to find these on vinyl in music stores. The vinyl section by then had shrunk significantly. Final call on Metallica, $1,000. Final call. Final call. We're about to sell both of them. Okay. We have a new bid on Ozzy for 460 
We're not done. King T, Payback's a Mother, 1987, $9.99. King T, 12 inch single. Just Is, or Justice, Just Us, Cold Getting Dumb, $9.99. This is Captain Jam and the Mighty Finesse, $9.99. Mary, uh, who had the Aussie? The Aussie was with Marianne. Marianne, you're out on Aussie. You're out on Aussie. Heavy D, have you seen Davey? $9.99. Charlie Rich, the Silver Fox, $9.99. Ian Lloyd and Stories, Traveling Underground, $9.99. Brothers, Raphael Velez and Raymond Velez, Reborn, Sealed from 2014, $9.99. Robert Topic wants Captain Jam. That's so to Robert Tomic. Jackie Reynolds on CR for Charlie Rich. Larry Drish, your second. Christopher Brusha first on Ian. Ian Lloyd, so did Christopher Brusha. Let's bring out the old air horn. Now, somebody said there might be a record night for air horns tonight. This is the second time. We may do it again. I know at least one more we may get to 1,000 on. Or, well, actually, no. I'm thinking 1,000, 500. There may be a few more tonight. Let's bring out the air horn. Let's thank Jeffrey Dunlap. Major purchase here, a huge grail going to Jeffrey Dunlap, Metallica Black Album. Thank you, Jeffrey. Everybody plug your ears and hide your pets. They're going to freak out. Here comes the boat horn, the air horn. Look, we rang this thing one night so many times, Jake had to go out to the store and buy me ear, uh, earphones, headphones. What are these called? Earphones. Earbuds, earplugs. Uh, one night we rang the air horn, I think, 27 times. We did it 27 times. I, I literally got a headache. I had to go get ear protection. I developed a headache. That was when we were doing the autographs. That was the autographs night. Uh, we, we did it, I think, 27 times in one night. Ear muffs, thank you. Ear muffs, ear protection, yes. I literally got a headache. We had blown it so many times. It was 27, I think we got up to. That's when we were selling autographs. That was wild. That was a wild night. That one's like fun just to go back and rewatch. That was a crazy night. $1,000 autographed albums were selling about every couple moments. <laughs> that was wild. All right. We sold a couple for thousands. That was the last record in the blue bin. That one has filled up. Let me grab a new empty crate. I wish I had all those things back, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, man, those, I can't reply. I mean, I've not even seen some of those. Some of y'all are watching. Whoever got, like, those Clapton autographs and uh, I can't even, Neil Young, some of the Neil Youngs. I hadn't even seen comps come up since. I'm telling y'all. If you got some of those locked in, the Neil Youngs, the Claptons, I can't think of some of the other ones. Uh, we had some obscure ones too. You did well. Those are just, you can't, those are, you can't put prices on some of them. We did, we sold them, but man, Tom Petty. We had a fully signed Tom Petty. It was signed by Tom Petty and all of the original Heartbreakers. ZZ Top, fully signed by all three. We had two of those. Somebody named some more. I forgot for the new people watching. Bruce Springsteen, autographed guitar. A Bruce Springsteen, autographed guitar. It was wild. It was wild. I'm going to put this uh, right here. Tonight's a wild night. Let's go ahead and do the Van Halen. I still got this other Pantera. I still got another Metallica. We got Cinderella. Wow. Van Halen, for unlawful carnal knowledge. By the way, our viewers keep going up. Help me out even more. Make sure you like the YouTube video. Make sure you like the Facebook video. Please like both posts. If you're watching over on X, be sure to retweet it. Thank you and welcome. Show your warrant. Let me put up Van Halen and then Stacy. I'll put up warrant. Van Halen, F-U-C-K, for unlawful carnal knowledge with Hopsticker, Van Halen, featuring the single 
pound cake. This is an original 91 Euro import with the original inner sleeve Van Halen EX, EX Plus, nice. EX, EX Plus, nice. Euro import, Van Halen. It also has the original inner sleeve. $75 start with hop sticker. Nice jacket, has a sticker on the back. Right now, wow. $75 start on Van Halen. Now, technically, it has been reissued, but just in the Van Halen box set. Just in the Van Halen box set. It has not seen a standalone reissue yet. Nice. Okay. Now, Ozzy, what happened over here? We had a new bid on Ozzy with James Bragg at $460. And Mary Ann... You got outbid. Did Marianne make a move since then? Marianne said out. That was right after. James Bragg, final call on Aussie, $460. We're about to sell it. Now, I'm looking, I'm looking. Van Halen's up for bid, and we're about to sell Aussie, and I'm going to put up two new auctions. Let me show a few more $9.99 records. Wow. New Colony 6 and Shrink Wrap. I love that artwork. New Colony 6 and Shrink Wrap, Attacking a Straw Man, $9.99. New Colony 6, $9.99 for New Colony 6. The Incredible World of James Bond. Hey, that's another record I like. The Incredible World of James Bond, $9.99. The Incredible World of James Bond. Ricky Lee Jones, Pirates. Ricky Lee Jones is $9.99. Cliff Richard, I'm No Hero, $9.99. And more hits by the Supremes. Stop. In the Name of Love, $9.99. Clean copy, an original Motown Supremes, $9.99. And Henry Purcell, Songs from Taverns and Chapels, $9.99. All right, Mr. Bragg, Mr. James Bragg gets to Ozzy. No more tears. He came in, he bid, and he got it. $460 for No More Tears. Mama, I'm coming home. James, Ozzy is coming home to you. $460. Zach Wild, that sold $460. We have Van Halen. Mark Fallon has placed a bid as soon as I grab the sticky note for Ozzy. Mark Fallon has placed a bid on Ozzy for, or excuse me, on Van Halen for $150. Then George Buchanan wants Ricky Lee Jones. That sold to George Buchanan for $9.99. Christopher Brusher on Henry Purcell. Bill Husey on Supremes. Is Devil Woman on Cliff Richard? I don't think so. That album is so hard to get. The one that has Devil Woman on it, I never see it. I don't know why. It's not a rare record, but we never get it. Uh, Bill Hersey got the Supremes. Glenn Taylor wants the James Bond record. Pamela was second. Van Halen's at 155. Okay, now I did promise Stacy a warrant. Uh, I've got... What do I have? I've got... I thought I had two. Well, one of them's a MOV pressing of cherry pie, so I won't worry about that because I literally got 200 of those, but I'll do this one. And uh, so we just sold Ozzy Van Halen. We got Pantera, Great Southern Trend Kill, Ozzy No Rest for the Wicked, Ozzy Randy Rose Tribute, Cinderella Still Climbing, <sighs> Metallica Ride the Lightning. Wow. That, that's probably going to be after I select the next one. Um, let's go ahead and do the Pantera. It's been a while since we sold the other one. So first, let's introduce Warrant. I have not looked at it. Fresh from this Houston collection. Dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking, rich. This is a original. Nice. U.S. pressing, not a club. It needs to be cleaned. Let me do that right now. It's got some dust on it. That way I can get a better look at it. I have a cleaning cloth right over here. This is going to be an original U.S. pressing. I'll go ahead and tell you it's going to be a $45 start. I'm going to give it a proper cleaning after this. We, I'll tag it and give it a proper, the proper avenues. But I'm going to go ahead and knock off some of this dust with this cleaning cloth. 
And this is going to grade out to be, it's got a bad looking, it's got a bad looking scuff that goes all the way across the record. It, it's, it's a non-feeler. Let me show it to you. It's a non-feeler, but it does have a scuff that goes all the way across the record right here and right here, but it's a non-feeler. So we might have to grade that as like VG plus just because of that. Side two is beautiful. Side two is nice. EX plus or better. And uh, side one is probably, it may play, I mean, it, it may not even be audible. Y'all know how those superficial marks like that are. But that is now up for bid. Okay. So warrant, dirty, rotten, filthy, dirt, blah, warrant, dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. Now we have Pantera. This is up for bid. This is warrant, dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. And we have Pantera, the great southern trend kill. This is an original 1996 U.S. pressing with the original insert, with the original insert, EX, EX plus, $125 start. The Great Southern Trend Kill, $125 start. Warrant will play just fine. First of all, I will guarantee it to play fine. Second of all, I can't test play it. $125 start on Pantera. As usual, I've looked at enough records. I can tell you if a mark is going to affect playback. That is not, that's just a, a needle drop where an, an arm went across the record. It's not going to affect anything. The Great Southern Trend Kill. As y'all know, we guarantee everything we sell here. I've gotten pretty good after looking at $10 billion to know if a mark's going to affect playback. All right, so there's Pantera, Van Halen, and Warren. Wow, three incredible auctions. Let me move some of these down for a second. There's uh, Van Halen, there's Warren, and there's Pantera. Okay, so I would buy this as if you're buying an EX record, Okay. Buy it as if you're buying an EX record. It's an original U.S. pressing. Did I even say, there's been five people bid. I don't know if I even said an opening bid. I think I said $50, $45 on warrant. Okay, I got to go back up to the top. Uh, so we left off Van Halen. Scott Ham had Van Halen for $155. Warren is at $50 with Jason Anderson. Pantera is at 250. The Notorious Bird Brothers is on the second label, VG Plus condition, $9.99. VG Plus condition, $9.99. Harry Nilsson, a little touch of Smilson in the night. EX condition, $9.99. The GNR go yet. There is no Guns N' Roses. I have not posted any Guns N' Roses. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Brand New Day, Original Inner Sleeve, $9.99. James Taylor, JT, EX Condition, $9.99. The Kinks, Misfits, $9.99. Billy Joel, The Bridge, $9.99. Santana, Inner Secrets, $9.99. Grand Funk Railroad, $9.99. The Best of Crow, $9.99. And Ian Hunter, You're Never Alone with a Schizophreniac, VG Plus, you guessed it, $9.99. Wow, there's a lot of questions. Okay, so we have Van Halen, $170. Christopher Brusha first on Nielsen. Christopher Brusha first on Nielsen. Next is Glenn Taylor on NB. Glenn Taylor on NB, which was, I'm not for sure. Larry Drish on HN, which was Harry Nilsson, already sold. Warrant is at 60. Van Halen's at 175. Larry Drish on James Taylor. Warrants at 70. Skid Row's already sold. Jackie Reynolds on Kinks. Jamie Wills Erickson on Billy Joel. Larry Drish first on Santana. 
Warrants at 75. Badlands is already sold. Warrants at 85. John Gollin first on Crow. Christopher Brush a second on Crow. Calvin Ward on Grand Funk. Bill Hersey next on Santana. Glenn Taylor wants Notorious Birds Brothers. Hallbrook next on Crow. Wow. All right. Van Halen is a final call. Scott Ham has this for $175. Mark Fallon's out. An original Euro EU import, unlawful carnal knowledge with hop sticker, EX, EX plus vinyl, original inner sleeve, new bid, Stephen Tuttle, $180. Warrant, dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. It's an EX copy. Ignore that I even said anything about a scuff mark because I'm going to guarantee it's going to play just fine and loud. The high bid is 85 of Matthew Copas. But yes, there is a scuff mark pretty much in, across the entire, the entire side one. It doesn't look pretty. And then Pantera has a high bid of $250, and that's with Tony Swanson. Tony Swanson has Pantera for $250. That's an original 1996 U.S. pressing with the insert, also EX, EX Plus. Very, very nice. That's at $250, Pantera, Great Southern Trend Kill, final call. Now, we went through a bend right then of $9.99 records. I'm just going to read those titles one more time. If you want anything, let me know. They're all $9.99. Ian Hunter. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Cliff Richard, New Colony Six, Brothers Reborn, Davey D, Justice, King T, Jerry Blavitt's Memories Compilation, Bandana, Walt Campbell, Lattimore, Lamont Cranston, Stylistics, Steve Gibb, Victor Buono, Lee Michaels, James Taylor, Danny Cox, Faith Hope Charity, Segrarini, Everyday People, Ray Stennett, and Wayne Berry. Van Halen's at 185, Warren's at 87, and Pantera is sold to Tony Swanson for $250. Tony, if you're a first time buyer, be sure to message our page. I'm going to go ahead and ask that you send your email address and your mailing address so we can get this invoice to you. Tony Swanson, Pantera, Great Southern Trend Kill, that's sold to you for $250. Just send us a message with your email address and your mailing address. If you can do that right now, that would greatly be appreciated. That's sold to you for $250. Van Halen's at $190 and Warrants at $90. Van Halen's at $190, Warrants at $90. Larry Drish wants JT, and I think that was back here for James Taylor. We're about to put up something else pretty crazy. Larry says James Taylor condition. It was in VG plus condition. Let me know if you do want that. Just send us a Facebook message. If anybody else is watching you for the first time tonight, thank you and welcome. If you want to jump in on the action, go right ahead. Before it gets too late, let's put up something incredible. This is incredible. If I was going to keep anything in here tonight, I've already got a Metallica Black album. It would probably be this right here because one, it's OG first pressing. Number two, it's beautiful. Also, in the vintage bin, we're about to go through a bin of new arrivals of stuff that Paul marked tonight. Oh, my goodness. Check out that label. An original, 1984, on Megaforce. A1 in the Dead Wax. A1 in the Dead Wax. Metallica, Ride the Lightning, original inner sleeve. Beautiful vinyl. The cover is still in shrink wrap. $245 start. Ride the lightning. Let's take a look at the vinyl. Paul says it's EX, EX Plus. EX, EX Plus. Ride the lightning. Look how nice. Trapped under ice. Escape. Creeping death. Call of the Clue 2. 
fight fire, ride the lightning, for whom the bell tolls and fade to black. What a side. Side A is just mind-blowing. There's the LP. Here's the original inner sleeve. Covers and shrink wrap. It has a cut corner down here. I don't know if that's a clip or like damage. It looks like a clip, or it actually looks more like a damage corner than a clip. In shrink wrap, that's about the only flaw with the cover, that little clip right there. Steel and shrink wrap. That's what's included. It's now up for bid. A1 in the dead wax. I think that is a first stamper, like first press. That's the real deal. That's it. We left off by saying Van Halen 195, Van Halen 200, worn out, Metallica 310. And Metallica's a 300. Warrant is a final call then, Mike Torrey's for $92. Mike Torres has warrants for nine uh, for ninety two dollars. Okay, let's go through the other crate of new stuff Paul brought up here. Whoa, thought I had a fall there for a second. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, looks like lots of cool stuff in here. Let's go through a crate of new arrivals. These are new arrivals. Paul just marked these. Metallica's at three hundred twenty. Metallica's at three hundred fifty. Van Halen is still getting bids. We're at two oh five on Van Halen. I think we're done on warrant. I'm going to give it just a few more seconds. Mike Torres is at 92. Here's the agenda for tonight if you're just hopping on. We're about to go through new vintage arrivals. It's about a quarter till 10 central time. We still got some mind-blowing stuff to auction, including more Aussies. We got a Dio, that Cinderella. And then I have this other crate of auxiliary stuff, which has other fantastic, very desirable titles. We're going to be showing records until at least uh, 11 or midnight. And then around 11 or midnight, we're going to go into our poster show. And if you're new to that, if you like movie posters, if you collect movie posters, or if you're looking for movie posters to de decorate your house or man cave or she shed, we're going to have some great ones tonight. I found a Steve McQueen packet. You'll just have to tune in. It's a very, I'll explain the collection later about all this stuff. We've had it for a few years, actually, but you'll have to tune in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be showing records for a couple more hours. Um, at least, and um, then we're going to do movie posters probably for a couple more hours after that. New Vintage Arrivals. This is $129.99. $129.99. This is an original 1965 U.S. stereo VG Plus $129.99. Who do man blues? $129.99. Junior Wales, an original, $129.99. Hometown Blues, Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee, a 65 U.S. stereo pressing, VG Plus condition, $19.99. All righty, there's the first two. Two great blues albums to start that crate. They're still bidding on Van Halen. Scott Ham's in at two fifteen. dollars Stephen Total, you're out. Mary Ann is at four hundred dollars on Metallica. I'm going to go ahead and sell warrant to Mike Torres for $92. Nice. Mike, you get that for $92. I think that scuff mark frightened a couple people, and they're probably going to regret that because that was pretty nice. It's going to clean up very well. Also, whoever's watching the sale, let me put a sticky on that. Let's make sure this thing gets cleaned and put in a new MoFi anti-static inner sleeve. Let's get that thing cleaned and put in a new MoFi static inner sleeve. All the other auctions tonight have already done that, but that is sold. Also, this Kansas City stuff, this guy ultrasonically cleaned everything. He had an ultrasonic cleaner. That's why everything's already so nice and clean. I do not see a merchandise insert. I do not see a merchandise insert. Are you sure that one came in with this pressing? I don't see one. I don't see one. All right, uh, Van, uh, Metallica, Ryan bid 405. Marianne bid 425. All right, so there's those two there. Now, yes, this is the Megaforce pressing. Megaforce pressing. Larry Drish wants pack of outer sleeves. You got it. I actually brought some up tonight. I'm glad you just asked for them. 
These are $29.99. They're packs of 100 outer sleeves. If anybody else wants a pack, let me know. These are packs of 100 outer sleeves, $29.99. 100 outer sleeves, $29.99. And $29.99. Some copies came with mail-in merchandise. Yeah, I think sometimes with these merchandise inserts, I think here's what happened. I was reading on that uh, music forum uh, the other day because I was getting very confused on a record. I forgot what it was the other night, but somebody said it has a merch insert, and I never had seen one. I think literally they had those things at the factory, and they were like putting them in records. And then when they ran out, some of them didn't get them. You know, but... Some did, some didn't. Who knows? But I think it's supposed to come with one, so it's obviously missing, but who knows if it actually got packaged with one originally. So if it did come with one, then it's missing, obviously. It doesn't have one, but I have a feeling like at the factory, they're probably like sliding them in jackets, and then they run out, and before they have more shipped to them or whatever, some of them get sealed, and they never did have one to begin with. So, But if it did have one, that one's obviously missing. So, uh, outer sleeves, let's sell one to Larry Drish. These are $29.99. That's outer sleeves, $29.99. Also, George Scherer wants a pack of outer sleeves. That's sold to George Scherer. Patty Anderson wants a pack of outer sleeves as well. Uh, I'll ha I do have inner sleeves. Give me one second, I'll show those to you. Outer sleeves right now. I'm trying to figure out what I did with them, actually. Outer sleeves right now. Patty wants a pack. And some, yeah, that's right. Some, <laughs> this one may have come with one and somebody mailed it in and bought merchandise. So it probably did come with one. It's obviously gone. It, somebody probably mailed it in 40 years ago. All right, Van Halen is a final call. 225 with Stephen Tuttle. Metallica is at 425. Ryan Anderson, let me know if you want back in. And then we're going to put up two new. Wow, nobody got those first two. Now we got a Memphis Slim. An original 1961 U.S. mono. Where's the people who are always asking for blues albums? $79.99. Memphis Slim. VG Plus, $79.99. Gantz Galore. VG Minus, a 1966 U.S. mono. Gantz Galore. VG Minus, $9.99. Metallica's at $4.75. Wow, the Sidewinder, Lee Morgan. A 64 original 1964 U.S. mono, Van Gelder and the Ear in the Dead Wax, wear on side one label, $99.99. Lee Morgan, there's the damage on the label for side one. That's an original blue note. Metallica's at 500 with Marianne, and Brownsville Station, a night on the town. What a great batch of records to start out here. EX Condition, $17.99. Van Halen is sold. To Stephen Tuttle for $225. Does anybody else want a pack of outer sleeves? Packs of 100 outer sleeves, $29.99. This is the same pack, the same sleeves we use for these right here, the same ones we use. That's sold to Stephen Tuttle. Lee Morgan label address, Lee Morgan price. Lee Morgan. Blue Note Records, New York, USA. Blue Note Records, USA. No label on the, out, uh, on the address. The jacket has uh, 40, 43 West 61st Street, New York, 23. 43 West 61st Street. It's an original 64 U.S. mono. Van Gelder and the Ear in the Dead Wax. VG Plus, $99.99. Metallica's at $505 with Ryan Anderson. Jeffrey Boynson wants a pack of outer sleeves. That's sold to Jeffrey Boynson. Let's get two new auctions started. But first, the Kinks. Something else by the Kinks. Wow, again, $64.99. It's a VG Plus, 67 US, tricolor steamboat label, Terre Haute, the Kinks. Something else by the Kinks. $64.99. That might be some of the best batch of records I've seen start a crate in some time, and none of them have sold yet. So we'll make sure everybody's awake. Oh, boy. Well, we have a one of the greatest metal albums of all time, but here's the creator of the genre. 
Ozzy Osbourne, No Rest for the Wicked. Wow, this is sealed. An original, 1988 U.S. pressing. An original, 1988 U.S. pressing, sealed, with hop sticker. No saw marks, no cut holes. $175 start for a sealed copy. I know what we sold it open one for not too long ago. $175 on Ozzy. No rest for the wicked. Sealed with hop sticker. Miracle Man. Breaking all the rules. $175. Metallica's at $525. Ryan's out. Final call to Marianne. We have... No claims. No, David Hoy wants to know one more time condition. It is VG plus condition. There is some damage on the label. VG plus condition. Ozzy has bids for 200, now 300. VG plus 14.99 for Josie Marcus. United Combos, Josie Marcus. VG plus 14.99. And Bull. Bull is VG 1999, a rare 1978 U.S. blues rock album, VG 1999. Let's get a third auction started. Let's put up, a lot of people have asked for Blood Rock. No, Blood Good. Did I say Blood Rock or Blood Good earlier? I think I said Blood Rock. It's Blood Good. I'll bring it over either way. Blood Good. I'm about to sell Metallica. Final call for $525 as soon as I get done introducing Blood Good. Blood Good. It definitely has the insert with it. $15 start. $15 start. Nice vinyl. Blood Good self-titled. Very heavy vinyl. It's an original on front line. Jacket. A little bit of a crease down here in the corner. Now up for bid, $15 start. All right. David, uh, so Calvin Ward, let me know if you want back in on Aussie. Robert bid $300. Christopher Brusha gets bull. Also, somebody said Sonny Terry, Brownie McGee price. Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee, VG Plus condition, $19.99. David Hoy says he'll take Lee Morgan, $99.99. Peyton H., you were second. Blood Good 15, Blood Good 15, Blood Good 15, Blood Good 15. Metallica is sold for $525. It's an original, 1984, U.S. pressing, A1 in the dead wax, OG, OG, with the original under sleeve, $525 to Mary Ann. Let's bring out the air horn for the third time tonight. Mary Ann. I know you've been on a lot of auctions. I don't know if you got an air horn earlier or not. I don't think so. This time, Mary Ann is getting the air horn. This is sold. $525. Once again, hide your animals. She said, finally, thank you. It's air horn time. <coughs> it's gone. I hate to see that thing. I got to play Allison Chains tonight. We sold Allison Chains earlier tonight for 900. I definitely are. I'm definitely playing this before it gets sent off. Marianne, after I play it, I will ultrasonically clean it again, again. Ozzy, I was making sure Calvin was done bidding. Robert bid 300. Calvin Ward, let me know if you want back in for more than 300. Blood Rock. Excuse me, Blood Good. Blood Good. $21 with Luke Rosenberger. $21 with Luke Rosenberger. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Corey Lawson says he'll take Sonny Terry. I'm about to sell Ozzy. I've lost Calvin somewhere. All right. Next record. Hosanna, forever, 
1977 U.S. Private Press Gospel Funk Album. Boy, I bet that's good. Hosanna Forever, EX Condition, $44.99. EX Condition, $44.99. Matchbox, EX Condition, a 1981 U.S. Pressing, that's Rockabilly. EX Condition, $9.99. The Second Foot in Cold Water, a foot in cold water. A 1973 Canadian hard rock album. EX Condition, $44.99. Ozzy is sold for $300 to Robert Phillippe. A sealed copy with hop sticker. Beautiful. Sold Robert Phillippe. Three, zero, zero. It's gone. Blood Goods up for auction. That original post of 16 records that I made were down to three. Let's go ahead and put up Cinderella. This is big. Don't get this one too often. It's also one of the few Cinderella albums that hadn't seen a reissue. Don't ask me why. Must be some kind of masters or copyright. There's no telling. Check this out. It's an original U.S. pressing from 1994. An original 1994 U.S. pressing. Coke bottle clear vinyl, numbered very low. Look at this beautiful vinyl. $95 start, Cinderella still climbing. Beautiful Coke bottle vinyl. It's in shrink wrap. It does have a creased corner. The shrink wrap's really tight on it right there. It's number 267. That's pretty dang low. It's got the hop sticker and the collector's edition clear vinyl. $95 start. We already have a bid for $100. Blood Good is at $28 with Jamie Wills Erickson. There's still several bidders. If you want back in on Blood Good, you've got to outbid Jamie Wills Erickson. He's at $28. All right, let's keep showing some records in here. I don't think I've missed any claims. Wow, Petra. Not of this world. Petra, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. There'll be some claims for that. Petra, long time coming, VG Plus $29.99. And BBK's Expedition, Up Ships Creek, VG Plus $29.99. A private press jazz funk album, VG Plus $29.99. Now, somebody earlier asked for outer sleeves. We did the outer sleeves. I have not done the inner sleeves. I'm trying to figure out perhaps what happened to them. Uh, they were stacked up over here after the sale. Tanner came in and did cleanup duties afterwards. And the question now remains, where it happened to them? They're right here. I found them. Okay. Thank you, Tanner, for not hiding them. So we did outer sleeves earlier. Here is inner sleeves. MoFi inner sleeves, pack of 50, pack of 50 MoFi inner sleeves, $26.99. This is MoFi, Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, the best of the best, $26.99. Okay, when I left off, Cinderella got a bid from 101 with James. Joe bid uh, $125. Uh, Jamie Wills Erickson first on the Petra. Cinderella 130, Cinderella 131, Cinderella 135. And we have George Scherer on BBK, Cinderella 140. We're done on Blood Good, though. Blood Good is sold. Blood Good is sold. That was that $28 winning bid from Jamie Wills Erickson. Jamie Wills Erickson. Spe speaking of sleeves, I need to put one of these in a sleeve. Let me go find those right quick. Maybe they're right here with these. But there's outer sleeves. I don't know who asked earlier, but there they are. Hopefully there's some sleeves in here. Yep, there's outer sleeves. We buy these by the packs of a thousand. <laughs> and we go through them fast. We go through thousands every month of these outer sleeves. It's a big expense for us. We put everything in a brand new sleeve. I reuse them sometimes. But even if we bought a new collection and somebody just recently resleeved everything, I'm very picky. I tell John and Paul, take them off. We put everything in a brand new sleeve. Cinderella's at 151. We have Black Horse, 
1979 U.S. Heavy Southern Rock album. Heavy Southern Rock, EX Condition, $54.99. Black Horse. Jugular Balls, a 1980 U.S. Jazz Funk Fusion album. EX Condition, $22.99. And War Between Fats and Thins, 1969 U.S. An Avant-Garde Sock album. VG Condition, $24.99. Ryan Anderson wants Black Horse. Cinderella's at 155 with Joe Willinger. Let's put up a new auction. I will hold off on Ozzy Tribute. Earlier, we put up a Striper album, and it took off like a rocket. I've got another one. I bet Trey Mendenhall's already got off. Here's Striper. In God We Trust. Looks like a nice copy. It has the original insert, very cool insert here. Nice hair. $35 start, another album not in print, nor has it been reissued. The vinyl needs a cleaning, but it's, it's nice. EX, EX Plus. We already have a bid for $85. Nice jacket. One razor thin saw mark right there, but it does have a saw mark. We already have an opening bid of $85. Cinderella's at $165. Uh, Christopher Brusher wants fats and thins. We're in new vintage stuff. This is brand new LPs that have not ever been shown before. Paul marked earlier. Friend, Freddie North. That is in VG condition. That's a 1971 U.S. Funk Soul album. VG condition, $14.99. Definitely Dorothy. Dorothy Moore. A 1979 U.S. Funk Soul album. VG Plus condition, $9.99. Definitely Dorothy Moore. Nectar. A tab in the ocean. Nice. Great music. Italian pressing, VG Plus condition, $19.99 for Nectar. Lori Eisman has Striper for $85. Final call. Cinderella's at $175. We got James, Daniel, and Joe battling it out on Cinderella. Christopher Brusha first on Nectar. All right. Now, earlier we sold out of Stone Temple Pilots. We may have a lot of new people watching. I got to thin some of these out. I got to thin some more of these out. I still got hundreds of them. I'm going to knock them down $5. I've got cherry pies tonight for $34.99. $34.99. This is Warrant Cherry Pie. Numbered cherry colored vinyl from Music on Vinyl. They're numbered on the back to $3,000. They made them on cherry colored vinyl. They're normally $39, $34.99. If you don't have one already, Cherry Pie by Warrant, $34.99. You may already have three. Nothing wrong with getting a few more. $34.99 for Warrant Cherry Pie, $34.99. New and sealed. Originals, if we had an original tonight, hundreds of dollars. A true original. They're very expensive. They're very hard to come by. You might want to settle for a reissue right now. Stacy Metternich bid 90 on Striper. Lori, you've been outbid. Cinderella got a new bid for 185, then 201. Daniel's out. Let's mark these for 34.99. Jason Anderson gets a cherry pie. Jason Thomas, Jason Thomas gets a cherry pie. I thought I saw another claim. Maybe not. Two people. Uh, Cinderella, 211. Lori's at 95 on Striper. Cinderella's at 215. Let's keep going through this bin. Tonight, they're $34.99. Otherwise, I'm going to put them back on the rack. Captain Disaster. Ferre Gringard. A 1968 U.S. white label promo. It does have some cover damage. White label promo from Vanguard. Ferre, Ferre Gringard, Captain Disaster. VG999. Scott Klima wants a cherry pie. 
Cinderella's at $225. Lori's at $95 on Striper. Christopher Brushen wants Captain Disaster. The Price of Love, the John Castle Band, a 1973 U.S. private press jazz album, VG Condition, $14.99. Rick Woolley, Saltwater Highway, a 1980 U.S. private press folk rock album, VG Condition, 1999. Ballads, or Ballades, <laughs> a 1982 French pressing, Chanson, EX Condition, 999. James Bragg's out on Cinderella. Let's update Cinderella for a second. We have an original 1994 U.S. Coke bottle clear vinyl. It's numbered number 267. It's on Coke bottle clear vinyl. It's in shrink wrap with the stickers on the cover. The vinyl is beautiful. Coke bottle clear. Ken Crooker has that for 225. Final call. Colin Hudson or anybody else, if you want to bid, Go ahead. If you're done, say out. Thank you, James. Lori, you are outbid on Striper. Let me know if you want back in. Wow. Curtis Mayfield, Sweet Exorcist. VG Condition, $17.99. 1974 Monarch. Curtis Mayfield, VG, $17.99. The Leaves, All the Goods That's Happening, Flashback. A 1967 U.S. Mono, VG condition, $24.99. At one point, somebody was selling it for $0.50. Cents. What a deal. Zachary P. on Curtis Mayfield. That's so to Zachary P. When I come back, I'm selling Striper to Stacy, and I'm selling Cinderella to Ken. I'm going to grab another warrant. These are $39.99. We sold an original earlier. Here is another music on vinyl pressing of warrant. Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking, Rich. These are also numbered on clear vinyl. They're numbered on clear vinyl. Warrant, $39.99. Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking, Rich. Cinderella is sold to Ken Crooker for $225. Ken, it's yours. $225. Ken Crooker, that's sold to you. Ken Crooker. Stacy Metternich gets Striper for $96. Stacy, Striper is so to you for $96. Let me tag it so it gets clean. Make sure the Striper album gets cleaned and put in a new MoFi inner sleeve for Stacy Metternich. I'm trying to get it back in its sleeve here. Give me one second. Give me one second. All right, let me get a... I don't know why I don't have a pack of sticky notes over here. We got to put a sticky note on that as a reminder. Let me just bring this whole pack over here. All right, let's put up some new stuff. Let's put up some new stuff. Thank you again, Stacy. Nobody got a pack of inner sleeves earlier. I sold a lot already this week. And I think we're caught up. All right, let's introduce uh, these next two auctions, which uh, it's the last two from the 16. It's the last two from that grid of 16, and then everything else is going to be kind of the surprises from this other bin of incredible stuff we had. So every, uh, here's our last two. Everything else from that picture is sold. Everything else from that picture is gone, just FYI. And let me close out my apps here. I got to pull. I was gonna pull that picture up. Okay, so this is Ozzy, Randy Rhodes tribute. Another album that has never seen a reissue. Boy, when it does, get ready for the pre-order. Ozzy Osbourne, the Randy Rhodes tribute album. Of course, Randy Rhodes tragically passed away. This is a tribute album. It's a live concert. It's a live concert. Great live concert. This is a 1987 U.S. Carrollton Press. Beautiful vinyl. No condition notes. Beautiful vinyl. Beautiful vinyl or vinyl. Vinyl with a V. Original inner sleeves. Awesome. $55 start. 
What an amazing guitarist. The Ozzy Osbourne tribute album to Randy Rhodes. Gatefold, $55 start. This is an original U.S. pressing. It never was reissued. It's now up for bid. All right, the other night we actually had this album, and I was like, boy, I never see this. And then we go and buy this Kansas City collection, and here's another copy. So this is only the second one I've ever had. Dio, Lock Up the Wolves, an original 1990 U.S. club copy with the original inner sleeve. It's beautiful. EX Plus, $55 start on Dio, Lock Up the Wolves. That's Ronnie James Dio. Look how nice the vinyl is. We've got it cleaned. We've got it in a new anti-static inner sleeve. There's the original inner sleeve. There's Dio. Lock up the wolves. This is a $55 start. The jacket has one little crackle here on the spine. One little crackle here on the spine. That's now what for bid. Lock up for the wolves. The vinyl's fine. Everything else on the jacket is nice. It also has a small crackle on the top. Small crackle right there on the top as well. All right. There we go. That'll keep us busy for a while. Next is Sugarfoot, Sugar Kiss, VG Plus Condition, $16.99, a 1985 SRC. Sugarfoot, Sugar Kiss, Cactus, Resurrections. Cactus is a 1971 U.S. Club, VG Condition. $14.99 for Cactus. Also, we have Given Up Food for, J for Funk, the JBs, an unofficial compilation, VG Plus $17.99, and Recolette de Reves, Seguin. Seguin is a 1975 Canadian folk rock prog album, VG Plus $14.99. I'm going to go try to figure out what's up with this air conditioner. Now I'm cold again. I can't be cold can't have that happen. Let me go over here and turn this up or turn it down or do something. Oh, it's not on auto. It's on, or it's not on, yeah, it's not on auto. It's on on. No wonder. Boy, our electric bill is going to be high. All right, everything just went up by 20%, including current bids to pay for this incredible electric bill here, which usually runs about $1,200 anyway. So no telling what it's going to be now. I think that thing's been running all day. It's not been on auto it's been on just on on. <laughs> okay, so back up at the top. Uh, I put up Ozzy and Dio. What a combo. Ozzy had a high bid of 60, 60, 65, 125. Dio, 55, 65, 65. Jackson Blaylock first on Cactus. Christopher Brush a second. George Scher on Sugarfoot. Do 70 Jason Franz on the JBs, Colin Butler second, and we have Blood on the Saddle, Poison Love, a 1986 U.S. Psychobilly Country Rock album, VG Plus $14.99. This woman is completely nude on the cover. This is an extremely rare, Paul says extremely rare, 1962 blue vinyl, which is Stag Party Special number five. It's on blue vinyl. Wow. VG condition, $49.99. Stag Party is an extremely rare 1962 blue vinyl. Cover damage, does have some cover damage, $49.99. Ozzy's at $130. Ozzy's at $150. Dio is at $70 with Robert Phillippe. Dio's at $70 with Robert Phillippe. James Bragg wants Stag Party. Wow, Thelonious Monk, VG Plus, 1999. On Blue Note, Genius of Modern Music, 1999. It's a late 60s pressing. It does have cover damage, late 60s pressing. Thelonious, Thelonious. Orville Storber, Songs, a 1971 U.S. folk album. VG condition, a 999. Are we done on a uh, Dio? Dio's a final call for, I think the other one brought over 100 we sold the last time. Lock up the wolves? 70 with Robert Phillippe. Ozzy's at 130, 150. Uh, Jared Inc., first on the Monk. 
George Scherer was second. Jackson Blaylock wants the Sanguine. This one right here, Jackson. Zachary next on Monk, then Christopher, then Marianne, then Murphy. Ozzy's at 160. And we had Dio at 75 with Chad Duggan. New bid on Dio. Songs from the night before, Fred Kohler. EX Condition, $11.99. A 1989 U.S. folk album. EX Condition, $11.99. Tim Buckley, Happy Sad. Tim Buckley, VG Plus, $14.99. Feeling Groovies. The Flaming Groovies. What's that say? The fla I was about to say, The Flaming Groovies. Gold Star Tapes. EX Condition, $17.99. A 1984 French import. EX Condition, $17.99. I think Preston's tagging somebody. Okay, I thought, Preston, you were claiming something. We have an out on Ozzy. Robert Phillippe, let me know if you want backing on Dio. Chad Duggan has it for $75. Now we're moving a final call to him. Okay. Uh, James Bragg needs to put back Stag Party. He says his Discogs is telling him he already has it. Let's put this back. Stag Party still available if anybody wants it. The uh, Syndicate of Sound, Little Girl. This is VG Plus 16. Now, is there a Fred K in here? Hold on a second. I may be. It must be further back then. No, it's right here. That's so depressed and rose. Okay. I was going to say, are you tagging somebody? I didn't recognize that name. That's so depressed and rose. Uh, Robert's out on Dio. Chad has it for 75. Final call. Marianne just bid 90. Marianne's at 90. Ozzy's at 175, also with Marianne. She's got the high bid on both. We have Halo number one. EX condition, $14.99. A 1972 German import, a Netherlands pressing. That's rock, $14.99. Atlanta Rhythm Section, EX Condition, $12.99. And Lonnie Liston-Smith and the Cosmic Echoes, Reflections of a Golden Dream, EX Condition, uh, 1976 Indianapolis Press, $22.99. Susie Breedlove wants Halo. Halo number one, that's so does Susie Breedlove. Somebody is spreading fake news on YouTube and saying a CD sounds better than vinyl. Mm -mm -mm. Mary Ann is at 90 on Dio. Final call. Mary Ann has Dio for 90. Chad, just let me know if you want in or out. Ozzy, final call. Mary Ann as well. 175. Who was the other bidder? Jason Franz. Jason Franz has set out. We're about to sell it. I'm going to read the titles, if I can, <laughs> one more time in this bin. I have a $6.99 bin to go through. I have a $6.99 bin to go through. $6.99 crate is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we're going to do that probably next. Chad's out. Mary Ann, I think you may be getting both. And we're about to sell both of those. There's plenty more to cover tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and sell them. Mary Ann gets Dio for $90. That's sold to Mary Ann. I think Mary Ann lost like the first 20 auctions, and then she's won the last few here. I guess that's the definition of patience. All right. And Ozzy is sold for $175. All right. It's only 1019. I'm already ready for my other ch uh, Chipotle burrito I have in the fridge over here that cost an outrageous amount of money. I think we've already had this discussion, but I love Chipotle, but it's also the most expensive restaurant in Lebanon. So do Marianne. All right, let's get two new auctions going. Let's see what's else over here in this bin. But uh, we got some, we still got some great stuff over here, but that was kind of the conclusion of what I've been calling the Big 16 tonight. 
the big 16. We all, now we have a couple more over here to do, which I've got a White Snake and I've got a Kill album, so there's still great stuff to be auctioned, like White Snake and Kill. But uh, let's go through this post here and let me show you what I was talking about. So, um, let's see here. There's tonight's live feed. Make sure you've liked the post if you haven't already. See how easy this was? Make sure you like the post. I posted a huge gallery of pictures from that Kansas City collection. Uh, I'll be posting more. That's like part like four, one of four or five. There's the 16 I was talking about, the Badlands, Alice in Chains, Cinderella, Ozzy, Skid Row, Trickster, Van Halen, Pantera, Dio, Cypress Hill, Metallica, Metallica, Poison, Pantera, Ozzy, and Ozzy. Those just concluded. And uh, we got some other stuff here that was not advertised. We got new arrivals. I'm about to do a discount bin, and I'm going to run through some new vinyl as well. And we have uh, Jackson didn't mean to get sync one earlier. Okay, Jackson didn't mean to get sync one earlier. I had it typed out, never erased it, and typed him for throwing this monk, realizing it. Okay, got it. So, and you were second on monk, I think, even with your sync one bid in there. I'm going to put that back. I'm going to read what's left in here. Let's introduce these next auctions, though. This is White Snake, slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue, White Snake, in shrink wrap with hop sticker. Let's take a look at it. It is nice. White Snake, slip of the tongue. Very, very nice. Let's put it up. $30 start. Original on her sleeve. This is not a club. This is an original U.S. copy with hop sticker. An original U.S. copy with hop sticker. White Snake, $30 start. Nice. Slip of the tongue in shrink wrap. And then we have Keel, the right to rock. Keel, the right to rock. This is looking like a nice copy. Let's see if the vinyl is going to be nice. The vinyl is about EX condition, just some sleeve scuffing. EX condition. Let's put Kill up for a $15 start. $15 start on Kill. And there's still something wrong with our air conditioner here. It keeps on getting colder and colder. Let me see what I've done over here. I thought I put it on auto. Maybe I need to turn it up. I don't know how to work a thermostat. I, I, I switch it to off earlier. And when I switched it to off, I accidentally switched it all the way over to heat. And then it got really, really hot in here. So, sorry. I'm narrating my, narrating my uh, problems here. Okay. Let's go through this bin one more time. I'm going to tell prices on some of them. Hoodoo Man Blues, Junior Well Chicago Blues Band, an original 1965 U.S. stereo, VG Plus, $129.99. Memphis Slim, USA, Candid, a VG Plus, $79.99, an original 61 U.S. mono. Just so y'all know, the air conditioning finally kicked off. Gantz Galore, a 66 U.S. mono, VG Minus, $9.99. Brownsville Station, a night on the town, EX condition, $17.99. Sometimes our auctions are so crazy, it distracts people from what's going on in the bins because there's, sometimes the auctions are going so fast and there's so many bids. The Kinks, VG Plus condition, $64.99. It is VG Plus. It's a 67 tricolor steamboat, Terre Haute pressing. Jose Marcus, a private press folk comp, VG Plus, $14.99. Hosanna Forever, a 1977 U.S. private press gospel funk album, EX $44.99. Matchbox, EX $9.99. Matchbox, the second foot in cold water, a foot in cold water, EX $44.99. Long Time Coming, a 1974 U.S. private press country rock album, VG Plus $29.99. Jugular, Balls, EX $22.99, a 1980 U.S. jazz fusion album. Friend, Freddie North, a 1971 U.S. funk soul album, VG $14.99. Definitely Dorothy, Dorothy Moore, VG Plus $9.99. The Price of Love, the John Castle Band, VG $14.99. Rick Rooley, Saltwater Highway, VG $11.99. And this is Ballads, this is EX $9.99. Chad, that's Nana Mosuki, the Ballads LP. 
Rob show is educating us evidently on what this is. The leaves, all the good that's happening, flashback. VG 2499, a 67 US mono, and Blood on the Saddle, Poison Love, VG plus 1499. Why Snake? The last bit I've seen is Calvin Ward at 52. Calvin Ward just came in at $52. Keel is at 30 with Hiram Ortega. Hiram Aponte. Hiram Aponte is at $30 on Keel. That's where we're at. Why Snake 52? Keel is at 30. Going once, going twice. Orville Stober, Songs, VG 999. Keel 31, White Snake 55. Tim Buckley, Happy Sad, VG Plus 1499. Flamin' Groovies, EX 1799. Stag Party number 5, Blue Vinyl, Rare, VG 4999. Syndicate of Sound, Little Girl, VG Plus 1699. Atlanta Rhythm Section, 2LP, EX, $12.99. Also, Lonnie Liston-Smith and the Cosmic Echoes, Reflections of Golden Dream, Lonnie Liston, EX, $22.99. And Ricolette de Revives, Seguin, VG Plus, $14.99. Bill Hersey wants Atlanta Rhythm Section, ARS. Uh, Bill Samus, you were second. Scott Smith, third. Why Snakes at 58. Keels out with Ted Keaton, Sean Holford. That $31 bid may do it. What am I trying to do here? Three, 31. Did y'all see that? My fingers just completely stopped working. That is 31, Sean Holford. Where is the other crate? Let me condense the two crates Paul got ready for us tonight. And I think I have a $6.99 crate over here to go through. We hadn't done a $6.99 crate in a while. That's correct. Earlier, we've done like two or three $9.99 crates. This crate, everything is going to be $6.99. By the way, that White Snake album, most of White Snake's catalog is not in print. Uh, if, if they are, there's some kind of import, or they've like, they haven't re recorded them, they've like remixed. Their catalog is weird with the remixes and stuff. So uh, I know for sure. I can't order a new copy of that, hence the desirability here in the bids. We have another out on keel. It looks like Sean's going to get that. Five, four, three, two. Let's sell it to Sean. And I'll get something else. I actually have a, a Leonard Skinner over here. I have a Street Survivors. I have a Street Survivors. Keel is sold to Sean Hofer for 31. Thank you, Sean. And we have uh, a Leonard Skinner Street Survivors, an original Flames cover, an original Flames cover here, Street Survivors. Let's take a look at it. It's now going up for bid. Gatefold jacket, of course. No inner sleeve, no inserts. It was just the cover and the disc when we found it. The cover is in VG or VG minus. It has a, a crease here on the back. It has some ring wear. It has some edge and corner wear. No condition notes on the vinyl, though. It's a pretty clean copy, as you can see here. And of course, this is the original cover with the flames. Uh, for what, less than a week after this came out, a few of the uh, members here on the cover died in a plane crash, including the original lead singer. And uh, it was uh, pulled off the shelf after that initial shipment of 500000 they made 500,000 of these. That's how many was produced. There were 500,000 flame covers manufactured. And then after that, they recalled it. And now they keep it, the, the one that's back in print, they actually remake it now with the flames cover. It blows people's mind. All the locals around here that really aren't into record collecting, but they come in the store and they see the new copy sitting in the bins, it freaks them out. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. It People's like, what is this? Do you know what this is? Why is this still sealed? How do you have this? It freaks people out. The Leonard Skinner folklore is real among this album locally. It freaks people out. They think it's worth like a billion dollars. This is a $25 start. Leonard Skinner, Street Survivors. It's a very desirable record. By no doubt, because of the folklore with it. But... There's a lot of people under the assumption that it's worth like 
thousands and thousands of dollars, but it's not. Now, if you have a nice sealed one, they're starting to bring a lot. Heritage Auctions in Dallas sold a sealed copy for $7,000 two months ago. $7,000 for a sealed copy. So it's pretty desirable, especially if you get one sealed. All right. Back up at the top. White Snake is a final call for $60. What time will posters start? Um, we'll see what we got going on here in about 30 minutes, actually. Uh, we'll get started probably pretty early if we're not still selling records. We'll probably do posters fairly, fairly early because we got a lot to cover. And once again, I have a lot to do, uh, especially before I tune into the Masters all day tomorrow. It is Masters Sunday tomorrow. All right. Six dollars and ninety nine cents. Everything in here. High bin on Skitters forty five and final call on White Snake for sixty. Adam, the leaves is still available. I'm just now seeing your question. The leaves is still available. It's in VG condition. It's twenty four ninety nine. VG condition twenty four ninety nine. See if I can find that for you. It's a VG minus cover and VG minus, uh, VG vinyl. It's a mono original, twenty four ninety nine. All right, everything in here is six ninety nine. Who's at sixty? Calvin Ward's at sixty on White Snake. We have the best of country crossovers, six dollars and ninety nine cents. The best of country crossovers: Kenny Rogers, Crystal Gale, Linda Ronstadt, Billy Joe Spears, Bobby Gentry. Everything in here is one penny less than seven dollars. Henry Gross. Self-titled, $6.99 for Henry Gross. Quicksilver, what about me? Quicksilver is in VG condition, $6.99. Nick Bargeron's in on White Snake at $61. Feel the Heat, Henry Paul Band, $6.99 for Henry Paul Band. Jennifer, self-titled, no condition notes, $6.99. Christopher Brush on Quicksilver, $6.99. Susie, you're second. Final call on Leonard Skinner, $45 to Matthew Copas. No conditionals on the vinyl. VG cover. Christopher, Christopher Brusha first on Jennifer, $6.99. Bill Samus first on Henry Paul Band. Calvin Ward's back in on White Snake at $62. Manford Mann's Earth Band Watch, $6.99. Singing Till the Girls Come Home, Vocalist. Compilation. Gold Stamp Promo. No condition notes, $6.99. Bryce Street, Imagination, $6.99. The Bad Seed, Un Hun, something like that, $6.99. Christopher Brusher on Manford Mann. Paul Ogley were second. Josie Sinkbell wants country crossovers. Nick Bargeron, let me know if you want back in on White Snake. I'm also about to sell Leonard Skinner. Shadam Shadik, that's VG Plus, $6.99. Naked Prey, 40 Miles From Nowhere, $6.99. John Eddy, self-titled. We have Brewer and Shipley down in L.A., a 1968 pressing. Elvin Bishop, hometown boy makes good. Elvin Bishop, let it flow. Chet Nichols, time loop. And Rubber City Rebels, those are all $6.99. White Snake is sold to Calvin Ward for $62. I'm actually going to tag that to get it cleaned. That is sold to him for $62. Thank you, Calvin Ward. Slip of the tongue is gone. Nice copy. Does need a cleaning, though. In shrink wrap of hop sticker and the OG inner sleeve. Now, what have I done with those sticky notes again? Aha. One of them got a pack, and I've already lost them. There we go. And what's the Leonard Skinner price? I was reaching to sell it. The high bid right now is $45 of Matthew Copas. If you want to bid, I'll give it another 30 seconds. 45 of Matthew Copas. Christopher Brusha on BS. Brewer and Shipley. That's so to Christopher Brusha for $6.99. We have Larry Drish on EB2. Elvin Bishop. Uh, is that means you want both of them, Larry Drish? I'll make sure first. And we have Skid Row then. He says pass. Leonard Skinner is sold to Matthew Copas for $45. Mary Ann just bid $50. It's too late. That is sold to Matthew Copas for $45. I think he wants both of those. I'll make sure. We have the Group Quake. That's a compilation, the Young Bloods. 
Stone Country, Auto Salvage, Group Quake is $6.99. He wants the second one. That was Let It Flow. Elvin Bishop is sold to Larry Drish for $6.99. We have Ooh Wow, the Uptown Rhythm Kings, $6.99. And who do we have here? David Ray, Slewfoot. David Ray is $6.99. Everything in this bin is $6.99. Let's peek over here in this auction crate and see what else we have. Um... Let's do a Tigers of the Pantang album, and I have a Japanese Michael Shanker group to run. So we have Tigers of Pantang, Wildcat. We don't get their stuff too often. Tigers of Pantang, Wildcat. I do not like resellable sleeves. Some people do. I don't. I think that's the entire resellable part that just got pulled off. Wow, this one's done a really good job protecting this. It was like shrunken around it. Tigers of the Pantang Wildcat. Nice vinyl. It does need cleaning, but it's nice. EX Plus. Tigers of Pantang. This is a $15 start. Tigers of Pantang, Wildcat, $15 start. Dang it, I should have said $25 start. That's okay. I think you'll get there pretty quickly. That's now up for bid. And we have Michael Shanker Group. This is a Japanese pressing of MSG by Michael Shanker Group. It is a $25 start. $25 start. Japanese pressing. It has the Japanese insert. It has the other Japanese insert. And it is a $25 start. The vinyl is spectacular. That's now up for bid. Okay. <clears throat> Christopher Brusha put DR. That's for David Ray, $6.99. Info on DR. Cole, I've already sold it. And Tigers has bids for 15, 20, 30, 16, and 20. Add them poems and things, Mason Williams, $6.99. I agree. I don't like anything protective that's held down by tape or an adhesive because it can damage a cover or a comic book or a magazine. I don't like anything that requires tape or adhesive. Them Poems and Things, Mason Williams, $6.99. Now, if you're going to put a record away for a long, long time, a resellable sleeve may be okay. Some people like them. I won't be able to change their mind, but that's why I usually only order them by request. Now, if you're going to put away like a sealed something or another and you may not ever touch it again for you know, a year, five years, or never touch it again uh, until you're going to sell it. You might want to use a resellable sleeve. We have the Town Criers, the cool part of town, a 1990 pressing, $6.99. Status quo, rocking all over the world, VG plus condition. Bobby Durham, where I grew up, $6.99. Miss Dynamite, a little deeper. 2002 pressing, $6.99. Graham Nash and David Crosby, VG condition, $6.99. The Rock Pile, Seconds of Pleasure, VG Plus, $6.99. Range Rats, a 2010 pressing. That was originally $34.99. Range Rats, $6.99 now. For the first time in a long time, I'm going to mute my mic and take a drink of water. I haven't done it too many times tonight. We've been too busy. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. I'm starting to lose my voice. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. Let me do some stretching next. Ooh. I think something just popped in my chest. I've never had that happen before. Ooh, what was that? I'm starting to, I'm starting to get old. 27 is wearing on me. I'm 27. I feel like I'm 97. Ooh. Here went my knees, my back. Wow. Sorry y'all had to hear all that. Back 
to the bin. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm, I'm good for another four hours now. All right, so we had uh, Tigers, 15, 16, 20, 30, 20. Paul Ogley put SQ. Have we already pulled that? We haven't. Paul Ogley on SQ. Status quo, 699. Michael Shanker, 40. Daryl Royal. John Dorsey, GN. Graham Nash, sold, 699. Christopher Brusha, Range Rat, sold. Bill Samus, Rockpile, sold, 699. Paul Ogley, looks like you were second. Let me bring over a new bin. Paul Ogley was second on Rockpile. We've sold a lot of records tonight. A lot of high end records, too. We've sold two records for. We've well, we've done the air horn what three times? We sold a nine hundred dollar, a thousand dollar. We've sold some big tickets tonight. Rock Piles already sold Michael Obrick, and we have Tigers. So Tigers, Donald Kennedy has it for thirty dollars. This is a U.S. pressing of Tigers of Pantang, Wildcat, nineteen eighty U.S. pressing, in shrink wrap. Final call for thirty dollars. Donald Kennedy, Michael Shanker Group. Michael Shanker Group is at forty with Daryl Royal. Final call. Adam Kendall wants the leaves. Adam, if you're a first time buyer, thank you and welcome. Make sure Adam gets this. It is sticker price. It's a new arrival. And Adam, if you're a first time buyer, here's what we ask of all first time buyers: make sure you message our page. We need your email address and your mailing address. Email address and mailing address. We do $7 in limited shipping. We normally have a show every night, Monday through Saturday. Sometimes we do a Sunday show. I used to do coin and knife auctions on Sundays, but I am almost retired from that because I just literally don't have time. So I stopped promising people coins and knives, and I've just been telling people they're postponed till further notice. I just literally don't have time. That means I would be live streaming over 50 hours a week. Do you realize how long that is? That's a lot of time. If I start doing coin and knife auctions, so uh, I just don't have time for coins and knives. And Paul does the Sunday record show. So, Adam, thank you. But sometimes we do coins and knives on Sunday nights. Paul sometimes does a record show during the day, like at 3 o'clock-ish. And uh, we're here every night, and it's $7 in limited shipping. All right, back to the six ninety nine records. We have the Smugglers Atlanta Whiskey Flats. The Smugglers is six dollars and ninety nine cents. The Smugglers is six ninety nine. We have Niels Lofgren six dollars and ninety nine cents for Niels. No condition notes. Holly Near Fire in the Rain six ninety nine for Holly Near. Willow the Wisp Leon Russell. Willow the Wisp Leon Russell six dollars and ninety nine cents for Leon Russell. Six ninety nine. No condition notes. Sunny and share. All I ever need is you. Sunny is six ninety nine. We have days of future past. The Moody Blues. VG condition. Six dollars and ninety nine cents for the Moody Blues. It's in VG condition. What a great album. Go with the flow. Michael White's Magic Music Company. Wow, there's a big discount on this. Go with the flow. Mag Michael White's Magic Music Company. Six ninety nine on that. And we have freaking frack. You shouldn't have done it. 1986, also a big discount on that, $6.99. Now, I left off by saying Tigers was at 30. We had a new bid for 32. And we have a new bid for 32, another new bid for 35, another new bid for 36. So, Brian Frenfrock, let's go ahead and sell this to Daryl Royal. Daryl Royal gets Michael Shanker for $40. Japanese pressing, thank you, Daryl. That is sold to you for $40. That is sold to Daryl Royal for four zero. That is 40 USD. That's sold to Daryl. And then we had uh, Tracy Soinger on Sonny and Cher for $6.99. George Cher on Moody Blues. John Gollin on the Niels Lofgren. These are all $6.99. Christopher Brusha, you were first on GF, which was the... Uh, actually, hold on a second. Nope. What was GF? Was that something further back? Uh, let's see. Freaking frack. Let me know what that was exactly. And then Tigers has a new bid for 37 now 38 Brian Frenfrock just come in. All right, I found this in the bin. It's actually a 1993 pressing. A 1993, beautiful copy. Near Mint Minus. 
of the Beatles, 62 to 66. It's got original printed inner sleeves with it. A 1993 UK copy. A UK copy. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Let's put it up for a $35 start. A 1993. I didn't know they pressed this in 93. But this is a 93 pressing. There is the both LPs. An amazing jacket. 1993 UK copy. Originally came out in 73. $25 start, or $35 start. Uh, okay, Tiger has bids for 38 and we have in crate shown. That was second. Um, hold on a second. Uh, second in crate shown. Is that the uh, Christopher GF second in crate shown? Is that Go With The Flow, Michael Watts Magic Music Company? Go With The Flow. I'll, I'll make sure for sure. Chuck Jackson, I Don't Want To Cry. Uh, $6.99. Everything in here is $6.99. Chuck Jackson, I Don't Want to Cry, $6.99. Rune at the top, Rune Gustafsson. That is an EX condition, $6.99 for Rune. We have, this is $6.99. Arrival, I Will Survive. Every time I see this, I want to call it ABBA for some reason. Every time. $6.99, Arrival. $6.99 on that. Slide by EP, Jonathan Wilson, sealed, never been opened, $6.99, and Nicolette Larson, all dressed up and no place to go, $6.99. Now, Tigers of Pantang, I was waiting for a new bid. Uh, Donald Kennedy, you got out bid. Brian Frenfrock bid 38. Brian Frenfrock was at 38. And then the Beatles was put up, and we had bids for 35, 35, 35, 35, 40. 40, 40, 45. Jared Inc. wants Rune. That is sold to Rune. Or see, that's sold to Jared Inc. for $6.99. Beatles, 55. Brent Ribley wants Go With The Flow. This is like a $60 album. I'm making sure this is what Christopher Brusha didn't want. He said second and then in crate shown. And earlier he put GF. And I was thinking that was like Go With Flow. But I've got to make sure if not, Brent Ribley wants it. I mean... This, this slipped through the cracks. This is marked for $59.99. So that is like a major slip through on my part for $6.99. But it's going to be sold to somebody. George Scherer gets slide. That's slide by EP. And that is uh, sold to George Scherer. Donald Kennedy came back in on Tigers at $39. Wolfpack bid $40. Scott Smith wants Nicolette Larson. And that's what I did. I figured GF was go with flow. And then you said second record, and it was behind that 12-inch single. So that is sold to Christopher for $6.99. Brent Ribley, second. I doubt Christopher's going to be putting that in. That was a – sometimes on these bins, I'm making them too fast, and there's stuff that slips through. There was one time I had a $129.99 record that I could have easily sold on Discogs in a $6.99 crate. That's usually something kind of obscure looking, and I'm just kind of making them, and I'm like, okay, $6.99, $6.99, $6.99. And then there's something, I don't know what it is, and I don't check the price on the back, and I sell it accidentally. So you got to be paying. When I'm making, when I'm doing these, you're thinking, ah, $6.99 records. You never know. There's usually some kind of screw-up by me in here. Pieces, Mariah. I mean, there's already some big discounts. These are priced by Discogs comps. $6.99 on Pieces, Mariah. Elvin Bishop live, raising hell, $6.99. Elvin Bishop live, raising hell. Boo Herdon and Darden Smith, evidence, a 1989 U.S. promo label, e, uh, EX condition. George Sherr put EN, that's for Elvin Bishop. And then Christopher Brusher was second. Crosby and Nash live, Crosby and Nash live, $6.99. Wow, they do uh, Lee Shore and Deja Vu. I don't know if I've ever listened to that before. Deja Vu Live. Oh, boy, that's amazing. VG Plus, $6.99, Crosby and Nash. The Moody Blues, A Question of Balance, EX, $6.99. Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream, No Condition Note, $6.99. Back-to-back Moody Blues. Stephen Bishop, Bish, EX, uh, $6.99. Joni Mitchell, $6.99. And Bob Dylan, Street Legal, $6.99. Now, when I stopped earlier, we had Tigers of the Pantang at $40.
Beatles was at 55 with Mike Torres. George Sherry got Elvin Bishop. Christopher Larry Drift second. George Sherry first on CN, Crosby and Nash Live, CNL. That sold to George Sherry, 699. Tony Freeman second. Gary Mitchell, Gary Michael Hill third. Jackson Blaylock, MB, he takes both. He's first, he gets dibs on both. Larry Drish was second. Larry Drish was second again. Bill Hersey, third on Crosby and Nash. Paul Ogley on BD for Bob Dylan. Gary Michael Hill, you're second. Jane Fink wants Joni Mitchell. That means Mike Torres gets the Beatles for $55. Hope everybody was done bidding. That had been up for a while. I said 55 once. I went back up to the top. I said it again. No bids. Sold. And this Tiger's a Pantang. We've had back and forth bids for a while. And we just got a new one. Donald Kennedy at $41. We're not done yet. Donald Kennedy has that for $41. Not done yet. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I'll find something else to put up right quick. While I do a quick recap on that. Quick recap on that. Um, here's a Michael Shanker that I don't think I've seen too many times. We usually have them Japanese pressings. This is called Michael Shanker Anthology. Has some Japanese letters on the front, but I think it is. It's a Japanese pressing, yeah. Michael Shanker must have sold extremely well in Japan. Uh, is there some kind of connection there? I, I don't know. I'm not aware of. Or, uh, But this is a no, unless the Obi's in the sleeve. We're going to put this up for a $25 start as well. So anthology would mean like greatest hits, right? This is a 2LP, typical, extremely nice Japanese vinyl. And let's see what's all included with it. Uh, if it has anything included with it. Okay, so it's a gatefold. It is a gatefold, which comes with like a book here. So there's the inserts. They're kind of in the gatefold there. Uh, and then there's the last panel. And then that's it. And then it's a 2LP, and it's very nice Japanese vinyl. And that is a $25 start. All right, and of course, it is late, but if there's anybody new watching, we have 100% satisfaction here. So we have, we're running a business. You can buy with confidence. We're not going to take your money and not ship records to you. It may take us a while to ship them to you because we sell so much every week. But you can buy with confidence. We grade accordingly. If you get used to our standards, you'll know what I mean eventually by VG Plus and VG or Near Mint Minus and Pristine. And if we ever overlook something or you get something with a problem, you can let us know and we'll take care of you. We're here to keep customers happy. Otherwise, if you're not happy, then you don't buy stuff and then we go out of business and then I'm living in a van down by the river. And you don't want me living in a van down by the river, do you? We have a putback on the Bob deal, and Paul Ogley said he already had it. So we'll put back Street Legal, and that means Gary Michael Hill, you were next. I want to make sure you're still watching and know that you got this. So this is sold to Gary Michael Hill, and Gary, you may be a first-time buyer, so his putback may be your first-time purchase. So let me know that's sold to Gary Michael Hill for $6.99. And then Jane Fink gets the Bish by Stephen Bishop. And then Michael Shanker went up for bid for 25, 25, 25, 26. And then 30. Skid Row sold earlier. Yep, it sold for $199 earlier. $199. And then Michael Shanker, 32. And then we have Michael Shanker, 35. Well, Chad, better in a van than no roof above your head. <laughs> that is a good way to look at it. So. FYI, I bought an Otis Redding graded G record. Zero skips for $9.99. Yeah. So when we look at a record, some of those back there, John don't like putting them out. He only, John really only likes putting out really clean, nice, mint looking stuff, which I understand. However, I've went back there before and I have found crates loaded full of amazing records. And I'm like, John, I know these are like in G condition. But I promise you, there's a lot of people who would want this for $10 that don't want to spend $59.99 on a near-mint Otis Redding. So 
Uh, there's no telling how many copies of Dock of the Bay we have back there that are 10 and $15, that are G or VG minus, mono pressings. But because if we put out a near mint one, those are like 50, 60 bucks for a near mint one. So w that's what's in the back. I always talk about the back room. It is thousands of check condition records, like thousands and thousands. Um, so many we don't know what to do with them. But they take a lot longer to clean and inspect. And we hate to put out something and then it end up something being wrong with it, like a skip. But uh, I think some people are okay with a skip if it means that they get to save like $50. So that's why it's ten dollars instead of fifty. So, okay. Uh, now, once again, Tigers of Pantang. Donald Kennedy was at forty-one. Are we finally done on this record? It's been amazing. Wolfpack Motorsport was the only other bidder. I haven't set an out for them, but we're about to sell it. And Michael Shanker is at thirty-five. With Brian Frenfrock, we're about to sell it. I have no word on Celine Dion. They hadn't shipped it to me yet. Here's what's left for $6.99. Very, very quickly. Henry Gross, the vocalist compilation. This has artists such as Tony Bennett, Carmen McRae, Mose Allison, the Gordons. That's $6.99. We have Bryce Street, The Bad Seed, Shabab Shadik, Naked Prey, John Eddy, Chet Nichols, Rubber City Rebels, The Youth Quake Comp, Elvin Bishop. That was Hometown Boy. Ooh Wow, The Uptown Rhythm Kings, Mason Williams, The Town Criers, Bobby Durham, The Smugglers, Miss Dynamite, Holly Near, The Freaking Frack 12 inch single, Chuck Jackson, Arrival, Pieces Mariah, and Boo Herdine. Those are all $6.99. And I am finally selling. Wow, I got like five more Tigers of Pantang. I don't know if I want to put up another one or not. This one is sold. No more bids. It's done. That was $41 with Donald Kennedy. Donald, you are, you have bought from us before, right, Donald Kennedy? I'm going to make sure this gets tagged and sleeved properly. I don't think that had been cleaned. It's fresh out of a new arrival auction bin. So sell that to Kennedy, Donald Kennedy. And Michael Shanker has a new bid of 39 Is Naked Prey Rock. I will check on that. Uh, that's here in the $6.99 bin. Let's see here. Um, Naked Prey, 40 miles from nowhere. It looks like rock, yeah. It was originally 1999, 1987. So one more thing I want to do. It's pretty much the only recap I'm going to do tonight, and that's a recap of all of the new vinyl that I had discount, discounted to $24.99. So uh, I'm going to run through them very quickly. If you missed that tonight, we had a whole bin of on-sale new vinyl. If I can figure out where I've done with it. Uh, it was on-sale new vinyl for $24.99. Uh, and we sold quite a bit of it. A crate and two-thirds. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to remind you of what's left for $24.99. Hopefully, I can get the rest of it sold. I normally don't have anything uh, left over in these bins. So if you missed out on this stuff earlier, let's go through it one more time. It, actually, there's a couple things I restocked. And then we also put Stone Temple Pilots on sale. The greatest hits, we sold out of those. Um, but here's what's left for $24.99. James Taylor, Never Die Young. That is limited edition 1,000 white and black marbled vinyl. $20 off, $24.99. Yes, that's a tribute for, to Yes. Tales from Yesterday. Tales from Yesterday, $24.99. Steve Howell's on there. Peter Banks, that's members of Yes. $24.99. Talking Heads, more songs about buildings and food. Jethro Tull Aqua Lung, the Stephen Wilson remix, Gatefold with the book. Judy Collins now playing, that's a greatest hits. Fritz the Cat soundtrack, Rush Power Windows, the Fray self titled, and Creator Live at Dynamo Open Air, 1998. These are all $24.99. Larry Drish wants the James Taylor. Patty has the, or is that for Jethro Tull? Is that for Jethro Tull or James Taylor? Patty Anderson Williams has the. Uh, uh, excuse me, that was, yeah, Patty has that for 43. The Skid Row Simi Race, I'm looking for Slave the Grind from the flip video. Uh, that has not sold yet. That will be, it will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It will be sometime in next week's auctions. Uh, Larry uh, Drish wanted James Taylor. 
That sold to Larry Drish, $24.99. Now, George Sherr wanted Jethro Tull. I was wondering why some of these didn't sell earlier. Now they're selling. That sold to George Sherr, Jethro Tull. Curtis Marachi wants Fritz the Cat. That sold to Curtis Marachi. He did want James Taylor. And we have Josh Phillips on Power Windows. That sold to Josh Phillips. We're about to sell Michael Shanker Group for $43. Uh, yes, Cherry Pie is still on sale for $34.99. Warrant Cherry Pies, $34.99. I actually have another handful of vinyl that's on sale that I have not shown yet. Dead Kennedys, $24.99 for Dead Kennedys. Talking Head 77, $24.99. Uh, Morgan Wallen, we sold two of those. I had five, now there's three left. If I Know Me. Zach Bryan Deanne, I've got a bunch of those left, but we sold four out of here. There's one left. Uh, Way, Ray Wally Hubbard, I struggle with that name. We sold one. There's one left. That's called co-starring. Uh, Jason Thomas wants Morgan Wallen. Now there's two left. Scott O'Man says he'll take a warrant cherry pie. That is on cherry colored vinyl. If anybody else wants one, they are $34.99. Excuse me, $34.99. $34.99. They're numbered and they're on cherry colored vinyl. Sell that to Scott O'Man for $34.99. She's my cherry pie. Eno Morricone. Things Passion Collected, $24.99. Brooks Valder wants Zach Bryan. That's sold to Brooks Valder. And we have Blaze Foley, $24.99. Blaze Foley. I do have more Zach Bryans if anybody else wants one. Let's go ahead and sell Patty the Michael Shanker for $43. It was already very clean and nice. Typical of Japan. Looks like that came from a Japan. It has a Japanese inner sleeves. Well, we know it came from Japan. It probably came from a Japanese dealer on that. Uh, Charlie DeFrank wants a cherry pie. Let's pull Charlie DeFrank a cherry pie for $34.99. Make sure those go in for $34.99. This one's numbered 1827. That is sold to him for uh, Charlie DeFrank for $34.99. How much is Morgan? Regina, it's $24.99. So that's all that's left on the on sale new vinyl. Blaze Foley, Eno Morcone, Ray Wiley, Morgan, Talking Heads, Dead Kennedys, Creator, The Fray, Judy Collins. Talking Heads and Tales from Yesterday. The Talking Heads are the most surprising in there. I, I'm like, man, I guess everybody's already got OGs or I've already sold you new copies. Something's going on. Something's going on there. No Ryan Bingham's are left. No Ryan Bingham's. Unfortunately not. No, I'm going to have to restock all that. I've got to restock Coulter Wall and, and Ryan Bingham's and all that great stuff for sure. Uh, okay. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see here. Um, I do have another stack. Uh, I've got a stack over here of, um, what is this a stack of? This is other new vinyl that was higher priced. Some higher priced stuff that was not, that I can't do for $24.99, but it's still going to be on sale. Tony Swanson wants Talking Head 77 and Dead Kennedys. And Regina wants a Morgan Wallen. All right, so all three of those right there in a row are sold. So let's give Tony Swanson Talking Heads and Dead Kennedys and Regina Morgan Wallen. Let's put up some new auctions while I'm wrapping up some of this uh, being I'm about to do. What else? I was about to show something else. Oh, yes, this new vinyl. Okay, so one-time flash deal. I usually have no problem selling these. These are $46.99. I'm going to do them for an odd price of $38.99. A thirty-eight ninety-nine. This is Kicks Blow My Fuse. Kicks is thirty-eight ninety-nine. They're 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 marked forty-six ninety-nine. They should be on blue or red vinyl. They should be on blue or red vinyl. We'll do thirty-eight ninety-nine. That's Kicks Blow My Fuse. I'm gonna keep them right there actually, because if they don't sell, I'm just gonna leave that sticker on them. Thirty-eight ninety-nine. Thirty-eight ninety-nine. Nick Bargeron wants one. They should be on blue vinyl. They should be on blue vinyl. Sell Nick one, and if anybody else wants one, let me know. And next auctions, I just spotted a, I think this is a bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh collection that uh, got straight put behind the counter. Emerson Lake and Palmer works. I think it's a vintage bootleg. I know it's a vintage bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. It's live Emerson Lake and Palmer. It's called Works Half. $15 start, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. That's a vintage bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. If you're relatively new, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but 
you missed a heck of a collection. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a collection. All right, then here's our next auction, UFO, Strangers in the Night. Nice copy. It has to have a couple scuffs on it. Right here, there's a non-fillable scuff. Let's go ahead and grade it VG+. Plus, and there's LP number two. Gatefold, UFO, Strangers in the Night, $15 start. $15 start. Buy it as if it's VG+. Plus. I guarantee it's going to grade up to like an EX, probably. An EX. Now, here's the other new vinyl that I've got on sale. I'm going to do these a straight percentage discount. I'm going to do these a straight percentage discount of 20% 20, uh, 20 off. So I'm going to show them and then tell you the price. Tim Turner also wants a Kicks. Let's sell Tim Turner a Kicks for $38.99. $38.99 on Kicks. Jamie Wills Erickson also wants a Kicks for $38.99. Say that to Jamie Wills Erickson. I got uh, two kicks left, and Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's at 25, and UFO, like I said, I would buy it as if you're buying an EX copy. I mean, that side right there looks nice. It has the original on her sleeves. Brian Frenfrock's in at $15. So, 20% off. Destruction, Mad Butcher, $44.99. 20% off is $35.99. Was $44. Now, $35.99. Mixed Splatter, Destruction, Mad Butcher. They did a big reissue of these Destruction albums, which are very difficult for me to keep originals of. They will always get auctioned, and then they're gone. And this is Destruction, Mad Butcher. That's $35.99. I'm just going to put that right there. And then I think I showed these last night, maybe. I was trying to get them sold to somebody. Let's see what 20% off does on Gary Ride the Dreamweaver. Gary Wright, that's $35.99 for Gary Wright, the Dreamweaver. I think last night I said $35, $38. I can't remember. Now they're $35.99. That's 20% off of $44.99. That's the same price of Mad Butcher. I don't know why I calculated that in again. And then I'm going to skip that one because I think I did that one already. And then this is $54.99, 20% off. This is now your book 92. I can't believe I'm putting this on sale. If not, I'm going to put it on Discogs. That's $43.99. That's a triple LP. Now your book 1992. If you've been collecting these, this one has artists such as George Michael, U2, Bon Jovi, I see Simple Minds, Tears for Fears, Snap, Jimmy Nail, Take That, Roxette, Go West, Crowded House, Simply Red. So that's a 3LP compilation on colored vinyl. Now your book 92, $43.99. Jason Thomas also wants a Kicks. Let's give that to Jason Thomas for $38.99. One Kicks left for $38.99. I've got a stray Rolling Stones Hackney Diamonds with the Boston Red Sox cover. That's now been around here for a while, so I'm going to put it 20% off. $37.59. $37.59, and that's for the Rolling Stones, $37.59, Hackney Diamonds, Boston Red Sox, colored vinyl. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Brent still has it for $25. Final call, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, $25. UFO, final call for $19. I can't believe I'm having to put fish on sale. Fish, round room. I ordered two copies. I never did sell any of them. $54.99. All you fish heads, I'm never ordering fish again. $43.99. Round room. Now $43.99. Plus, their stuff's not cheap. It's never cheap. They always, it's always a higher price point for fish uh, albums. $43.99. Colored vinyl. First pressing colored vinyl round room. Chris Bellman, Bernie Grumman remaster. $43.99 for fish. Those were $54.99. I've got two copies. I may not even be able to sell them on sale. And then the Smiths is $46.99. $46.99 for the Smiths. 20% off. $37.59 on the Smiths. $37.59. So those are 20% off. Straight marked, 20% off. And then I had another Now Yearbook. I think I already priced that last night. So I don't think anybody wanted them. Just FYI. I'm going to pull all those out so I can actually make room for what's in here. And there's our two auctions there. So there we have it. Now, Smiths, Gary Wright, Stones, now your book, Destruction, Fish, and Stones. 
there was nothing that sold out of any of those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All those are still available. All of us still available. UFO and Emerson Lake and Palmer still getting bids. Emerson Lake and Palmer's $33. UFO's at 30, now 31. Sorry, I had something stuck on my thumb here. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is go through this bin. This is all new stuff from pretty much a compilation of new stuff from this week. And this is all that's left. We've really reduced new vinyl for sure. Alabama Shakes, sound and color. That's on a deluxe edition 2LP on colored swirl vinyl, $39.99. Cinquanta, a 50th birthday celebration for Maynard James Keenan live. That's Pussifer, A Perfect Circle, and Failure. White and blue swirl vinyl, numbered on the back, $46.99. Beastie Boys, Ill Communication, 2LP Remaster, $46.99. A Perfect Circle, Eat the Elephant, $46.99. Last copy, Virgin Suicide Soundtrack, $33.99, Virgin Suicides. We have the band, Music from Big Pink, the 50th Anniversary Box Set, $79.99. Also, Joe Satriani. $39.99, Not of This Earth, Blue Vinyl, The Amazing, Rush, Half Speed Master, Gatefold, Moving Pictures, $39.99. That's a Gatefold edition, Half Speed Master, 180 gram and thick, nice jacket. Judas Priest, Invincible Shield, Red Vinyl, it has sold extremely well, $48.99. Gatefold, Judas Priest, Van Morrison Moondance, $33.99. Bob Seger's Greatest Hits, $39.99. Judas Priest Painkiller, $29.99. Pantera, Far Beyond Driven, $33.99. The Essential Stevie Ray Vaughan, $33.99. Violent Films, $34.99. Dave Matthews Band, Remember Two Things, $39.99. Genesis Invisible Touch is $33.99. Disturbed, Immortalized, $39. And Circle Jerks, Wild on the Streets, $36.99. All right, so Emerson Lake and Palmer. Brent Robley is still top dog at $36. Final call on that vintage bootleg. And then we have UFO. Brian Frenfrock is at $38. With Brian Frenfrock, UFO, $38. Forrest Appleton's at $39. Forrest Appleton's at $39. All right. I am officially doing a final call for vinyl. That's anything that I showed earlier. Anything possibly you want to know if I have, any questions. If not, we're about to go into poster mode for the rest of the night. As long as I, as soon as I get through these packets and get ready to at least call it a night. So anybody else, we're officially about to go through poster mode. Any discount on Pantera. Leslie, I think I just stickered this. This just came back in. Pantera is marked 4-11-2024. I've only had that a couple days. Uh, only had that a couple days. Let's see here. Let's go back up the top. So UFO was at 39. What's the price on Violent Films? Violent Films is $34.99. Uh, Lita Ford out for blood. Now, where did you see that at? Because uh, I have no idea what that is or where it's at. Uh, Donald Kennedy wants Naked Prey. That was from that... Uh, that was from the $6.99 bin, right? Donald, that was from the $6.99 bin. Sell this to Donald Kennedy for $6.99. Can you get a new car wash? Are you talking about a new copy? Uh, put down Stanley Bedwell on a new on a waiting list for car wash. I don't think I can, though. Josh Raglan takes violent, violent films. And Chad, there was a punk LP black cover on the early bands, Mr. Price. I think it's $14.99. I will check. These are our last two record auctions. These are our last two. We're about to start showing movie posters. These are our last two record auctions. And Paul Ogley says, we'll take if that's the price. Okay, give me one second. Uh, Josh says, recap this bin. Circle Jerks, Disturbed, Genesis, Dave Matthews Band, The Essential, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Pantera, Far Beyond Driven, Judas Priest, Painkiller, Bob Seger's Greatest Hits, Van Morrison, Moondance, Judas Priest, Invisible Shield, Rush, Moving Pictures, Joe Satriani, The Band, Virgin Suicides, Eat the Elephant, 
Beastie Boys, Cinquanta, and Alabama Shakes. Uh, Emerson Lake and Palmer is sold to Brent Robley for $36. There was two other people that never did say out on that, but I've got to sell it. That's sold to Brent for $36. And then UFO, it looks like it's going to Forrest Appleton. I think it's going to Forrest Appleton. One more call, Brian Frenfrock. Did Brian say out? Brian Frenfrock said out. This is sold to Forrest Appleton for $39. Any rust and peace. We sold out of that this week. And then we have James Bragg on the Mainer, James Keenan right here. That was the birthday celebration. Cinquanta. Thank you, James Bragg. James Maynard Keenan is going to you. Or Maynard James Keenan. James Maynard. Let's see here. Figure out what's next over here. And let's see here. Um, what is... Oh, Paul Ogley. I was like, what am I remembering? Paul Ogley. That was over here in Paul's new bins. Let me do that right now. And S S Craig says it was the black and whites, possibly. Let me figure out what that was. We had two crates of new stuff. Um, the black and whites. It is sealed $24.99. Sealed $24.99. The black and whites. 2008, 2008 U.S. pressing. I don't know when it originally came out, but it is punk. $24.99. There's a couple of tracks from Disturbed. The Sound of Silence, The Vengeful One. That might be helping you out. I think it has, a, yeah, the hop sticker reads the vengeful one, the lot, and fire it up. The sound of silence. Paul Ogley wants the black and whites. All right. And Warrant, Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich, $39.99. I'm putting those back on the rack. Lori Eisman wants disturbed. Stevie Ray Vaughan is $33.99. That's the essentials. 17 tracks on two LPs. All righty. Inner sleeves. Packs of 50, $26.99. Outer sleeves, packs of 100, $29.99. Now I've got to go get this tub a little bit closer. Hopefully Paul got the right one. I gave him very crude instructions. I said, black tub. I said, black tub with the uh, yellow lid. And he looked at me like I was crazy. He said, do you realize how many black tubs of yellow lids we have back there? Oh, boy. I messed up. I started trying to move this before I had a path. I'm glad Paul did this earlier. Otherwise, I'd had to walk all the way to the back. Boy, why did they make posters so heavy? <sighs> that one's halfway full, too. This tub was just, it was basically empty when I found it. It's never been gone through, but it just it must have been like one of the last ones we filled up in his garage or something, because it's... You didn't have to pre-sale for Grateful Dead. I didn't know Grateful Dead's coming out with something new. Ill Communication, Beastie Boys is $46.99. $46.99. There must be something new for the Grateful Dead. And Judas Priest Painkiller is $29.99. All right. Well, here's how uh, I've got to set up my laptop first. I don't want to, I don't even want, I'll start talking to you about what's about to happen. 
while I'm setting up my laptop. So this is uh, movie posters. We bought a collection. I was actually contacted about three years ago from a man not too far from here, and he, uh, his, his uh, niece, his niece Catherine, messaged me on Facebook and said, "Hey, my dad has a record collection for sale." My uncle will be in contact with you. I gave her my number. This man calls me and says, My brother, Fred Goodwin, needs to sell his record and Hollywood memorabilia collection. He has 500,000 albums and probably 100,000 pieces of Hollywood memorabilia, including movie posters, lobby cards, autographs, etc. And I said, I'll be there in the morning, which I was. And we originally, negoti uh, negotiated, a, we originally negotiated a consignment deal for the records. For about six months, I auctioned off his best records from his collection. And then we negotiated a deal for me to buy the rest of them. And that was the last consignment deal I ever did. Nothing went wrong. It's just consignment is a lot of work. If your business model's not built around consignment, people all the time want me to sell their records on consignment. And I'm like, we just can't do it. We, we'll buy them. So I bought the rest of his records. And then I started buying his movie posters. I sold a few on consignment a long time ago. Some of the stuff he had framed. He had frame posters, and we put them here in the store and just sold them locally so we didn't have to ship them. And then we negotiated a deal, one big deal for the rest of his records and all of his movie posters, which had been unresearched and untouched for decades. And uh, that's how we ended up. So I bought all this stuff years ago, and I've literally, we went and tubbed it up, we ran out of space, um, and then I went back just a few m months ago and we got some more of it, and it really revitalized Fred's collection because we hadn't touched any of this stuff in so long. It's all been in storage, and plus we went and got an, another, entire, another entire truck full, so it like completely, it completely rebooted the collection pretty much, so... I'm going to peek in some of these and just try to get posters. I don't want to do a lot of lobby cards right off the bat, so I'm going to peek in some of these and see what's in here. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing tonight. So if you're new, that's you're going to be seeing some really cool stuff. Most of these are originals. He also had thousands of prints where he uh, did uh, just like uh, press photos of people, and he would print them and sell them and sell them to... Uh, antique malls, and that's how I originally met Fred. He actually knew who I was. He, I bought stuff from him before, so stuff being uh, prints, and I have some of those prints. I was actually going to show them tonight, see if anybody wants any uh, like reproduction stuff. But these are our original movie posters here, and tonight I think we're going to run to some really good titles. If you're interested in something, just comment the name of the movie or something to let me know you're interested. I'll price it to you. You can buy it or you can pass. Paul Newman is Harper. Paul Newman is Harper. First movie poster. This is Harper. Now, I'm going to be over here getting comps. I use Heritage as a reference. They're a major auctions collectible house. They're probably the biggest collectibles auction house in the country as far as this pure volume. And uh, then I use eBay, a thing called TerraPeak, which TerraPeak is a database that eBay now charges for. If you subscribe to eBay stores, it goes back three years, sold results. And so if, um, if you're looking for something rare and it hadn't been on there in three years, you might want to do further research. But three years is a... Uh, Three years after three years, prices may change or trends may ch change. So I usually say f older than five years, it's 
not even a good reference, especially if it's something rare. I've seen stuff sell f 10 years ago for 30000 and then it sells 10 years later, and it brings 800000 Really rare stuff, expensive, high-end stuff. So, Okay. So, Golden sold eBay. Yeah, that's right, Golden. That's the, pe that's the people who had a TV show. So there's our first poster, Harper. If nobody is interested, I'll fold it back up and we'll move on. All right, and I'm going to have lots of empty envelopes tonight, so let me go ahead and be starting a pile for those. Everybody awake? All the poster roll call for the poster collectors. I was trying to tag everybody. I need to set up a chat or maybe even a whole new group now that this is really growing. And uh, here's a prime example of why not to use resellable FedEx envelopes. Uh, all right. I know what some of y'all got your eyes on. That was the Steve McQueen and the Paul Newman packet. So that'll be coming up shortly, just to be on your toes. We won't get into those right away, but I'll mix it in pretty soon. I like getting to the good stuff right away. This is the Family Jewels, Jerry Lewis. The Family Jewels with Jerry Lewis. That is an original one sheet from 1965. The Family Jewels, Jerry Lewis. I'll try to be fast tonight. Some of these I kind of use intuition, but uh, I did that the first night I did this. And <laughs> first night we did this, about a month ago, I was pricing stuff just on the fly, and I, I marked a couple really cheap. $25 on this. $25 on this. I've, I know for sure, though, I've still let some deals slip through. If I wasn't giving out deals, y'all wouldn't tune in. Brent Ribley, you were first. He said sold. See how easy that is? $25. I'm going to put it back in a sleeve, too. I'm going to try to re reuse as many of these sleeves as possible. That's sold to Brent, $25. Shane and Jetstream, hopefully we can run across another. Let's see what we have here. I think this said living it up partner. Dean Martin, Jerry Lee Lewis, Living It Up and Partners. I think we've had this before. It's like a double feature, Living It Up and Partners. Everybody tune in for the Masters tomorrow night. I had a feeling Scotty Scheffler would be leading, but I was hoping Bryson played a little bit better, so it'd be Scheffler and DeChambeau in that final group, but not Jerry Lee, yes, not Jerry Lee, Jerry Lewis, not the killer, the actor-comedian, Brent, $25, Brent's already passed, Jetstream second, Jetstream, nice, no pinholes, no condition notes, $25 on that, $25 on that. Jetstream. Look at Jetstream's YouTube profile. Is that Dean Martin I see? <laughs> sure, I was about to say. I think you're going to like this packet because I think we're in the Jerry Lee, the Jerry Lewis, man. I have sold so many Jerry Lee Lewis records, it's hard for me not to say Lee. Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin packet. And I think I'm going to, I may show some lobby cards, but... I'm, uh, 
I'm going to try to skip over a lot of lobby cards and just do posters. Nothing wrong with lobby cards, but it will, we'll do those either. I'll make some of them in. Jerry Lewis, don't give up the ship. Jerry Lewis, don't give up the ship. But as y'all see, this man Fred, incredible, a person could accumulate this much stuff. $25, Brent. Nice. Uh, does it have pinholes? Very small pinholes, and that's it. Actually, just up at the top, there's none at the bottom. There's one at the bottom center, it looks like. $25. Nice colors. He said sold. I mean, I've accumulated a lot here running a business, but I'm buying and reselling. You know, of course, he was doing other stuff, too, for like reselling um, prints and posters, but um, I mean, I've accumulated this entire stores pack plus everything in my personal collections, but it's amazing uh, the volume this person accumulated here. Let's see what we have here. We have, I'll do this lobby card. So my friend Irma, 10 bucks. My friend Irma, 10 bucks. Did he have band posters? Uh, yeah, we found some stuff like that, but he didn't really specialize in it. Mostly movie posters. Uh, we still got all kinds of band posters in the back, though, like the ones we've been auctioning. We, we're going to get back to that next week. We've took like two weeks off so they could get caught up in shipping. Here's a Life magazine. Is that Dean? I think that's Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis. Yeah, Martin. Yeah, top, top money act in showbiz. Uh, 1951, $15, Life Magazine. $15 on Life Magazine. Always amazing to look through these. 1951, wow. I saw a submarine there. I was about to say this probably has, usually all these from the 50s have some kind of Cold War article. You know, something about Russia or biological warfare. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. That's $15. Jetstream, if you want that, I'm going to sell it to you. There's my friend Irma lobby card for 10 and let's see what else was next here. I don't think that's anything. And then let me set that off to the side. And here we go. Looking for posters. This looks like a three sheet. Which is a big poster. It looks like part of a three sheet. It is commit yourself, but it's only part of it. Maybe the rest of it's behind it here. Commit yourself. That's only part of it. And that's all I see actually. So I'll just keep an eye out for the rest of that. It may be in this packet. If not, that's pretty unfortunate. The thing about these three sheets, it's amazing some of them have stayed together. They're these that's in like two and three different parts. The big mouth. The big mouth. Jerry Lewis, the big mob versus the big mouth. It does have some damage down here. It's got a rip right here. It has a rip. It has a little bit of a frayed edge up here. Top uh, center right has a hole there and it has a rip corner. 15 bucks. Jet strings first. 15 bucks on that because of the condition. Still presents pretty well. Jess Room says sold. Don't raise the bridge, lower the river. I'll open that up as soon as I put this away for Jet Stream for $15. That's the big mouth.
Don't raise the bridge, lower the river. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, Jetstream, I'll do 25 on this one. Very nice. No pinholes, excellent condition. So to Jetstream. Jetstream, this is your pack. You're owning this packet. What's the Cool Hand Luke poster? So far, yeah, Cool Hand Luke has been the most expensive one we've sold. Uh, $1,175. Okay, there's some miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to put all that over here. Just try to keep posters rolling. So there's a, some miscellaneous stuff. I'll do that in just a second. It's actually more Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, so I'll come back to that. And let me go ahead and grab this first packet here and see what it says. Take a look in here. I really can't make out what he wrote on here, so let's let's find out. Huh. I think what he wrote on here is not actually what's in here, so let's see. Let's see what the poster is. Let's see what this is. I don't know. Let's open this up right quick. Hmm, looks like cool graphics. Mega Force? Metallica? Wow. It's cool graphics for sure. Mega Force. One sheet rolled, one sheet folded. This is $55. Who is in this movie? That's a cool poster. Okay. He okay, I see what this is. How how need him. How need him. Okay, yeah, that's what he wrote. How need him. He wrote how need him on the packet. How need him. Uh, who's first? Michael Ruttman. You're first, then Shane, then Ryan Anderson. $55 on that. Uh, Michael, and then Shane, then Ryan Anderson. Also, not to get off subject, but is the plan to auction off all the players' eight pitchers? Yeah, that is, uh, those are most likely, this, this Cincinnati, or this Kansas City collection is wild. Um, it is, once again, an entire batch of records that are probably most likely all going to have to end up on the auction block. Um, it's stuff that would be even difficult to for us to mark. It'd be like a crate of air horn stuff. I'm trying to get this poster folded back correctly too. So yeah, that's a wild... Um, I think maybe this was folded in like this. Yeah. Nope. Maybe it was like this. There we go. So that was, um, that's Michael Ruckman's for $55. Let's see if there's, an, maybe there's another one for everybody else. But um, what we've been having problems with, with these collections, let's remember how that's folded like that. Okay. Oh, wow. Smokey and the Bandit 2. Smokey and the Bandit 2. We've been running problems with these great collections. Everything is like stuff we need to auction, and we're having, we're actually having trouble just finding collections with straight 
albums we can just price. Like, I'm actually running low on, like, Foreigner and Steely Dan and REO Speedwagon. I know that's hard to believe, but we've literally sold all that kind of stuff, and people still want it, and we can't find collections with just, like, regular classic rock albums, like Genesis or always use Foreigner and REO Speedwagon as an example, or Kansas, that kind of stuff. We've had a we have a real shortage of it right now on the back. Everybody's keeping asking for it. Where's the where's the old stuff? Where's the Rolling Stones and the the Kansas albums? I was like, we don't have any. We've sold them all, and uh, we're buying these collections, and uh, nobody really has it in their collection either. So all that stuff is really uh, we're having trouble finding it. Uh, Smoking the Bandit. This is going to be. Um, I'm looking at a lot of different comps here. It's one of these like auction types where they've brought a lot of different prices, but I think I've sold one before for $55 and this one's $55. It is an original Smokey and the Bandit 2, $55. $55 on Smokey and the Bandit 2. $55. And the first person was, um, Brent? Shane, Ryan, Michael, Brent, Shane, Michael, yeah, Brent, Shane, Ryan, Michael. So Brent's got dibs, then Shane, I guess SM was Smokey, and uh, sold if I didn't get that before. Oh boy. Well, uh, I don't know if I can tell you that or not. Uh <laughs> I'll go ahead and call it sold to you for fifty-five dollars. I don't know if I have. Uh, I don't know. Do you have your spreadsheet handy? <laughs> All right. Let's see what this one is. The what? Kirk Douglas, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The who? The villain? I think that says the villain. No, yeah, the villain. Excuse me. Oh boy, I'm already yawning. Uh, did you see? So yes, Michael Rutman got Mega Force, and then Curtis put Kill Seal. I think for villain. Villain. Let me look this up. Looks like V I L L A I N for villain or villain. That's not right. All right. And what year is this? That's going to be a. You can't just search villain. That's a broad. 1979. Can't be yawning. We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, the villain. Columbia, 1979. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Curtis, you're first, and then Michael Ruttman. Curtis, $20, then Michael Ruttman. Okay. Curtis said so, $20. There's lobby cards. I'm going to skip over those. Lobby cards. Skip over those. I think this was really popular. I did get it. All right. So, Brent, pass on Smokey. Shane Devers, do you want Smokey and the Bandit for $55? Cannonball Run. Shane said sold. All right, so let me pull that out. Okay, I'm pulling. So for whoever's, I think Tanner's going to be rewatching this sale. So Tanner, I'm going to pull out Smokey and put it back on top. This time to Shane Deaver's $55. And then there's Cannonball Run 2. Let's get this over here. Cannonball Run 2. Why did it sign me out? Now... I know we pick on Seth a lot, but he is a pretty picky collector. This is $25, by the way. I think the first person was Brent. Brent, Curtis, 
Michael, Dave, Shane, and Daniel. $25, Brent. They do pick on Seth a lot, right? But he is a pretty specific collector of records and posters. He collects records and posters himself. He just, pers uh, he just made a big purchase on a poster. Curtis Marachi, uh, your second. Brent passes. $25 on that. Curtis, if you want it. He said so. Seth just bought an original Back to the Future rolled for $1,500. He's like, I've been wanting one for a while. I'm pulling the trigger. And I was like, that's what they cost. If you want a nice rolled one, they're $1,500. So uh, I, I, he asked if I thought there was one back here in one of these tubes. And I was like, no, I don't think so. So uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, I think this is press materials. I think those are press materials y'all will very, I saw one y'all will very much be interested in. Let me set it off to the side though. And here in a minute, I'm going to have to bring out some more, uh, some of this miscellaneous stuff. I'm just trying to hit posters first off the bat. So here we go. So Curtis got that. I'll go ahead and show this. Curtis, you may want this. It's the Cannonball 2 press kit. $10. It's the Cannonball Run 2 press kit. We'll do it for $10. $10 if you want it. I'll put it back in this baggie Fred had it in if you do want it. I've got some expensive Bond posters. There's a lot more that I want, but I it's it's hard to track some of them down. And then if they're up for auction, y'all are really in a great format buying some of these tonight the way you are. Because, man, some of these auctions, I, on eBay, I never, I get, these bots always beat me. I mean, I've put in some huge, massive bids on some of these, and I get outbid. You know, I'll, I'll bid eighteen hundred dollars on something and like no way somebody outbids me and a bot beats me somebody it'll be like eighteen hundred and seventy eight dollars somebody somebody got me i like buy it nows i do like auctions though it's very fun whether you're running it or whether you're participating in it. Awesome. I now know the significance of this. The Wrecking Crew. Thanks to Sean Jones. He educated me a lot on this, especially for the post he just made on it. I wonder if Sean's watching tonight. Let's do most recent. So I didn't realize it was Sharon Tate. And then I also didn't realize it was uh, something, it has something to do with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but I hadn't caught that connection quite yet. Folded one sheet, 69, 212. And I think the last one, I very much underpriced. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, it's an original one sheet. Yeah, see, I think I looked at a day bill. <laughs> a day bill, which is 13 inches by 29, sold for $41. I think that's the first thing I looked at, and then I didn't pay any more attention. Because the next folded one sold for 212 and then the one after that sold for 252. So I didn't pay attention to actually where it says like one sheet. So this is uh, this is nice too. This is really nice. $175. $175 on this. Very, very nice wrecking crew. Uh it's got obviously it's folded, but there's no rips and no tears. And that is a hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's a very nice poster, as y'all can see, all the way around. No rips, no tears. 
It's even got a nice stamp on it, 175. And the first person of that was Michael Ruckman, Brent Robley, Ryan Anderson, and Jet Stream. 175 on that. And that is Michael, Brent, and Ryan. Very cool poster. Sean framed his. It looked amazing. These look amazing after you get them framed and pressed. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, you're never too young. You're never too young. All right, this is uh, this is thirty dollars. Jet stream. This is nice, nice condition too, and I think that's a really good price from what I just saw. But thirty dollars if you want that one. Brent gets the wrecking crew for one seventy five. Sell Brent the wrecking crew for one seventy five. Jet stream gets young for thirty. Those are sold. All right, those are sold. Okay, let's see what I got over here. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. I hope that what's written on this pack is actually in here. There's only one way to find out. Let's go through it. Hmm, this one has writing on the top of it. It is how to frame a flag. But it has writing on it. But there is another one after this one. So let me go ahead and fold this one away. That's Don Knotts. I'm going to put that one away. Let's open up another one. How to frame a flag. This one's much better. Runaway hilarity when Don Knotts runs down City Hall in search of the buried secrets of a gang of crooked politicians. Oh, it does say fig. How to frame a fig. Where did I come up? I think the stamp said flag, didn't it? Hold on a second. I was reading the stamp. No, that does say fig. I thought I saw flag. Okay. That's me saying something that I'm not seeing. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. I don't see anybody interested in them, so I'll keep moving on. We got three of them. All right. Oh boy. Hope everybody's watching the screen. Oh boy. This is the whole the whole reason I I brought this tub up here. This is the whole reason I brought this up here. I have found it. I was like, I really, really hope that this is in here. All righty, this one looks pretty dang good. It's got two pinholes at the top. Wow. All right. I think, I know what the last one's so for. I'm going to check one more time, see if anything new's popped up. And I think this one's pretty dang similar. Uh, 
Uh, the last one I saw it, I was like, man, this is a really good deal. So, All right, so um, let's see what's going on here. Uh, let me flip it over on the back. You can tell a lot more about it when you flip it over the back. I don't see any other pinholes except those two that's up there at the top where it looks like it was hung. I'll show those in just a second. I don't think this is staining. Right here. Uh, I kind of, yeah, I guess I can see what you're talking about here. Kind of hard to see. This right here. And then, oh, that's nice. No, no rips or anything. And then here's the two pinholes at the top, which is right here and right here. So those 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 two pinholes right there, looks like that's where it was. Uh, that's where it was probably hung. So uh, it's the same price as the other one. Same price as the other one. This one's nice. I mean, it presents very well. I see what you're talking about right here, but I mean. I don't think it really it takes away from the look of it. The price is one thousand. One hundred and seventy five dollars. One thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars. Who was first? Uh, Brent, Debbie, Ryan, Dave Boyer, and Pamela Yeager. $1,175. Same price Lillian paid for the last one. one one seven five. Cool Hand Luke. Okay, next poster. We'll see who determines what they want to do on that. Until they sell... Wow. Until they sell, 1957, Paul Newman. Until they sell. Nineteen fifty seven. Original one sheet. This is Brent and then Pamela. $30. Very nice condition for 1957. Very nice condition. Has one piece of tape here on the back because of this right there, which is kind of when you flatten it out. You get what I'm saying. Uh, Pamela, you're second. Brent's first. Brent said sold on Cool Hand Luke. Well, I had four air horns tonight for records, I think. Let's see, we had Metallica Black Album, Ride the Lightning, Alice in Chains, and I think there was, was there another air horn for a record? No More Tears? Did No More Tears get the 500? No. Let's see here. Let me look at the picture I posted. I've almost forgot, but we're about to bring it out again for Cool Hand Luke. Let's see, Alice in Chains... I guess it was his three air horns. Did Cypress? No, it wasn't Cypress Hill. I can't remember. But Cool Hand Luke. Brent glitched the last time. If y'all wasn't watching, he glitched and he wanted this the last time, and his comment didn't even show up. And Lillian got it, the last one for 1175 I opened this tub. And the first thing I saw was this Paul Newman packet. And I was like, wow. And Fred had wrote, Cool Hand Luke. I was like, wow. 
there could be another Cool Hand Luke in here. I didn't know. I was hoping whatever was in the pack, it was actually in there. And now this is so DeBrent. And now we got to bring out the air horn for either the fourth or fifth time for tonight's show because it's a purchase of 500 or more. And this is sold to Brent Robley, 1,175. That's a late night air horn. I bet there's some people asleep just like, what just happened? They just fell out of their recliner. All right, that's sold to Brent for 1,175. And then we're also gonna sell him until they sell for 25. And we're gonna keep rolling with the Paul Newman stuff. Pretty cool stamp on the back of this one. Theater Poster Service, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. All right. That's a pretty serious poster. Let's keep rolling here with this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Cool Hand Luke 3 Sheet. Wow. Gracious. What does that look like? What does that look like? Give me a second on this one before I try to open it up. The three sheet. Well, if it's a British quad, the British quad sold for $5,040. That's a very expensive one. One sheet, window card, one sheet, insert, trim door panel, a rolled 40 by 60, press book, folded, a valance, a window card, horizontal Belgian, one sheet. They're they're getting those po they're getting the one sheets for great prices. There's a bunch on here that have sold for over two thousand dollars. There's the three sheet. Wow, is that a U.S. though? Yeah, last one sold uh, three years ago. Um, okay, this I'm going to have to, I'm going to fold it open over here. I don't know how I can do this because this is going to be pretty delicate. Who is anybody, before I do this, Ryan Anderson? Ryan is interested. This is the three sheet to Cool Hand Luke, which looks like a pretty incredible poster from what I just saw an image of. It's in two different pieces. It's not perfect by no means. Let me figure out how they folded this. So you can at least see a picture of what's going on here at the bottom. It's not perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the art and... Is there another piece to it? Yeah, there's another piece that goes up here where it connects. Up at the top, it's supposed to say the man and the motion picture that simply do not conform. So the whole poster has the whole poster has ink and color to it. So yeah. That gives you an idea. And then there's another piece here right here. We just found another one sheet and then here is a three sheet. Here's the other piece. I don't want to unfold that. You get, you get what I'm saying here. <laughs> this has some issues with it, but man, I mean, uh, this one sold three years ago. 
They graded it fine, very fine. Let me see what they consider there. It's got color breaks. It doesn't have any holes like this one does. But it doesn't look like that one comes up for sale too often. So because of the condition, uh, but also because of the, uh, because of the condition, but also because of the um, rarity, I'm going to price this one the exact same as the other one, which is $1,174. The last one sold, I see, for $1,320. So, um, $1,174. I don't think anybody actually claimed that they were interested in it, but now that you know the price, you may change your mind and say, you know what, Chad, go ahead and give me three of those. So, yeah. All right, so that's a three sheet. I'm going to take this over here. That might be something I need to, well, if no one buys it soon, I may have to send it to Heritage. All right. Let's set that there. Let me put it back in this. All right. Next. I knew this pack would take a while. I knew this one would take a while. We hadn't even got to one of the Steve McQueen packets yet. When time ran out, when time ran out, And there's another one, when time ran out. So there's two of those. Two of those. And this was earlier. That was the how to frame a fig. I'm going to put those back away. No interest in those. Put those back in there. Okay, and then we had... Uh, Cool Hand Luke with writing on it. Dang. What did they write on this thing? Somebody, some kid has wrote something on it. I'd walk a mile for a camel. Frame Kuhan Luke. Oh boy, that would be an expensive frame. It cost a thousand dollars. It would cost a thousand dollars to frame it. Well, there's a budget Kuhan Luke because it has some writing on it, so. I'd walk a mile for a camel. Ah, oh, camel cigarettes. Gotcha. Is it in pen or pencil? It's in pencil. So, yeah. But it's not going to come off perfectly, though. Uh, it is in pencil. Yep. It's a thought bubble. It starts right there on his temple. It's like some curly lines. And then there's that. So. Uh, man, I don't know. I mean, that's still an awesome poster. That's a great budget one. Uh, as in, it's going to be a little bit less probably. I can't believe there's been three Cool Hand Lukes in here, though. Ryan did say LU. Uh, um, 
Ryan, $1,000. $1,000 on that one because I don't know how easy that make can actually come off. If it does come off pretty nice, it's another really cool, a really nice poster. But, uh, yeah. This is the, dr uh, the drowning pool. If a budget's $1,000. I was calling it a budget poster. And I just priced it for $1,000. The drowning pool. Uh, Twenty dollars, Brent. Twenty dollars, Brent. Sold. Uh, Cur Curtis, was you interested in a uh, fig? How to frame a fig? Curtis Marachi. If so, I'll pull one of those back out. Ford Apache, the Bronx. The Ford Apache, the Bronx. Okay, box back on. Now, I think I left off. I don't know if y'all heard me. Uh, Brian, I priced Ford Apache for twenty dollars, and then Ryan, I said I see I seen your um, yeah Ford Apache was twenty dollars, and then uh, Ryan, I said I seen your offer. Let me think about it, and then Curtis Marachi also wants a Ford Apache. I said I have several. If anybody wants one, they're twenty dollars. They all look very nice. I have a feeling Brent's going to get one. I have a feeling Curtis is going to get one, but I'll keep them right there on the edge and pending. And then there's more if anybody else. Let's get out one of those how to frame a figs for Curtis. And Curtis, those were going to be $30. The Don Knotts poster. This one's nice, it looks like. $30. No, nope, that's the one that had writing. Let me find you that best. I think it was the second one I opened. The second one I opened was the best one. So Curtis and Brent both sold on Ford Apache, the Bronx, for 20 and 20. And then here's the one, Curtis, I would do for 30. Just pinholes in the corners, that's it. Curtis, I did 25. Sold. All right, let me pull back up Cool Hand Luke over here. Let me be doing some research. And then there's another uh, When Time Ran Out. Nobody was interested in that one earlier. When Time Ran Out. So there's another one of those. Okay, let me open up a new packet. I think it's time for me to grab one of these that say Steve McQueen. How do y'all think? What do y'all feel about that? What do y'all? How do y'all feel about that is what I'm trying to say.
I think the other day when I looked up Cool Hand Luke, there was like um, folded, very fine minus. Um, I'm thinking, Ryan. Chad, by the way, my birthday is Monday. Hmm. Trying to throw some. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, let's do this one actually first. Paul Newman duplicates. Wow. I wonder what's in here. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So that movie originally came out in 1969. This is a 1973. So this isn't technically the one sheet, the original one sheet. This is a reissue from 1973. It looks a lot better than the other one, I think. I think it looks like the other one maybe sells for a little bit more, but this one's... Let's see what they included with this one. And a Midnight Cowboy. Okay. So yeah, $45. $45 on this. So this is from 1973, 74. Uh, $45. $45. There's something taped to the back. There's something taped to the back. It doesn't affect it. Unless that just bothers you. Some kind of Bambi, Walt Disney... I don't know why that was on the back, but it you can't it nothing affects it on the front, so can't see it. All right, let me figure out who was first and see if anybody already said sold. Looks like Brent was first and he's already said sold. All right. Now let me put that back in here. Wow. Okay, let me wait on those. That's I'll come back to those. <laughs> We'll wait on that for a second. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Sophia Lauren, Paul Newman, David Niven, from Pleasure to Palace to Royal Palace, Lady L. Lady L. Harry Fig. Paul Newman is Harry Frigg.
We've had Fig and now Frig. The Secret War, technically. The Secret War of Harry Frig. I'll do that for a quick $25 if anybody wants it. All right, let me go ahead and fold this open and see what see what what it beholds. Ah, it's another cool hand Luke. This packet is insane. This one has some damage right here. And it has a hole. And it has holes on the edge. It has a little bit of tattering right there. So I think definitely the other ones we've had so far been better, even the one with rotting. Ryan says he'll take a Harry Frig for $25. Sell that to Ryan for $25. But wait, there's more. There's another Cool Hand Luke. Let's see what it looks like. This one's slightly faded. And it has somebody was practicing their geometry, their uh, yeah, their geometry on it up here. It looks like they were trying to draw hexagons. So that one's got some fading, and this is an in ink up here at the top. So that's not going away. That's not going away. Ron. Um, the one with writing, I think I said a thousand, you said 800, I'll do $900. And I think this is the next best one. And you may be able to make it even better because if you can get that off, these are nice. These cool hand Luke's in very nice condition. It's a $2,000 poster. These are obviously got some damage. I mean, look, Fred probably 30 years ago had $125 written on him 30 years ago. So I just noticed that he wrote 125 in pencil. So this was a popular poster even back when he was probably wheeling and dealing some of these in the in the 90s and early 2000s, maybe even in the 80s. So um but yeah, 900 on the one with the uh cigarette writing on it, whatever he wrote on there. And I have a lobby card, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And Ryan, that's a birthday gift for $900. You might as well think that's a birthday gift. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 10 bucks. But I think you could work on that, uh, 10 bucks on that, Kyle. I think you could take a eraser. I would be very careful. You don't want to accidentally rip the paper or something, but... Man, just get it on a kitchen table and go to work on it and get some of that off. You know, $900. And you get the air horn. And you get the air horn. Because so far, unless there's another one in this packet, I think the other two there are nowhere near as good as that one. This is called Blaze. Blaze, Paul Newman and Blaze, a governor, a stripper, forced to choose between the office. Brent said Blackberry, but he meant Blaze. Hmm, Blackberry Cobbler. Okay, let me text my mom and ask her if she can make some Blackberry Cobbler for the Masters. $15, Brent. $15. All right, we got a couple big sales to do here. We have Butch Cassidy, sold to Kyle for 
And we make sure this is the right cool hand Luke for Ryan. We're bringing out the air horn tonight again, folks. Cool hand Luke. I don't want to handle it too much. Let me just make sure this is the right one. Let me peek inside of it here. Yep, this was this one. Actually, let me go ahead and make sure. I don't want to tag it and then ship it. And Ryan is like, you sent me the wrong cool hand Luke. This is the right one here. All right. Another cool hand Luke. What a find. Glad I opened this tub up earlier. I got here at 5 o'clock. I said, Paul, I'm going to the back to find tonight's posters. I still got to go through the other stuff left in the first tub, the one we've been working on. I'm going to have to condense them after the night. Let's bring out the air horn. Ron, are you now in the air horn club? So do Ron Anderson. And a happy birthday. $900. Cool hand Luke. Amazing. Crazy finds. That's true. Hide your ears and plug up your pets. And it's almost time for another air horn. That's so to Ryan. And for $15, Cool Hand Luke is $900. Blaze is $15 to Brent Robley. All right. Um, let's see. Let's do some lobby cards. This might be a set. Paul Newman in the time, the life and times of Judge Roy Bean. Judge Roy Bean. We got number five. We got number six. We got number eight. We have a no, that's a different movie. Not bad. This is a different movie. This is Pocket Money. Pocket Money, Paul Mo uh, Newman and Lee Marvin. Pocket Money. Um Pocket Money and Exodus. Wow. That was a popular poster. That uh that was one of the first ones. That was one of the first big posters we found. Um or probably bigger money posters. Do y'all remember those? Whoever got those? Exodus. Here's the lobby cards. They were uh great artwork on those. Saul Bass. Yeah. I gotta stop this yawning. All right, sell these to Brent, $15 for both of them. Pamela, you're second. All right, um, didn't we have this earlier? Let's see here. It's 15 more Cool Hand Lukes. I'm joking. I think, okay, yeah, this is what I just saw Curtis. Yeah, it's more, yeah, that's the Don Knotts. Paul Newman must be in this too. How to frame a fig. Yeah, there's several more of those. How to frame a fig. If anybody's interested, there's several more. And there's another one. And there's another Lady L. This packet was called Paul Newman Duplicates, so that makes sense. We had extra Cool Hand Lukes. Uh, there's another Lady L. Nobody was interested in that earlier. There's another Lady L. Please be more, more Cool Hand Lukes in here. There is a press advertising press kit to sometimes a great notion. Advertising press kit. Paul Newman, Henry Fonda, sometimes a great notion. Oh boy, we were just talking about this. Exodus. Here's the original one sheet. Exodus. That's going to come off, it looks like, I think. We hadn't even got to a Steve McQueen pack yet. I've got to pull one of them. Well, actually, the first one I pulled out was all lobby cards. That's what I, that was the very first packet of Steve McQueen stuff. So yeah, it was actually lobby cards, folded one sheet, folded. Uh, okay, I'll kind of average these out. One was very fine. Actually, the very fine plus so for less. Just about a month in between. I'll kind of split the difference on those, and this is $95. $95 on Exodus. 
It does have some like, I don't want to call it, I guess it is staining, but it has some kind of spots up here. Um, and then there's a spot there. I thought that's something that looks like, it looks like dust almost. A lot of it's rubbing off. So it looks like it's dust on this. $95. Uh, looks like it was Brent, Pamela, Shane. I think everybody's passed. Okay. I think. Yeah, everybody has passed. One sold for, one had sold for 70 Seven and one had sold for 149, but that's 95. And then there's another Lady L. Okay, so there's two Cool Hand Lukes back there, which are not in the best of condition, but they're probably going to be even cheaper than those other ones. If anybody's interested, there they are. Uh, okay, I'll read you some of the packets in here. I'm I'm trying to find a Steve McQueen movie poster packet, so let me read what some of these say. And I hadn't got to the bottom, so I don't know what else is in here. That says Steve McQueen. There we go. That says Steve McQueen. There's another Paul Newman. I'm, look, I'm liking some of the names I see on there as far as movies. There is a uh, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis lobby card pack. There's another Paul Newman pack. Uh, here's a stray poster. I don't know what it is. I'll look it up and I'll open it up in just a second. I will show that in just a second. Let me hide it though so y'all don't look at it. I'll show that in just a second. Uh, there's another Paul Newman packet. There's Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, Paul Newman, Mexican posters. We'll take a look at that probably first. Ooh, that could be good. I'm putting that face down. I feel like a blackjack dealer. Walter Matthew. Now, this is the part. I hadn't got to this part yet. Joel McRae. Joel McRae. Haley Mills. Shirley McLean. We're in the M's for sure. We're in the M and N's. Musicals, that could be pretty cool. Musicals. Walter Matthew, Matthew. Jane Mansfield. Man from Uncle, that could be cool. There might be something there I want. Bill Murray. And, ooh. Oh, boy. Jack Nicholson. Let me read what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just put that one on the bottom. Let's put Mr. Nicholson down on the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's not get crazy here. It's already, it's already 1230. I'll put that one down on the very bottom so we don't get to it tonight. All right, let's see what's in this. But let's first see what's in this. <laughs> this is Thunder Road Lobby Cards. Robert Meacham. Ugh, tape. We got a box cutter over here. I don't want to mess this up. Jack Nicholson. I've cut myself before live on Facebook during a knife sale. Oh great, there's only one thing in there. I did all that. There's only one card. Now I can get it back in here. I cut off the tape, so I thought there was more than one in there. 
Thunder Road. And I'm doing all this and no one's even said anything, so. Okay, so there's that, and then there's another one. Okay, well, all that for nothing. That's okay. Those are pretty cool. That was Thunder Road Lobby Card in this FedEx packet. Let's put that over there. And I'm curious what this is. Boy, this looks like it's... It said Mexican poster, and that's exactly what's going on here. This is some kind of foreign film, obviously from Mexico. Really cool graphics. And let me try to figure out what's going on here. Obviously, I can't read any of that. Roberto Guzman. Falco? El, El Prodrino. This might be hard to find. Very interesting, though. I don't know what the actual name of the movie is. I guess it's L. Can somebody translate all that for me right quick into Google? Or is there anybody watching that speaks Spanish? Henry Paredes, The Godfather is my friend. Is that what it says? The Godfather is my friend. Okay. Thank you. I'm, ass I'm assuming Henry Paredes can definitely sp speak and read Spanish. Padrino. Okay, well, there's not definitely not one there, so let me try a different outlet here. Let me use old Terra Peak for the first time tonight. So yeah, El Parito definitely translates to The Godfather because I just searched that on eBay and all the Godfather stuff pulled up. <laughs> it's me, Padre. That all makes sense. I had, to, uh, in college, I found out I had to take uh, a Spanish and I, I literally changed major. So I was like, oh boy, I, I can't do this. I, I don't have time. I didn't think else I can kind of like, eh, all right, I can get through this without, but I knew if I had to take Spanish, I was like, all right, this is really going to take, I'm really going to have to like sit down and learn this. This isn't going to work. So I was trying to run a business. Well, I think that is the actual movie. <laughs> there is the actual movie, Rare MDVC Mexican. Uh, Looks like a VHS tape. It's sold for $25. Yeah, this is going to be impossible to find. It's not on Heritage. It's not in Terra Peak. So let's go to what is not a good thing to look up, which is just a Google search. And it's pulling up lots of Godfather because it thinks I'm searching Godfather stuff. In Spanish. Um, Brent, it's kind of, oh no. I'll sell it for $30. And uh, that's just, I'm just throwing something out there. It's kind of tattered at the bottom, but it's really delicate, like that kind of thin, almost like newspaper. Uh, type material very very thin so it's I'm amazed it survived as thin as it is in the colors and she does have a little bit of a tear there in her rear end and a little bit of a tear there but, uh, $30 and it was anybody else and then Ryan Anderson Boy, it's gonna be hard to even fold back. This is like delicate. 
I think it was horizontal first. Nope. Brent says he's at 15. So, Ryan. It's kind of up to you. You can let me know. Put that back in a sleeve for sure. Ryan says he's at 20. I found the movie too. I searched that. I searched the title. I found it on International Movie Database. So kind of like a quick offering war here. Ryan says he's at 20. I'm going to sell it to somebody. Quick offer war. That was the only thing in there. I think Brent was all in at 15. So we'll say going twice, going three times to Ryan. All right, let me see what this is. This was a random item in the tub that wasn't in an envelope. And it was Dudley Moore and Mary Steenbergen romancing comedy. Romancing comedy. Fred must not... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm yawning right in y'all's ear. That's very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. No yawning allowed. Oh, romantic. Sorry. As you can see, my brain is failing. I have stayed... I've got very little sleep trying to watch the Masters and keep up with my new, normal duties. This is sold to Ryan Anderson for $20. I'm amazed I've been able to do these the last couple of nights. And then we have, this is what I was put face down earlier, uh, the Towering Inferno uh, press kit. The Towering Inferno press kit. $10 if anybody wants it. Towering Inferno press kit. Now, let's open up this first Steve McQueen. Hopefully it's posters. It is. Goodness. I was worried. I was like, oh, man. We've built up all the Steve McQueen suspense, and there was only lobby cards. All right. Uh, Henry Passes. Brent, $10 on that if you want it. Henry Passes. Let's see what we got in here. Mr. McQueen. The Thomas Crown Affair. The Thomas Crown Affair. Wow. So what is the best Steve McQueen movie? Let's take a poll among the active viewers. What is the best Steve McQueen movie? In your opinion. I'm going to have to get educated by y'all's opinions. This poster is all over the place. Why did this one bring a lot more? Just an outlier, possibly? Man. All right, let me look at some of these other ones. This is a... Pretty pricey poster. It's definitely over a hundred, but I do have a few more, and I want to. I want to see kind of what we have here. Okay. 
Okay, that one's got some holes in it. Let me set that one aside. That one's not perfect. I think this, I think Fred kind of ranked these things. Sometimes the one on top is usually like the best. Le Mans, I forgot about that one. Okay, that one's not bad. I'm gonna lay that one there. And I, I'm glad I have this many because I think this one's nice. It, it feels very crisp and it looks white and untouched and oh, it has some writing right there. Well, sorry, I gotta. I'm gonna open all these because. It's an ex, it's a very, okay, that one's good. So these, these two here are really nice, that one and that one. I'm gonna try to find like the, probably the most expensive one, one as far as grade, and then we can go down the line, and then we can come back and price the cheaper ones. That one's okay, but it has pinholes. I'm gonna put it over there and price, price point number two. And then there's a three sheet of the same movie. So these two are probably going to be next price point. And then those will be a, probably even a lower price point. I'll have to look at them one more time. And then there's two, what appears to be like no rips, no tears, no rotting. And let me read you all some prices. These are for sold one sheets, folded, originals, just like this. 114 432, 180, 124, 164, 186, 336, 180, 234. You get what I'm saying? And these are the two best ones of the lot. So uh, $145 on those. $145 on those. And the first people in order were Shane Devers, Brent Ribley, Pamela Yeager, Kyle Gregory, Jet Stream, Kevin Jordan. So those uh, $145. And Shane, you're first. Brent said he'd take one. And then Pamela's is, uh, is next. So uh, Shane, $145. And I'm going to open them up one more time, make sure I didn't overlook anything. And... That was the first one, which I think is the best. So whoever's first sold will get that one. Shane passes. So Brent was uh, next, and he gets that one. And Pamela, I just want to make sure you are good with this one for 145 Pamela, if you can say sold. If not, I'll keep going down the line. And then, just if you're interested in one of the cheaper ones possibly, just be on standby. Yep, that one's great too. Just be on standby. I'll just redo the order later, and they'll obviously be less than 145. So, but I think Pamela. I'll just wait and confirm that. By the way, Brent, did you want the uh, Tower Inferno? Tower Inferno. Uh, Henry was first. He passed though, and then you were second. Pamela said so. So Thomas Crown Affair 145, 145, and we'll do the other one second. That's still pending. Uh, I got the other ones over here. Brent wants Tower Inferno for ten bucks. That's sold. And let's move on. I'll go. I'll do the other ones in a second. Next is Sand Pebbles. Sand Pebbles. It's got something on it. Looks like peanut butter from 80 years ago. What is that? Let 
glue. Didn't really do much damage to it. It's off now. Well, there's another strip of it right there. Whatever it is, it's popping right off. I have to sweep the floors now. I think there's another one, but there's that one. Let's see what we got here. There's another sand pebbles. That one's not bad, especially in this area. Uh, it has some tattering up here at the top. I'm trying to look at all of them first though, see if there's like a top one. I like it when they're all, we have a bunch, but they're all like the same condition. Okay, that one was the first, like, really good, nothing wrong with it. So we'll keep that one out. And then there's this one, which I think looks good. It looks like maybe it has a weird fold. I think that one's good, just has an odd crease in it. All right, so obviously that first one will uh, probably be the best one. But I hadn't even done a search yet, so let me do that right quick. I'll be quick on this one. It's not too, it's not a, uh, it's not expensive. So, uh, the good one, we'll do $40 on it. $40. And that was with Henry, Pamela, Kyle, and Jesse Hood. So $40 on that one. Pamela, I think has already said pass. So Kyle and then Jesse Hood. And that's for the best one there. Kyle said so. There's actually another one. Let's keep going down the line. Henry also said so. No, uh, Henry was first. Henry Paredes was so. Henry Paredes was first. So Henry gets that. Now, Kyle, there's another one right here in a completely separate packet. Let me see what it looks like. Uh, it looks like it has some fading. It looks like it's been hung up in a window. So Kyle, that one was sold to Henry. This was the next best one, like I said. I'll do that one for 30. And if anybody else wants a sand pebbles, next in line was Jesse Hood. So uh, Kyle or Jesse or anybody else, $30 for a sand pebbles. So Kyle, that would be the next best one right there. It just has some of that tattering on the edges. He said sold $30. All right. There was Jesse's, and then this is Kyle's. Jesse Hood also said sold. All right, Jesse, let me see if I can find that next best one. That's the one we just opened. Well, uh, actually, Jesse, that first one that had some of that stuff stuck to it was, wasn't bad. This might be the next best one, though. It's just got a weird crease in it right here, which will flatten out, especially if you're going to have it framed. But that's probably the next best one for 30 if you want that one. And it's got a dog-eared corner, but we can fix that right now. So that's up to you. And then the one that had stuff on it, which was nice, but it was just needs a little bit of work. He said, yes, bad fold. All right, sell that to Jesse Hood 30. Next new poster. Next new poster. 
This is The Hunter, Steve McQueen. The Hunter, Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen in The Hunter. $30. Kyle and then Michael. Nice one sheet. I never did read y'all's comments on what the best movie was. Great Escape, Bullets, Papillion, Papillon, however you say that. Great Escape, Get Away, Bullet, Le Mans, Cincinnati Kid. And Kyle said, sold, $30. That sold a call for $30. All right, let's put it back in a sleeve, actually. Bullet. 1969. We have found it. Bullet. Boy, this looks nice, too. Wow. All right, let me start doing some calculations. Window card. Wow. Let's say that's, I was like, why did that sell for so cheap? That's a window card. Oh boy. Wow, this one's in, let me take a look at the one we got here. It is an exceptionally nice poster, too. Let me flip it over. Oh, yeah. This is crisp. There's no rips. There's no tears. There's no pinholes. And the colors are exceptional. Man, the, the three sheets sold for three thousand a three sheet sold for three thousand dollars. <sighs> this is hard to price. There's one one so that's the window card though. The window cards are expensive and they're like like a smaller they're only a fourteen by twenty two. This one sold six months ago. It's not as nice as this one though. It's not. This one's except no color breaks or anything. This is $575. This is $575. We're going to bring out the air horn again. Very, very nice. $575. Henry, Brent, Scott, Jesse, Michael, Shane, Pamela, Ryan, Mitch, $575. First person to pass was Henry. It goes to Brent Robley. Top copy. I don't know if I've said that before of posters, but that's a nice one. 
All right, while we're thinking on that one, which it, we probably will be bringing at the air horn, because there's enough people on that list, I guarantee somebody's gonna want it. But let's see what this next poster is right quick. This thing's folded very funny. The carpet baggers. The carpet baggers. Carpet baggers. And Nevada Smith. It's a two and one. It's a two and one. I was about to say, what's going on here? Nevada. It's a two and one. It's a double feature. We hadn't even got to... Uh, uh, we hadn't even got to uh, all of our road posters. We still got to do all those. This is $25 if anybody wants it, as is. It has some tape on the bottom. Uh, let's scoot it up a little bit. It has some tape on the bottom and over there. It has a little bit of wear here. And uh, if anybody wants it, $25. Okay, let's put that over there. What was this other thing here? All right, let's go ahead and tag the Nevada, the carpet backers, Nevada Sith, the Kyle Gregory, $25. And I think I'll confirm they're debating right now, but uh, if we're... Um, I think Brent's going to end up with a boy. All right, we'll go ahead and tag it right now. Let's bring out the air horn. Five seventy-five for Bullet. I figured we'd ha when I saw we had Steve McQueen and Paul Newman. I had a feeling we'd be bringing this out a couple times tonight for the posters. So this is either the fifth. I've lost track though because I can't remember if we had it for three or four times for records. Airhorn. Thank you, Brent. Bullet's you. An exceptionally nice copy. Hide your animals. It's gonna wake some people up. It has to. We're at 102 Central Time AM. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> That's fun at uh, 102 AM. All right, that's so. Okay, well, I've been saying papillion, but evidently it's pronounced a different way. Happy Lon. How do y'all say this? <laughs> Pappy Lon. Obviously, I've never seen the movie, so, or heard anybody say it too much. Tom Jung artwork. $55. Papillon. $55. Brent. 
jet stream, so to Brent. However, there is another one. This one has a little bit of, like, uh, well, it's got a different, it's got some stains. Okay, it's got some stains too. I noticed like some different colors up in here, like a little fading or something in the white, but it has very noticeable stains too. So if anybody wants a cheap one, we'll do that one for half, pretty much less than half, $25 if anybody wants that one. $25 if anybody wants that one. This is also folded very weird. Kyle says he'll take it for $25. All right, and then we got more sand pebbles, which we had some of those left over earlier anyway. All right. There's those, and I'll just put that there. Actually, let me lay that on top of those. Okay, so next is um, well, let me do these. I'm hoping there's several of this top one. Possibly a whole set. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another three, but it's different. Seven. Okay, well, I'll just show them. Best way to do this is just show it. Cincinnati Kid. Lobby cards. Cincinnati Kid Lobby Cards. Okay, that's number eight. That's what happened there. Two, four, six, seven. There's one missing. Very unfortunate. You could track that down somewhere on the World Wide Web, though. I'll get them in order. Let me do a quick search. So, uh, Pamela, two, four, seven. Uh, these seven would be fifty-five dollars. These seven would be fifty-five dollars. All right, that's more Steve McQueen's. Let's mix it up a little. Let's do a different one.
coming attractions. This is the Bill Murray packet. If those pet oh Jesse, I'm just now seeing where you said that. Okay, give me one second on that. I know I know what you're saying now. Yeah, we had other sand pebbles. Give me one second, I'll check on those. Bill Murray. Pamela passes on Cincinnati Kid lobby cards. Nobody's interested in those. Let me pull out these sand pebbles. That was That was the one in these packets, I think. Or are they loose? Yeah, it's the one in the package. Give me one second. I'll leave them over here so I don't forget. All right. And then the other item, or the other poster in the Bill Murray packet was meatballs. Meatballs. Pretty desirable poster. Not like Frankenstein or Dracula, but one sheet, very fine, $94. One sheet, very fine, minus $61. I feel like this is about $75. Bill Murray, meatballs, $75. I've got one, I've got two. I've got two. I've got two really nice ones. Craig, Henry, Curtis, Brent, Michael, Shane, Christopher. And then I have a Bill Murray Rolling Stone magazine for $15 if anybody wants this. August 20th, 1981, Bill Murray on the cover. Bill Murray hits the beach. $15. Christopher Brusher says he'll take it. So uh, we have pass, pass, and pass on meatballs. So Michael Ruttman, Shane Devers. Christopher passes on the Rolling Stone magazine. Never mind. Uh, meatballs is 75. Let's see if Michael Ruttman or Christopher Brusha. Michael says he'll take one sold. Meatballs sold, $75. And Shane Devers, I have a feeling he'll buy the other one. We'll find out, though. Curtis said sold. Now, Curtis, you're saying sold on meatballs? Oh, hold on a second. Maybe Curtis hadn't said pass yet. Curtis hadn't said pass. The order was Henry, Curtis, Brent, Michael. And the passes were from Henry, Brent, and so Michael hadn't passed it. Actually, my bad, Shane. Michael and Curtis were next, and they both get one. My bad. The Rolling Stone magazine, to my knowledge, has not been claimed. No claims on that. Okay, that was Bill Murray. See what's in here. Well, the Jane Mansfield has one item. I think it's a gigantic, it's a very thick Life magazine. There's only one item in there. 
Jane Mansfield Life Magazine, $15. $15. What Khrushchev isn't telling, Stalin's guiltiest secret. Jane Manfield, Broadway's smartest dumb blonde. Pennies, always first quality. Man, this is whiskey. Imperial Hiram Walker. Well, that's a cool ad. Texaco. That's sold to Kevin Jordan for $15. Life Magazine sold to Kevin for $15. All right. I don't know about Jack Nicholson tonight. I feel like that'd be a good... Uh, starting point for like Monday night show, don't y'all? I am going to go ahead and show this next Steve McQueen packet. And I hope everybody is ready because I'm going to go ahead and just bring this out right now. Le Mans, 1971. Let's go straight into it. Another Steve McQueen packet. Le Mans. Le Mans. Lay. Oh boy, take a look at that. I'm pretty sure we've had one of these before. This one is in pretty dang good condition right here. Folded, 1971 one sheet, very fine minus. This one's much better than very fine minus. Fine, that's a different size, fine minus. Well, can we get a nice one here? We're back to two years ago now. Yep, this is $175. This is $175. This is extremely nice. There's no rips. There's no tears. There's no pinholes. There's no fading. Great colors. Looks great. Looks great. Perfect. $175. And the order was Henry Paredes, Brent Robley, Curtis Marachi, Kevin Jordan, Mitch, Ryan, lots of people. Pamela, you're pretty far down the list. Pamela wants it for sure. Brent is next dibs at 175. Oh boy, I think I've got a bunch of nice ones. These two here look nice. So Brent for sure gets one, 175. That's the one I unfolded right there. Now next was Curtis. Curtis has next dibs. Let's unfold another one here. That looks extremely nice. Curtis, this could be yours. Let me know because I think the next couple people there, Kevin and Pamela definitely want one. And another new one. Another brand new one. Curtis, let me know. And then let's open another one. Maybe we can get a lot of people. He said sold. All right, so next now... Josh Phillips, was that? Yo, that's jo yeah, Josh Phillips. So this is Josh Phillips if he wants it. He's next. Another nice one. So this is going to be sold to somebody. Josh, you're next in line. Sold or pass. And then, 
Kevin Jordan. So that's for sure so to Josh Phillips or Kevin Jordan. Josh Phillips or Kevin Jordan. Sold, Josh Phillips. Now, Pamela and Kevin, you're still in luck. I've got two more here, but these don't look absolutely perfect. This one may be the next best one. Let's open it up. I think the first one we sold had like a rip in it. Kind of like I'm seeing with this one. Yeah, that one's got some damage. Let's try another one. Okay, this one's much better than the last one. It just has some pinholes. Let's flip it over on the back first. So you can see it has a pinhole there and down here at the bottom, but really in the corners and on the sides, they tacked it up at the theater. So it's got pinholes on the side and in the corner. So I'll do this one for 125, 125 on this one. The, the, the first few were just exceptionally nice. So it's got pinholes. If you frame it, still very nice. Kevin Jordan's was next. He said sold 125. This is sold to Kevin Jordan. And then the next person, <laughs> if you want to start getting even cheaper, we got a home, we got a, uh, I don't think Homeland was claiming one. And then Mitch and then Ryan and then Pamela. I'll open up this last one. I think it's the less. I think it's the less of all of them, the least of all of them. And it has a rip over here, like a chunk of it missing. It's got pinhole rips. Looks like when they took it off the wall, they literally just tore it down. It's got a hole in the center. $25. I mean, it's really... I mean, it's got a big rip out of the side of it. $25, though. So, Mitch, you're next. Budget one. And then Ryan's already passed. Pamela's already passed. Michael Ruttman may want it. Jesse Hood, somebody may. It's a cheap one, $25. I'll lay it over here to the side. Maybe we'll run across some more. Who knows in this collection? Here we go. Cincinnati Kid. Nineteen sixty five. Um, Brent, this one's kind of all over the place, too. $75. Brent said sold. And Mitch said he'll take the beat up Le Mans for $25. Kevin says, Pamela, if you want the $125 one, take it. I really wanted the $175 ones. Brent and uh, let's sell Mitch Sores. That was for the kind of torn up Le Mans for 25. Guess what? Ryan Anderson or anybody else. We have another Cincinnati kid. $75. Cincinnati kid, $75. Ryan Anderson, this one can be yours.
There's another one. Guess what? We've got another one. That looks nice. We have another one that's got some tattering. We've got another one that looks like it has some tattering. We have another one that looks like it has some tattering. Ryan said sold. Let's give him that one right there for $75 on top. And then there's another Cincinnati kid. And another Cincinnati kid. 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 Is everybody sure? <laughs> Can I find about 14 people who wants a Cincinnati kid right quick? That'd be amazing. I sold somebody a three sheet one night, didn't I? Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Okay. Pamela wants to see the 125 Le Mans poster. All right. There's that. That might be hard to do, but I'll try. Um, I, um, I really... I really can't. I, I can't mess up this order right now. I've got all these like stacked and I I, I can't get these out of order. I'm going to mess something up. So I better keep that to Kevin Jordan, but we might can do something later where we can send you a picture of it or something. If I start trying to pull these out of order right now, either Rebecca or Tanner or Jake will want to shoot me. We keep these in this order and, uh, you know, Get what I'm saying? I don't want to mess anything up. If I start doing this in reverse order and then pulling them back out, because those are so similar. Because what they do is they literally take this when we're done tonight, and they flip it over, and then they just go from there. So if we start trying to... Some of those were too similar to maybe try to pull out, if y'all get what I'm saying. We got to keep that kind of neat and in order there um there's more steve mcqueen packets maybe we'll find some more lamonts um let's see here now there were some other questions here uh homeland conspiracy says he's interested in a cheaper cincinnati kid and Cincinnati Kid Bundle. I just moved to Cincy. I could give some away. Okay, so uh, let me price a cheaper one, possibly to Homeland Conspiracy. And we'll just look basically on the outside here. Some of these look very crisp, just like the first two we had. Let me go to these. Okay, I'll open this one. What did I sell the other ones for? $75. So this one. Looks like it's just a little dirty right here. And it's got a hole in his neck. So I'll sell that one for um, $25 with a hole in it. $25. I think that's going to be the cheapest one I've got. Sold to Homeland Conspiracy for $25. Uh, let's see what else we had in here. We had, uh, we had a request for Martin Lewis. Let's see what that holds. Uh, looks like we got lobby cards. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis living it up. These are living it up. Three ring circus. Hollywood or bust. The country girl. We had those the other night. 
the country girl. Living it up. Ah, the caddy. I had a what did I, I had a comic book of that before I think. Partners. Money from home. Sailor beware. My friend Irma goes west, and that's my boy. Jetstream, do you just want a really big bundled deal on all these, like for five dollars each? And I'll just count them out. Shirley McLean, yeah, let me. That was kind of an odd one. So, uh, so we had. Um, if not, I'll price you a few individually. There's that one. Okay, so we had a, we had another Paul Newman. We have another Paul Newman. Had another Paul Newman. Paul Newman. More Martin and Lewis lobby cards. Walter Matthau. The musicals. I think y'all remember me saying Man from Uncle. I'm curious what's in there. Joel McRae. Haley Mills, Walter Mathal. Who did somebody just say? Shirley McLean. Did did I read off her name earlier, or is that just like a request? One second. So Paul Newman, Martin and Lewis, Man from Uncle. I want to go through those. <laughs> Walter Matthau, musicals, Shirley MacLaine, here it is. All right, we'll see what's in here. I did. Martin and Lewis only. Okay, so the ones with Martin and Lewis only, gotcha. One. Does that have both of them on it? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, not that one, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Ten for fifty. Uh, Ryan, did you want a bundle price on the Cincinnati Kid? I mean, they're nice posters. I sold those. Yeah. For what's left, I'll just tell you, probably I'll sell them for $50. There's probably like 10 of them. And then there's these, uh, if anybody's interested, the Country Girls. Sell these to Jennifer Schrader for $10, the two country girls. $10 to Jennifer Schrader on those. And... Let me lay those there. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So here's, I'll plan out the rest of the night because it is getting late. Here's what I plan on doing. Uh, I still got the, uh, okay, I've got some Steve McQueen lobby cards I hadn't done. So I'm definitely going to do those. I got Steve McQueen lobby cards. I have some more Steve McQueen lobby cards and possibly some posters here. So here's just like some random Steve McQueen stuff. I think press kits and lobby cards. I'm going to do those next after this other packet I just opened, which I will tell you who it is in one second. I've still got the uh, the Thomas Crown Affair posters, the one that was in lesser grade. And then from that very first packet, I got some press kits, like I said, I think y'all interested in. Like, well, I'll show you in one second. So I got a small stack of press kits, Thomas Crown Affairs, if anybody else wants those. And then I still had some 
uh, Martin and Lewis random items. It looks like just random items. Okay, and then here's the packets I have left, and we're not going to do them all. I have another Paul Newman. I have Martin and Lewis. Man from Uncle. I'm going to do that one tonight. Walter Matthau. Musicals. Dean Martin. Haley Mills. Joe McRae. Walter Matthau. You know the other one. I'm not going to say his name again. Paul Newman. Paul Newman. And Paul Newman. So there's a lot of Paul Newman. We may do a short one or something. And then here is this one that this other person requests, which was Shirley MacLaine. So we're about to figure out what these are. Let's figure out what we have here. I was on the Thomas Crown list. Okay, give me one second because I want to make sure. I can't remember what I even was pricing those for. Here's the first Shirley MacLaine, which is, this one is Shirley MacLaine and the possible, the possession of Joel Delaney. Shirley MacLaine, the possession of Joel Delaney. Uh, loving couples. Loving couples. A change of seasons. A change of seasons. I'll give you a hundred dollars for all the a sight unseen. Wow. A uh, woman times seven. It's got some cool colors. Oh, excuse me. The Bliss of Misra's Blossom. Another one of those. Another one of those. Woman times seven and woman times seven. Okay, uh, so let's do, okay, let me do this because this is from a long time ago. Let me just see what's in this folder. I see a press photo from Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, a press photo from Smokey and the Bandit 2, another production type photo from Smokey and the Bandit 2, a Cannonball Run 2 press photo, Another Cannonball Run. Hey, that's an Aston Martin. DB8. That's worth a half a million dollars. And Smokey and the Bandit, too. It's probably, well, it's worth more than that, actually. And a Smokey and the Bandit, too, press kit. So here's what I'll do. Smokey and the Bandit press kit, too. Press photos including some kind of, they've, they've got markings on this like it's an actual production photo of some sort. Smoking the Bandit 2, and then this original press photo with Dolly and Bert. All that in this folder, inside of this folder for $15, Curtis Marachi, $15. And then, let's go ahead and show this. So earlier, 
Does anybody remember the price of, I think they were $175. They were. They were $175. Curtis had sold. So this entire folder for $15. This is the next best Thomas Crown Affairs. And I'll do these for $155. Thomas Crown Affairs. This one's not bad whatsoever. It just has pinholes. Thomas Crown Affair. This one's nice. No, just got some pinholes. $155. Pinholes equals it was hung at a theater somewhere. And then probably like the tax were pulled out. Thomas Crown Affair. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. We sold three earlier or two or three earlier for $175. There's some more for $155. That's the next best ones, if anybody wants those. That's, that's probably the best ones. Just FYI, Kevin Jordan or anybody else. Okay. Yes, we'll do the musicals and the Man from Uncle. But first, let me do this, which is... Anyway, well, we can just do some of these. Another. That's a lot of lobby cards. We might just wait on those because... I want to do this pack because I think this is the same movie. So this is the Papillon, the Papillion, <laughs> Steve McQueen, Lobby Cards, Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen, there's those. Uh, Kevin says, sold on the Thomas Crown Affair. This is sold to Kevin Jordan for $155. Kevin, it is yours. $155. Pamela, these two five lobby cards for $45. Pamela, these five lobby cards for $45. She said sold. Five lobby cards, $45 in that packet, sold to Pamela, $45. We're on a roll. We are on a roll. Okay, let's go to a new packet. And the first one I want to see is what's in here. I might be interested in some of these myself. We'll find out. This is the Venetian Affair. The Venetian Affair. Curtis, $35. Curtis Maracci, $35. Sold, $35. One spy, too many. One spy, too many. Very, very cool. $45. Curtis, Brent, Michael, $45. Sold to Curtis, $45. There's more. 
Uh, Brent, let's see how this one looks. There's some obviously some kind of spotting on the back. Maybe that didn't bleed through. Uh, perhaps a little. Let's open up another one. But Brent, let me know if you want a if you want a nice one. If I run across one, here is. Let's see what this one looks like. Same thing for Michael. So this one looks like. This one is not bad whatsoever. Has a dog-eared corner down here that I just fixed. So yeah, that one's pretty nice. All right, that's Brent's for $45. Michael, let me see if I can find you one. This one just looks like it has, here we go. Are you okay, Michael, with just pinholes on this one? Pinholes there and pinholes there and small ones at the top. So just pinholes on the corners on this one. Almost staple. Looks like more still staples. He said he'd do 40. Okay, 40. Sold. Anybody else? So I still got more. One spot too many. That was the entirety of The Man From U.N.C.L.E., which that was a Man From U.N.C.L.E. movie. So I got like four extras of those. That's the last of that packet. And then we had musicals. Um, let's see what these are. Thoroughly modern Millie, but it has writing on it. Almost said it's autographed, but it's not. Julie Andrews. It's got some writing up here on it. It looks like somebody wrote some names. It looks like signatures, but it's not. Julie Andrews and Thoroughly Modern Millie. Ah, this one's popular. Appears to be very crisp and nice, too. One odd fold here. My Fair Lady. And this is a, what is this? This is a 1964, no, this is a, yeah, 1964. Let me figure out what's going on here. Some of these are quite pricey. Definitely 1964. Let me see if I can narrow it down here. Brent's already said pass, but I'm curious what's going on here. Very fine mine is. Folded. Yeah, this is two hundred seventy-five dollars. Two hundred seventy-five dollars. That's a good one. Uh, this right here can all be fixed when you flatten it out to have it framed. It's got like a wrinkle there, and it's got that one odd fold. But most of that's in the the dead of the frame. You know, the dead area right in here. It actually is exactly right in that where that line is. That's usually where the frame goes around it. So all this is very, very nice. Very, very nice. 
Yes, this is this is the 1971, I believe. I believe this is the 1971. That's what I just saw on this one. Hold on a second. Uh, no, the 1971. Hold on one second. Let me figure out what I've got here. 71. I think I might have clicked on the wrong thing. 64. And I think this is what this is. Yeah. I think that 71 has like something up there in the top right corner. Makes it a little bit different. Looks like a, instead of this right here, when a lady applaud. But if anybody's interested, I will do a thorough examination and process it. I think everybody's passed. Well, Pamela said my fair, and so did Landro. Oh, the person who asked about it. So yeah, let me know, and I will double check on that one before I, we actually sell it to somebody. So if you for sure want a price, let me know, Pamela or uh, Pamela or Landro, and we will confirm on that. There's another thoroughly modern Millie. And then we have Bye Bye Birdie. And let's see what this is. All that jazz. All that jazz. Pamela, uh, bye bye birdie, ten dollars on that one. Henry, twenty dollars on all that jazz. Twenty dollars on that. Pamela, ten dollars on that. Henry said, so $20. Please check on my fair lady. Okay, bye-bye, Birdie, so too. I'll do that before we sign off. I'll double-check to my fair lady. Oh, this is cool. Maybe it has really cool graphics. I've got a few of them. Let's open up this one. Should have some cool graphics. Or at least cool imagery. This is sorry, cheaty, <laughs> cheaty, cheaty, bang, bang. Well, y'all can tell I'm getting sleepy, but I have a lot of. I'm not gonna go be going to bed for like another six hours. Um, this is forty five dollars. Forty five dollars. I've got three of them. This one has pinholes. This one has pinholes in the corners and on the edges. Corners and edges. Pinholes. $45 for those. Uh, Henry Paredes was first. Henry, you're first. Let me see what the other ones look like. This one also has staple holes. It's nice though. So we'll keep that in the same price. Very similar. And this one also has pin holes. Also very similar. It's pin holes on the sides and corners. So they're all pretty much similar. I'll give you that first one. I think it's got a slight edge on everything else. So $45, and anybody else, it looks like I've got three of them. And that would be for Henry, Debbie Paredes, Michael Ruttman, Curtis Marachi. Curtis is next. Actually, Michael Ruttman's next. 
But either way, there's going to be enough for everybody, especially if Kurt, if Michael also says sold. So we'll give Henry this first one, $45. And then we'll see what uh, Michael says. And then Curtis there is next. Passing Henry. We got Debbie and Henry's working together. <laughs> they keep two different accounts going. That's strategy. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Michael passes, so let's give this one to Curtis for $45. And so that last one is Jet Streams if he wants it. And uh, if not, Kyle Gregory. Jet Stream and then Kyle Gregory on that last one. It has staple holes on the edges and the corners. All right, we're not going to do another Paul Newman. I'm going to wait on him. Uh, this has one item in it, so let's open it up. It has, I think, one poster. Jetstream passes. Kyle Gregory, $45 for a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang if you want it. This is not in the greatest condition. It's Dean Martin and Roger Meacham in five-card stud. Five car stud. I'll sell it in this condition for fifteen dollars. Dean Martin and Robert Meacham. Five card stud. Jet stream. Fifteen dollars. Kyle passes on the chitty. So Susie, it goes to you. Susie Breedlove, if you want it. You were next in line. Jetstream gets five car stud for $15. Susie. And that was Dean Martin. That was just that one poster in there. Dean Martin. Susie said sold on Chitty for $45. Putting that on top of five car stud. We'll do that one a different night. We'll do that one a different night. That one a different night. Definitely that one a different night. <laughs> that one, that one, and that one. Okay. So let's clean up over here the other stuff I hadn't shown yet, which let's do this stuff right here. All right. So this is... All right, so the musicals that was left was My Fair Lady. Let me look at this for Pamela. I'll do that in just a second. I'm putting that on top of Sand Pebbles. So nobody was interested... Really, the only one that no one had any interest in was the Thoroughly Modern Millie. Also didn't realize they classified Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as a musical, but I've never seen it. So, does anybody want a Thoroughly Modern Millie for 10 bucks? Julie Andrews. 10 bucks. Okay, so this is a... See what we have here. Okay, we'll do this first. Here's some sheet music. Uh, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis sheet music. Never before. The Stooge, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Living it up, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. This is original sheet music. Oh, that one's cool. The Caddy. That's cool. And uh, At War with the Army. That's a cool one, too. At War with the Army. What year is that one? Copyright M. Twenty... Nineteen... Uh, hundred, 1944? Sorry. Not too good sometimes with Roman numerals. Uh, Stooge and Mart. Hey, Mart. Okay, so what I'll do, I was going to price all this together, Christopher Brusha. So I was going to say $25 for these five. $25 for these five. If you just want the Stooge... I'll sell it to you for $8.
you might just want to go ahead and pick them all up for 25. And then Jetstream, if he gets a stooge for eight, I'll say the last four for 20. That's up to Christopher. All right, he says he wants Stooge. Jet Room, just let me know if you want the other ones. So that's sold to Christopher Brusha. Just this one right here, the Stooge, for $8. And then Jet Room, that leaves four for 20 He says he'll take the rest. That worked out fantastically. Right. Okay. Jerry Lewis, hardly working, hardly working. This is um, very fine last this is seventy dollars seventy thirty five bucks the last i mean the last one sold was seventy dollars very fine minus all april 16th so ex almost a year ago for 70 but the one before that was 41 i'm still under market by the last two christopher and then jet string 35 dollars christopher brusha you got dibs and then jet string Sold. I've been working as a. I work as a professional chef. Been waiting all night. There you go. Okay, I'll change it to 135 then. That's <laughs> <Just> kidding. <laughs> Eight thousand dollars. Anytime Paul wants to sell. Anytime Paul brings a uh, s some records he wants to buy, whether it's one or whether it's a stack. Paul literally bought a stack of records this big today. He'll bring them up. I'll be like $8,000. Okay, and then there's some... It looks like ad clippings and all kinds of Jerry... Uh, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis stuff. And... What is this? Fred's got some kind of... I don't think this has anything to do with movies. Five dollars for these, uh, whatever this is. <laughs> it's got Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis on, though. I have a feeling Christopher or Jetstream will want it. Congratulations, Chris. You'll have to send me a picture of that. That's sold a jet stream for five dollars. You'll have to send you'll have to post a picture of that when it's up in your kitchen. Wow, you work as a professional chef. That means you probably can cook some pretty dang good food. Where can I come eat some of this at? Now this here looks extremely interesting. What is this? Oh, wow. This is cool. Look at this. Hope everybody's ready. Le Mans press book. But this was on the back. It looks like the map of the racetrack. Le Mans press book. We're not done. Everybody wake up. We're about to get bring out the Jack Nicholas stuff. Jack Nicholson. I wish it was Jack Nicholas. <laughs> Just kidding. I ah, never know what I might do. I've been known to do some wild and crazy stuff.
Yeah, I didn't figure this would be cheap. Okay, that's two press books. Let me see if it's uncut. Some of them. All right, so Cinema Center Films present press book. What is this? This says, uh, Dear Mr. Exhibitor, the additional ads for Le Mans inserted in the press book, including ads blah, 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 have been revised to carry the Golf insignia on the Porsche car in halftone art. New mats and proofs are available through National Screen. Please use these new ads in place of the original ads sent out previously. The Golf insignia cut in halftone art. Huh. So I wonder if Golf... Halftone art. What does that mean? Graduate of Cornell Institute of America. Wow. Sounds like you know how to. Wow. There's been one ad cut out. Here we go. Here's something. They cut off the golf insignia? Is that what they did here? Wasn't there a golf... A golf logo right there, maybe. Okay. Either way, uh, I'm looking at sole prices here. Um, this is $35, which I think is going to be a pretty good price. $35, and that is uh, Curtis, Pamela, and Brent. Curtis, Pamela, and Brent. Curtis said so, $35. There's a couple of questions here. Can you go for a couple more hours? Uh, Chad, have you ever used the Seco snap frames or any good cheaper options for framing some of the less valuable posters? Uh, no, I hadn't bought frames in a while, any cheap ones. I can't help you. There's some people that were talking about it. There may be some people watching that can help you out. Um, I hadn't bought any cheap frames in a while. The Getaway, Steve McQueen. This poster was folded up in the press book. I thought we were done. This was folded up in the press book. The Getaway. Nice. This is forty five dollars. Brent said sold. He is first. All right. I got two press books for $15 each. Brent just bought the poster. We'll give him first dibs. There's one press book and here's another. Make sure there's not a poster in here. So $15 for the press books. Brent says he'll take one. So poster and press book. And then there's one more press book for $15 if anybody wants it. Let's finish up the last of the McQueen stuff here.
Pamela Yeager gets the other getaway press book for 15. All right, I think this may be pretty pricey, so let me do this one by itself. Bullet, I think this is the press kit for Bullet. That looks like the front, but it says page five. I'm trying to figure out what's else going on over here. That's it, though. Unless it's like folded inside out or something. Well, I wish you could still order these. If you could still order these... Uh, for these prices. It does have a few cutouts. Some of those are pretty rare. You know, a lot most people ordered, I guess, from what I understand, under these catalogs, probably most theaters or whoever ordered these ordered the standard size most of the time. And um some of these, you know, didn't get ordered too much. Press book. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is missing. Here's where the 24-page press book. Yeah, this is 24-page, but we're missing the first. We're missing the cover. We're missing the important stuff. So that sold for $89. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think this is missing some stuff. Uh, $10 if you want it, Pamela. Brent's Pass, it's missing some stuff. $10 on that, unless it's like folded inside out or something. Nope, that's it. So Pamela, $10 if you want that. It's part of it, though. We haven't had this at all. Junior Bonner. Junior Bonner press kit. And here we go. Here's what I'll do. Because I, I don't know how much of this does complete or not. I have also, for $15, what may or may not be a completely... I think that's the front. Cincinnati Kid, The Carpet Baggers and Nevada Smith, Junior Bonner and Bullet. Steve McQueen, random lot of press information kits, $15. I don't know what's there and what's not, but $15. There's also the Cincinnati kit. It looked like it was complete, so that might be worth it just for that. And then the other ones. War Lover, Nevada Smith, The Getaway. These are Steve McQueen lobby cards. The Getaway. 
the getaway, the getaway, and the getaway. So there's one, two, three, five getaway lobby cards, a Nevada Smith, and a War Lover. And that's where we're stopping. I think everybody's got extremely sleepy on me. That's where we're going to stop. That's where we're going to stop for tonight. When do you order your Tesla, Chad? I already have one ordered. I'm waiting for them to manufacture it. <laughs> it's, they're being very slow. Okay. Anybody else? Want anything or to see anything else? We've been live for seven hours. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, eight hours. Yes, Pamela, I'll I'll look that one back up and send you information. And uh, I'm about to warm up my burrito from Chipotle. Um, Eat that. I got to get to the gym. Go home. Go to bed. Wake up for the Masters. And uh, y'all know what's coming next week, though. Let me go ahead and show it to you. I'm not going to touch this. It says Jack Nicholson. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. The Shining is in here. Monday night. Barring some unforeseen accident, like Chad's not ready to show it. The next, how about this? The next time we do posters, that has two iconic movie posters in it. Everybody be ready for that. Possibly some other stuff. That's a thick packet. Look at this. I, it won't be touched. It's going to be right there. I'm not going to look at them. I'm not going to touch them. They'll be right there. The Shining is in there. It's in there. And one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Maybe there's duplicates. I hope so for all of our sakes. With that being said, I'm signing off. Thanks, everybody. Good night. I've got to eat. I've got to, you know, take care of my health by going to the gym. And uh, that's where we're going to sign off for tonight. I gotta, I'm pretty tired, though. This gym is going to not be fun, especially after I ate another burrito. All right. Uh, Jesse, I'll do that as well. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And unless something else pops up, I'm done for the night. I'll be back on Monday. No show tomorrow. No shows at all tomorrow. It's Master Sunday, folks. Even if you don't enjoy golf, even if you don't like golf, you got to tune in. It's an incredible, incredible thing to watch, the condition of that golf course. See y'all on Monday.